Hello, 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 and welcome to another volume one stream. Yeah, let's go. And not just any old stream. Today we have a super fun stream that we are calling the ultimate JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I feel like I said stream 18 times. Yeah, I think you did too. Dang. I think Um, you did. Probably 18, I counted in my head. (laughs) Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for hanging out, for joining us. Um, We have some very special guests here with us today. Playing some of the JoJo sound. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, let's see. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Some very special guests uh, with us here today. We have some games playing, some tier lists, some brackets. It's going to be a, a hopefully really, really good time, as, uh, assuming everything you know works the way I have it all <laughs> set up. I'm, I'm banking on something not working, but hopefully it's all set up. Let's just get in, uh, into introducing our guests. So without further ado, make some noise. Let me make sure I got the screen set up Woo! for all of our guests. Yeah! We have Chewy Dog! Woo! We have Xbox! We have Willy! We have Kev! Thank you guys so much for being here. How is everybody doing? Great. Fantastic. All at once? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, Thank you for having <laughs> us. <laughs> Thank you guys, man. Thank you guys for, for doing this. We were just saying before we went live that we don't really get the chance to talk about JoJo, um, especially with like all of you guys, especially and the just legends. other people in general. But yeah, yeah, we have the legends here today. Dude. It's an honor <laughs> to have all you guys here um, to talk with us. <laughs> Oh, for real, I mean, I mean, you guys have such a great energy, and what you guys bring to the JoJo community is so awesome, dude. Like, yeah, that's why we really wanted to have all you guys here, um, because I just feel like you guys, you guys match our vibe, our vibe, Thank our you. vibe. Yeah, I feel Thank like we you. all have our separate thing to bring to the community. Exactly. exactly. We noticed your vibe from across the bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have some segments planned. We have a little outline, but before we get into that, I'm gonna do something throughout this this stream, right, <gasps> that I call a, uh, a lightning round because there were so many things I wanted to get to, but in order to dedicate like a whole segment to something, I felt like it was going to take too much time. So it's not going to make much sense now, but it will later. So x Chewy, Kev, Willie, I need you guys to choose. Um, actually, I don't, I don't know who's going to go last because whoever goes last is going to just get the last option. Yeah. So I'll, uh, let's say Chewy, Chewy. Yes, out sir. Of Joe Bros, Stands, drip, and villains. Just pick one category. Hmm. Uh. Let's do stands. Okay. Ooh. Stands. <laughs> so we got stands. Okay. Uh. X force out of. So that leaves drip, villains, and drip villains. What was the other one? I forgot. You drip. wrote. You just said it. Drip. <laughs> Villains. <laughs> See, we're already off to a great start, everyone. <laughs> Drips villains with stands is taken. Uh huh. Um, there was one more. There was one more. In part? No. No. I think it was Joe Bros. I thought you Joe wrote Bros. it. Thank Joe you. Bros. I thought yeah. you were reading them all. <laughs> no, no, I had them all committed to memory. <laughs> okay, but okay, that wasn't okay. a good idea. <laughs> Got it. Um, I would like drip though. Drip. <laughs> drip. I would drip. Like drip. Okay. okay. Yeah. Kev, I'm sorry, dude. We've known you the longest. We've talked to you the most, so we're saving you for last. <laughs> Willie, um, out of then uh, Joe Bros and Villains, what do you pick? Wait, did you take Drip? I did, yes. That's like my... Okay. Um, <laughs> it really is, it really What are the options? <laughs> Joe Bros or Villains? Yeah, Joe Bros or Villains. Um, I feel it's like tough. the... I'm gonna do Joe Bros. I'm gonna yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with that. Joe Bros. Oh, I'm, and then I'm 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 eating right now. I'm eating. There we go. Simple. <laughs> so simple. That Played villains simple. for Kev. All right. That's gonna not make much sense now, but it will later. I wanted to get that out of the way. But to introduce everybody, it's the first time we've actually spoken to a lot of people here. Yeah, for the first time. Um. So we can go one by one. Um. We'll start with how about Chewy? Um. Chewy, what is uh your favorite stand? Your favorite part? Your favorite character? Um, and and welcome and thank you and for why? being here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you for having me. Uh, you know, it's a question everyone always asks, you know, what's your favorite stand? So I've had to come up with this uh, answer before. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think I've decided because I, I used to have a whole bracket of like my favorites, but I think if I had to choose mm. one over all the others based on just a really cool ability and a really cool design and a really cool name, I really like Killer Queen. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, a classic. Banger. Banger, dude. Banger. Mm-hmm. 
almost as fine as his user. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're not gonna. We're not gonna start with that. <laughs> I'm so that sorry. sorry. Hey, yo, we can talk about that later. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that's a that's a great. Answer. Yeah. What mm-hmm. well, then? What was the other one? Then questions? it was part part and character. Um, the, the next two come from the same part. My my favorite <laughs> part is part seven, Steel Ball Run. I I represent that on my chest. And my yeah, favorite oh, character yeah. is probably Gyro Zapelli. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say that, but I, I, that's not mine. Oh, I, gonna be okay. Mine. Oh, interesting. Great I'm, choice. I'm curious to see who you say, actually. Yeah. But go to choices. And what about character? I mean, uh, part. Uh, so, so part Still and ball run. Still ball run and yeah. character. So they're, mm-hmm. they're from the same part. Go hand in okay. hand. Solid list. Solid mm-hmm. list. Um, let's go on to Willie in order. So we'll go down. Willie, what about you? Stand, part, character. <laughs> um... My favorite stand is between two, and they're both really uh, seemingly unimportant to the story. No, Mm -hmm. not seemingly. They actually are just, like, really unimportant to the story. Um, I like Tonio's stand because that episode, that whole episode where they just, like, take a break from the story and they're just eating food (laughs) and, like... (laughs) crying their eyes out and like their fingernails are coming out and they're like scratching i don't know something about it like tonio just just makes me happy i don't know if you guys have read the uh rohan manga oh yeah 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 they have a story with him in it and that's that was like one of my favorite stories of those yeah they go like uh, diving in the in the lake or something right for these yeah they're like getting clams or yeah it's called like i think it's called poacher's reef yeah yeah that's a great one Um, it's really good yeah so i love tonio uh, and then the other one that is also just like really not important important is Highway Star. I just okay. love the sound design of him when he's running mm-hmm. uh, on the ground, and you just see like the little footprints. Uh, and his drip is good. He's got like a full like fishnet. Oh fit yeah, like, I don't even know how he does that. <laughs> yeah, the ascot um, goes hard. Yeah, the ascot goes hard. That that arc is super fun. I could like always rewatch yeah. Highway Star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like, a theme every... going on. And that's when, a crazy. Um, that's a crazy coincidence because they just announced Highway Star for the JoJo fighting game like today. Yeah. Like they literally yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They did. yeah. How does he even fight? I don't know. It didn't show anything. Like... So we'll have to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got his whole posse behind him. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the my favorite part from that. I'm going off on a tangent. But there's a part in that arc where like he where Josuke is driving away on uh, a motorcycle and he breaks his cell phone. And then throws it away and then steals someone else's cell oh, yeah. phone. Yeah. And I thought that was so funny yeah. because Josuke's yeah. whole thing <laughs> is like fixing things. So like he could have just fixed the phone in his hand, but instead he commits a robbery. Yeah. I thought that was great. Yeah. Um Yeah, I think I've rambled enough about that. No, um, no, that's a great part. I mean, we great. both it was a both it was a standout part mm. for everyone. It was so confusing. It was like, oh, I guess he just yeah, people I, I, I did that. I I that's something that you know. I don't know. Araki just didn't think about in the moment, or if he was just no. He like, thought about he th- it. He thought, nah, this would just be funny. I don't yeah, know. I don't. I don't think he does much thinking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. He's on the Snapple facts, you know. You know the Snapple know. facts. <laughs> uh, but my favorite part, I was gonna say Steel Ball Run, but like that's too basic. That's that's just too easy of an answer. No offense, Chewy. I'm Damn. sorry. Oh, okay. Um, I know. <laughs> uh, that was a personal it's, attack. It's a classic. It's a goat. I, I think I would go with part two, though, because I think Joseph is also my favorite Joe star. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Okay. I'm giving you the seal of approval. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. I, I don't know about that. I, oh, I, I know that a lot of people love Battle Tendency. A lot of people love part two. But, they do. And I do, I do like it more now. I have like gained a greater appreciation for it. But when we first read it, because we read it, didn't watch it. Mm-hmm. I, oh, I didn't. Okay. I, I was not. I was not vibing with it. No. I was not. I'm Old sorry. Joseph did, over. Did young you guys Joseph, ever go I back think. and watch part two? Uh, we watched a little bit. We watched yeah. a little and bit, and that's where okay. I gained I that appreciation. Lot, I recommend. Yeah. Part, part yeah. two in the anime, in my opinion, is like the most stylized it's yeah. ever been. Yeah. It's it's yeah. They, they, they did a lot of unique stuff in part two. It's cool. I noticed in the first couple episodes, yeah. I mean, it just a lot of the jokes translated. I feel I feel like better, and the tone I think mm. worked mm. more in the anime than it did in the manga. Like I don't know something about Joseph's attitude. I don't translated better mm. um, yeah. in anime. Solid though. That voice actor. Was that? Yeah. Acting, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially the English one, Nigel Uno, the goat. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't know that, but... <laughs> yeah, we get the flag too. I mean, has have you guys watched any full part in the dub or are you guys like strictly sub? 
I watched them all. I watched them all. Dub. Watched them all dub. Yeah. All dub. I watched Wait, parts. <laughs> I watched parts one and two in dub because that was what was on Toonami at the time. Okay, mm. that's why. Like again, like number one as Joseph is so iconic because it's just so weird. Like you can't unhear it. It's crazy. Wait, number one from. Cozy yeah, kids next kid- door. What? Kids next door. Really? That's what I'm saying. Nigel oh. Uno is Joseph. It's oh crazy. Oh my god! Like, that's you can't so cool. It. It's like yeah. Thatch Bell and Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> What's the guy who does Jotro? I mean, his dub- Jotro's dub voice is good too. Oh yeah. The guy Critical Role. Uh, he, he does Mercer. a lot of stuff. Yeah. He lot of stuff. He's like he's yeah. Prom in Fire Emblem. Like he's a lot of he's a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's great. He's the cowboy. The cowboy. Wait, in general. <laughs> The cowboy? Like, he's, cowboy. He's, he's every he's cowboy. cowboy. Oh, he's <laughs> every cowboy. cowboy. I was like, oh, Ever. Yeah. He's every cowboy except like the one anime about cowboys that you might know. About. Oh, oh. Even the one that's not about cowboys. <laughs> Vaguely. <laughs> All right, Willie. Thank you for uh, your answers. I feel like this is how we get to know each other better, dude. Yeah. Um, uh, X Force. What about you? Favorite stand part character? Okay, in that order. Stand honestly, in terms of favorites and everything, I hope no one incites this in four years from now. Being like, "Hey, you said your favorite stand was this on this podcast four years ago." Right. Ask me any day, my favorites are going to change. But like, pretty much, Sticky Fingers has always been one of my favorite stands uh-huh. because of uh, like the imagery of it, just mm-hmm. that surrealist aspect of being able to just unzip anything like through walls and stuff. like, dude, it's so sick when he like holds onto the edge of the zipper and like scales a building or something. I, I always like whenever Bruno was on screen in part five, I was just always looking forward to the way he would use his stand. Yes. Like even like Oasis and Green Day, it gets really crazy. So I like that one because it's it is very like literal, you know, you're not getting any complex, you know, high level stuff there or, you know, you don't need to interpret in any way. It's just, you know, I unzip stuff. It's cool. I like it. Um, other than that, maybe like D four C, design wise, oh. sick. Yeah. Uh, favorite character might be a curveball, but Abakio from Part Five. Oh, uh, okay. Ab- Abakio has always been one of my favorite characters. Like, I think he is genuinely the closest Araki has ever gotten to like a perfect character. Like wow. everything they do on screen. I mean, um, Abaki was also one of the first characters that taught me that you know connection that characters can have to their stands. Like in Part Three, you mm. know, the stands are just kind of goofy, but then like. In part four and part five was when I really started to like get more in depth into like the analytical side of Jojo and just seeing that, you know, this character manifested the stand because of his trauma and his haunted past of losing his partner and the guilt he feels towards that. And just his whole story are culminating in like the fall from grace from the policeman to that self self loathing and resentment he feels towards himself, almost punishing himself, joining the mm-hmm. game, and then like you know being very isolated when we first see him. Yes, that anime character trope of wearing headphones, being like I don't need anyone else. I'm just in my own world, um, and then eventually. You know, when he dies, we're going to get into spoilers here. So, yeah, Bakio <laughs> dies. Um, and then you what? have sort of that. And then you have that redemption of him meeting that man in the afterlife and that forgiveness he feels. And then he's able to let go of that guilt and mm. become free from that fate. And it's just like yeah. and even after his death, the motivation he instills with the gain of them being able to take that next step to find the boss and just like the emotion in everyone's character is when they see Abakio's corpse there with Bruno biting his lips saying trying his best to be the leader in that moment knowing he just lost his best friend it's just like it brings the game so close together and you yeah. feel that character as the story goes on and also it was like unexpected he's the first one to go yes. in this unexpected way but I mean he's not forgotten after yeah. after he leaves too and, and you can feel him in pretty much the remainder of the story and even like the whole concept of Abakio you know with r- results and truth it's sort of like a microcosm for the themes of part five in general mm-hmm. we get to diablo always seeking those results and you know not valuing truth so abakio is just like a goaded character i mean he's almost perfect uh and favorite that part that was, i know I, it makes me want to change my answer that was shit. beautiful like, dude that was you gave a whole video as <laughs> fuck you were, you, were, you, were, you were cooking right there uh and favorite part I'm going to get a little spiced here, but I'm going to say Jojo Lian. Jojo Lian is an incredible part, an incredible story. And at least for me personally, I feel it's the part I connect with the most. Having been the first part that I was reading ongoing and sort of seeing this expression of Iraqi and seeing, trying to expect the story and seeing it go in, you know, different directions and just connecting with it on that level, reading it monthly for literally six years and reviewing it. Um, And as well as through the retrospective series that's been doing, I just, 
I feel like it's the part I sort of understand the most on a deeper level. And I can always think back to the characters and Josuke and Yasuo in the settings and have sort of like a, a familiar feeling with and, you know, think back to parts of my own life and being like, you know, when we were in this arc, I was doing this in life. When we were in this arc, yeah. I was at this stage in my life. And it's just like, I've grown so much along with the part. And I think I'll always have that like special bond to Jojo Lian. More so when I was reading, I was just kind of like, you know, I would read Steel Ball Run in like four or five days, Stone Ocean a few days, but Jojolian really had that like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I just I, I just have a personal connection. Yeah, to it. yeah. Like, favorite I, part. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's the most exciting part thing about being here where we're where we're at with uh the jojo lands yeah because finally being this is going to be readers. our yes. first time experiencing our monthly, that way monthly yeah. readers yeah. yeah so i wonder how it's going to change the experience for us um, it's a ride I, yeah. it, it, it can be frustrating sometimes it can be exciting sometimes but uh it's got to go with the flow hell yeah dude the flow i see what you did <laughs> the flow yeah, hell yeah. oh my god <laughs> <wasn't> <laughs> <laughs> all right and, kev. yeah lastly kev all right. So I'm going to be honest for, for part, it is, you know, I know people might think I'm like being like controversial or whatever. Oh, shit. I don't pick, again, like Steel Ball Run again. Uh, no effect because Steel Ball Run obviously is peak. Like we, yeah. we all love that. that, mm-hmm. part that. But now part four for me uh, <gasps> with reasons pretty similar uh, to exports, you know, like that was the part that got me into the series, like for real. And the second I saw the art style, I was like, oh, this is going to be huge. I love this immediately. And I just I not binged but i like watched the first three parts obviously and then i got into part four and i was like i love this just as much as i thought i would and that was when i was watching weekly and i was so invested especially with the mystery aspect and just not knowing everything the art style was just awesome the powers yeah. were awesome the characters were awesome so part four is a huge like part of you know uh, pun not intended uh my experience <laughs> with the series obviously yeah um, and it was also cool obviously that part eight was just you know like part four yeah but different so that was yeah. also, like pretty awesome after reading through all that stuff um now my favorite stand this is so difficult because i feel like it's like i don't know there's so many it's like choosing like a child a <laughs> i know exactly. it's really what, what are you gonna pick what are you gonna pick you know this gotta be is it gonna be wacky is it gonna be like the child that's like doing his own thing or her own thing or their own thing like what, what's gonna happen or is it gonna be like the the gifted one you know, like Star Platinum. The chosen <laughs> one. The chosen one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody's favorite. Um, <laughs> but for me, I feel like if I'm doing like the my favorite stand, it's got to be something like fun, you know, as a whole. And I feel like my favorite stand that's fun as a whole has got to be, I know this is kind of basic, again, low key, but Scary Monsters is just so awesome. Ooh. Oh, damn. It it's such a wild, unexpected like twist. And I love Diego to death. He's not my favorite character, but he's one of them. So I just love how chaotic his ability is as a whole. I also am a huge dinosaur nerd, you know, when I was a kid, you know. That's <laughs> a good pick, Kev. That's a good pick. <laughs> yeah, I just love dinosaurs. Just every series has a dinosaur. I'm like, oh, I'll probably like you, you know. And for my favorite character, it's got to be Yasuho. I love oh, Yasuho great so pick. much. I think she is the character in JoJo that resonates with me the most in the whole story. So I definitely will put her as my top one. Sick. W. Sick. Kev W. Hell yeah, so dude. Good. Um, all right, Megan, you want to go through ours really quick? Yeah. All right. So um, you go first. Okay, shit. Uh, for part, I would probably say Jojo Leon as well. Wow. It was the last one I read, and I'm always like, the last Jojo I read was so good, and the one previous <laughs> is so good. It just keeps getting better. Uh, but overall, like, like Kev said, it is so similar to part four, but just heightened. Mm-hmm. And I love the Higashikita so much. That little family Brady Bunch, like, just fucked up family. I love, yeah. I love, I love, I love. Um, and I loved the ending and where it went. And it just wasn't anything else that I had read previously in JoJo. I just think mm-hmm. that Iraqi really was in his bag in this one. And he's in his bag in JoJo Lands, but we'll talk about that later. Um, favorite character? This was hard. It was between Gyro, Yasuho, Hot Pants, Okay, you gotta pick one. Okay. You got more? But okay, but I had to land on Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Bruno Bucciarati. Okay. Oh, I love that man so much. He's Me just too. that guy. Me He's too, just yeah. that guy. He was the glue and and he just stuck with me. He yeah. stuck with me on my heart. And everything that he went to through towards the end, I was not expecting at all. And it just hurt. It hurt. And he 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 has a special place um in JoJo for me. Uh and then my last pick for stand 
And I'm I'm a zombie lover. Yeah. I love zombie films. I love zombie anything. So I have to go with Blue Hawaii. When that, I mean, it's not the same thing, but I was like, this is the closest I'm gonna get to something like this in JoJo. So I have to hold on to it. Um, and it was just fun, and it just was really chaotic yeah. and really scary. Um, yeah, reading that was yeah, yeah, was but, crazy, dude. Just to see like how. Yeah far that ability like Iraqi was gonna take Can go it. Yeah. yeah yeah but that's that's fine okay that's it sick all right um mine i have to go with i'm gonna go through it real quick okay <laughs> so for me i'm, I'm trying to I'm, i don't want to be basic dude but after everybody else's freaking great answers i feel basic <laughs> dude my favorite stand is d4c dirty d's done dirt cheap Woo! Because, dude, just being able to going through dimensions and stuff, alternate dimensions, like, that's so cool. That's such a cool concept. Uh, part Steel Ball Run. I know I'm a basic bitch. I know, I know. I love Steel Ball Run. It's so good. It's like, it's everybody loves it for a reason, man. It's, it's, it's the best. Mm -hmm. uh, and character, I'm throwing it all the way back to Polnareff, dude. Polnareff. Wow! I, I love Polnareff. Every time answer. he came on, uh, okay. like, screen, Great or every time, answer. like, he was like, on page, he just brought a smile to my face, dude. Great I answer. love Polnareff. Wait, so you much. like disabled Polarnef in the wheelchair more? <laughs> or, 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 I like turtle. Yeah. I like turtle Polarnef. Yeah. I love baby. Baby. You like him as a turtle. There's yeah. so many faces. <laughs> yeah. Baby Polarnef brings the most diversity. You He's know, multi layered. Yeah, I try and forget baby Polarnef as, as much as I can. I'm not. Yeah, Alessi. Alessi is part three's biggest L, bro. Oh shit! I do want to say my my bad for dipping out real quick. Uh as Willie was saying before the stream, cat stuff just popped oh. up. <laughs> so I had to, I had to Say no that. more. Yeah, yeah, we know we know that all too well. All right. Um, well, I feel like that that helps us get to know each yeah. other a little bit more. Uh, we have a couple other things that we want to get to, but I'm really curious because I think another way to get to know somebody really well is to find if they have any unpopular hot takes is one way to say it, but unpopular oh. opinions on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Like Something that you tell someone and they look at you with like absolute disgust. Yeah, like how disgusting. fucking dare you say that to me right now? And yeah. you're like, shit. I'm or maybe sorry. it's something you're even scared to say out loud. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you've held <laughs> okay. in your heart okay. for as long as you can. You can't keep it a secret anymore. You have to let it out. Yeah. We so, want that. Yeah, so we, we want that darkness. <laughs> we can go around. We can go around again. Chewy, what about you? Do you have a, an unpopular opinion that comes to mind? Pick, I have to pick one. Oh, that's, you have okay. a lot. So, you have a okay. lot. Well, that's like that's w what I'm known for at this point. Besides taking a backrooms <laughs> video, I look my name up on Reddit, and like that's like don't do that. Yeah, don't it's a bad that. idea. Don't do that. But I have done that, and it's people talking about like he has a lot of like really weird opinions. Uh, so I have one that's like what I'm known for for having my most controversial opinion. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to pronounce it the way I want to pronounce it. <laughs> okay. That's, a, that's also part of the controversial opinion. I'm not a fan of Hamon as a system. Oh. I love stands oh, and I crap. absolutely love the stand system, but I, I just, I don't, Hamon doesn't click with me. You know what? <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't like completely agree, but I don't completely disagree. I know that's like on the fence, but I, I mean, I stands just, are just superior. They just are. I mean, exactly. it's spirit homo. I think stands are like literally one of the best power systems. In I agree. Anime. I 100% yeah. agree. Any anime ever. Yeah. So it's not even that like Haman is necessarily so bad. It's just that stands are so good. Yeah. That yeah. It, yeah, it, exactly. It, yeah. Well, no, I mean, come on. Like I said, my favorite part was part two, but like, dude, near the end, it was just ass pull after ass pull yes. after yeah. ass pull when it comes to powers. Mm -hmm. And but like, it's it. Funny, it's really entertaining, but like if you scrutinize it in any way, shape, or form, it crumbles immediately. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Agree. yeah. I mean, I, I mean, that is a pretty hot take, but I mean, I think most of us agree. I mean, how do you guys feel about it? X Force Kev, how do you guys feel about that? What part two? Just Hamon in general. Like, you, you, oh, Hamon. I mean, like, it's a product of its time. Like, if you look back and see the power systems that were happening in the 80s in anime and manga, like, it's not too different from its contemporaries. And it's sort of like, it's what you'd expect if you're looking at Hamon and comparing it to Jujutsu Kaisen or Naruto, or mm. it, it's, it's a whole different world of powers. Like, you sort mm. of had those emerging in the early 2000s that established these, like, uh, where you had, like, those individualistic powers where everyone had something unique or special. So looking back, you know, and comparing that to modern day, like Hamon was good for the time, you know, like it's, it's nothing spectacular. It is a bit limited in some sense, but um, I thought it was like a, just a stepping stone to stands and it's only in parts one and two. And I, I, I think it's just fine. Okay. All right. I agree. 
Um, I think a lot of what I like about Hamon is because you know I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm a meathead by any means, <laughs> but I, I, I really, that's the first thing really... that comes to mind when I think of Kev Dog. I think of meat. Oh, yeah, I'm a yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, <laughs> but no, like I love Fist of the North Star, which is the series uh-huh. that inspired JoJo yeah. like super early on, and that didn't really have any super crazy uh, you know power systems either. It was just like mm-hmm. martial arts styles in a way. That were very like specific and hamon is very similar to that except yeah. with the theme of vampires they had like the sun versus darkness type vibe it's nothing too crazy i i like a lot of the sort of symbolism it can give you know like the fire versus ice thing with dio like that's just easy to attribute to it so i just like i like mm. stuff like that it's nothing like stands clear the shit out of it like it is indisputable yeah. that stands are infinitely better than hamon but when people say like, yo, oh, I wish they kept homo, bro. I'm like, be for <laughs> oh, real. Oh. Be for <laughs> real. Right oh. There's a lot of people that about? say that too, especially on Reddit. I'm That's... finally being vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> People actually say that. People yes, really yes, say yes, that. yes. Yeah, there's yes, a lot of yeah, people yeah. who say I stopped reading after part two. Uh, not reading, uh, watching mm-hmm. after uh, part two, because oh man, like they got rid of Hamon though. Like, That's crazy. On, like, That's what? crazy. That's why it's a hot take. Because people are like, I completely disagree with you. Bring Hamon back. That's it's like wild. what? Like I what mean, if Iraqi cool just if part- They brought it back. And, yeah. Like had stands on Hamon. That would have been cool. But like I don't know, even spin like clears. Yeah, Hamo. like yeah. let's be for real. Yes. I mean, e- even yeah. with the transition from Hamo and to stands, like it's not even like it's just completely. You know, Araki's like, okay, Hamo done, moving on. Like part three, you have that transition where you have Joseph mm-hmm. or uh, Joseph, whose whole stand is based on Hamo. So part three yeah. is the transition out of Hamo into stand. So it's like I thought that was done pretty well, and so like yeah. In part, when you're reading part four and five, you really shouldn't be like, "Where's the Hamon?" Like people were born in like 1990. Okay, yeah. like Hamon's kind of like ancient. They dress yeah. like they're from the 80s. Yeah, for real. Do. Um. All right, Willie, what's your unpopular opinion? Hot take. Um. So I have one. Uh, I don't think it's like that hot. Uh, apparently, it is hot. Um, I think. So I have two. So um, my first one is that. I think the slice of life part of part four was like actually good. I think people hate on it far oh too gosh. much. This is a lukewarm <laughs> take. Yeah, I, I didn't say it was that hot. Um, I, actually, I disagree. A lot of people will come at your throat for that. A lot of people literally like, say oh, that so they, like, hate that part. So yeah, they slow, hate that bro. part of the show. Oh. But um, I don't know. That's where my boy Tonio gets, gets yep. in the mix. I, mm. I don't know. I like it. Um, my other... This is not a lukewarm take. This is actually just like a like a PSA to a Rocky. Um, <laughs> okay, when I read part seven, there is a specific part. Listen, why does Lucy Steele have to oh. be Okay. Yeah, I know. Why? Yeah. Why <laughs> after you establish that fact, do you draw her titties? Dude? Yeah. Oh, why Rocky, do you do why? that? It is so weird. Why yeah. do you do this to us? Yeah. God damn it. I 100% a, a million percent I agree. My chest. Um, we literally yeah, that's, talked that's about that all through part. Steel Ball Run. Like, you yeah. have the choice to, why? to make yeah, this Yeah, you character. had a choice to make her either older or exclude the titties. Just yeah. don't yeah. do that. It's well, weird. And yeah, I get that, like, you know, in the West, whatever, you know, in, in our history, that, you know, people would get married younger at younger ages and stuff. But it doesn't mean, like you said, Willie, you have to draw no, her yeah. like. Her. Listen, we're, we're not in those times anymore. Yeah, so yeah. If you're <laughs> in like 200 years. Yeah. Yeah. Like, bar or like a little Gaussian blur, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Gaussian blur. Yeah, Gaussian blur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I 100% agree with that. 100%. All right, so it's not hot. Good. That's good that it, that's, that's good. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's very good. That's that's that's, what are you it's talking about, cool. dude? No people internet. Actually, yeah, like it literally try to use your Um in the old west, there's actually um some validation that yeah. why Rocky would draw his titties. Um yeah. Those are good. Those are good. Yeah, it's actually accurate um to the western front, so you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, but those are, those are mine. Those are good. Those, those are good. Are good. Exports, what about you? That's so hard. Um, I could I, I could say that like you know sixty percent of the characters in the series are trash, but like um, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of like one specific thing. Um, I will say that in terms of like you know one of the most common discussed subjects in terms of JoJo is like a part tier list, mm-hmm. and like 
I genuinely feel like parts seven and eight and just that transition to monthly is in like in a realm where it can like not even be compared to mm. six to one through six. Yeah. So like when you have like the tier list, it's almost like a default that part seven and eight are going to be just complete yeah. S tier because yeah. like they're just they're oh my like a Rocky not only had been honing his craft as a mangaka for like you know 25 years or 20 years before he got to part seven but then that switch from monthly like i don't know if you haven't read steel ball run in a while maybe go back and reread it but it is like incomparable it yeah. is so goddamn good in terms of the art it's even better than parts uh, eight and nine have been so far but like um it is sort of like as uh josh mentioned like basic bitch default that part seven is best part but <laughs> yeah. like you just have to like accept that Araki was able to do so much more with that switch from monthly. Like it really opened yeah. up him as like a creative in order to like express what he wanted with that part and take his time and just make like a like a magnum opus essentially. Um, yeah. Like I think like sort of objectively, part seven in terms of quality like is the best part. Um, but other than that, something that uh, a little bit of a hot take is that I feel like people sometimes give a Rocky a little too much credit. And it's something I've noticed around like the community a lot, especially within the past couple of years. There's sort of this like witch hunt around misinformation and so much to where like you'll see a lot of like sort of mental gymnastics being performed to absolve a Rocky from any sort of criticism when mm. you know, part of being a creator is experimenting, trying new things, making mistakes, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. And I feel like people forget that. And there's sort of this Iraqi can do no wrong mentality when I'm sure he wouldn't even agree with that sentiment. So uh, I wish sometimes people were able to discuss the series in a more objective way and, you know, not just say everything is peak, everything is greatness when, you know, I, I definitely think there are certain like, um, like, objective bad things with the series sometimes that i find it hard to discuss because there's such like a occultness around the community sometimes mm. but that's sort of my hot take no i mean that's refreshing to hear dude because i feel like that's it's the same way with a lot of mangaka who have these like hugely successful series like even oda and one piece like yeah. i feel like you know you'll get dragged through the mud for saying anything you didn't like anything he did mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. and and it's just because people I am rightfully so. I mean, the Iraqi Oda, I mean, these guys have, have created something so incredibly special, but I mean, they're, they're, they're human and, yeah. you know, exactly. and we're humans with our own opinions. Well, it's too. like Star Wars, you know, <laughs> like we talk about all the time, like there's things in Star Wars that just don't make sense. And then the fandom's like, maybe it does. And they yeah, like they write, write their head cannon, own head yeah. cannon to oh, make it make sense oh, and do the heavy God. lifting. For them. Yeah, yeah, it's like, that's not what's it's happening. Like, that's like exactly bad. what I'm talking about. It's yeah. just bad. Yeah. <laughs> All so, right. so I, I just I just yeah. I wish when it came to discussing the series online, there wasn't so much hostility in it. It's just unfortunate mm -hmm. to see where, um you know, like, like us, for example, we can all discuss our opinions and not agree with each other and but still respect each other. But unfortunately, online, it seems like people will take opinions personally being like, oh, I don't like this character. And someone's like, well, I hate you as a person now because of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I wish Actually, that would you know uh, chill out is people who discuss power scaling. Dude. Oh, don't even. Oh, I my feel God. like power scaler. Oh, man. Don't come after my boy Metas. Metas is cool. <laughs> man. Listen, listen, I have a I'm taking the same I thing. Have a problem with the don't disrespect. I think the creators are great. I think it's insane the amount of effort that they put into it. But the commenters, dog, when the, the comments go get crazy. on something, if you get something yeah. wrong, yeah. your career's over, dude. Like that comment. You're telling me Wonder of You yeah. isn't top one? Hell. <laughs> You're telling me, L? You're telling me D4C couldn't beat Goku? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's, that's, that struck something in me right now, dude. I was like, oh, I had a reaction to that. <laughs> I mean, those are, you, you those know are what? fun. It's just like, I've never personally been into power scaling either. Like, no. like you said, like people who do that and enjoy that, that's cool. But I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I just haven't I just ever. Like when people come at you for not yeah. being in that community. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. No, the other day, uh, I, I made a, I uploaded a video. It was like, uh, cause I, I don't typically do like power scaling stuff, but if it's like a fun idea, I'll like dabble in it. And so I did a video just kind of like comparing white beard from one piece oh, to, I uh, saw that. Yeah, yeah. To if he could stop Poochie and all of like Poochie's minions in part six and stuff. And I got so many comments <laughs> and by so many, I like at least like 15 comments of people saying like, <laughs> Uh, actually, Whitebeard can't fight Stan, so therefore he loses. <laughs> and I feel like that's such a gotcha. I didn't mention it in the video because that's so like obvious. Yeah. The whole... 
dude, I did a, uh, I did that. But video that's where funny. I like that's stands, so funny. where I where I said I was gonna fight stands on a tier list, like who I could beat in a fist fight. I swear <laughs> to God, like every other comment was like, um, actually, you must be cheating. You know? Exactly. Um, um, actually, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh. But I saw that white beard uh, video too, and I was like, dude, that this is just such a funny, fun yeah. video. Uh, Thank so, you. So yeah. to have like those people. Just immediately like discredit. You should it. not be having fun. Who told who, yeah. who, who told said, you, who could said do that? you could have fun too? How dare you? Are you yeah. serious right now? Say, say you put on like some stand glasses or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we get to Kev's uh, unpopular no, opinion? Kev, Kev's no, last. Or hot yeah. take? I, I feel like I don't know if this is unpopular, but I'm just gonna say it first and foremost, dude. I hate how like other anime fandoms and anime fans as a whole view Jojo. They see it as like a shit post and it's oh. so Whoa. fucking infuriating all the time. Because like, you know, have you guys ever seen those like, I draw these characters in different anime art styles. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like the nine uh, by, the three by three. Yeah. And Jojo's I like those. Like, I watch those a lot. One. <laughs> I <laughs> hate that shit. Because it's just like, they clearly have no actual idea. What the it's like they base about. Araki's art style based on other people's fan art of Araki's yeah, art style. To so, the point where it's yeah. devolved in sort of just like a, like, like a, I don't know. Like when you go to Darien Lake and someone's like, hey, draw me. And draw me. It's, crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. it's like a caricature. Like, yeah. it's like, bro, what even is this at this point? I don't know. But when, that, when that, honestly, so... like a lot of his art style is almost like some of the most realistic, um, at least like anatomy you'll see in a, yeah, at least Especially a weekly like manga. Parts mm -hmm. seven and eight. Like, it's, mm -hmm. and, well, and I would even say parts like five and six are like very like realistic focused rather than obviously part one with yeah. the massive you know you know that one picture of jonathan um <laughs> like clearly that's not that's not it yeah but like i don't know i just that that take is so ass to me like i just really really do not like that take because it's just like they clearly have no idea what the series is actually about and that's not like unpopular i would say because i feel like that's just a general like hey look this is a you don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm not yeah. trying to be an elitist, but you literally don't know what you're talking about. Type All stuff. right, Kev. But now I want to hear your hot take hot on list. JoJo, not the, not the people. <laughs> exactly. yeah. the I want to hear talking about the series. Right. The hottest take like on JoJo I can give. Let me think. Because I'm not like a, a Rocky Angel or whatever they would call them. Because that's what Oda Angels are. A, thing. a Rocky Angel. Angel. Sounds like, like a like, band name. It's like what <laughs> Charlie's I, Angel. I am yeah. an Rocky Angel. <laughs> you're an Rocky Angel. <laughs> um i feel i feel like my hot take because x we did this in the in the charity stream where we did the joe bro tier list is that avdol is just like garbage like i feel like that's a pretty hot take like, it's, it's not that he's garbage though it's just that like there's there's nothing there's not nothing to him but a lot less than a lot of other things so it's like it's not yeah, like he actively like, does anything bad they bring him back to kill him again it's just like that was crazy on. bro what like, he did a polnareff was so it. fucked up yeah that dude. was great that was so great. That like, was so just great. Like, but they all did. No, set, they, they all just let this man believe that he had done this like horrible thing. That was great. <laughs> and he already like, was dealing know. with his sister, and he was yeah. like so much turmoil. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, gotcha, you, bitch." They're She's like, like yeah. "What the fuck? <laughs> was I the yeah. last one to it's know?" Just like, it's just like, and the scene with Polnareff where he's like, why do people keep dying on me? That was peak part three. I'm just going to say <laughs> yeah. it. That was an amazing moment in the part. And then Poor it man. just got like the ultimate like flat line. It was like, come on, bro. You bring him back after that? It's like, imagine if Abakio came back to life yeah. after everything we just <laughs> said about him. Like, I don't know. Stuff like that is just like, man. And you still say, oh, but he's the yes I am guy. Like, come on. <laughs> like, he has the funny memes, but like, he died and came back to die again. And like it was like, that with and it was the same lot. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thing where they like, if the care, like, they don't want to say that a character is trash, so they'll just like put him in mid as like a exactly. really controversial. Yeah. That's, that's what you notice in a lot of tier lists. It'll be like, it'll be like S through D, and then like C and D aren't even utilized. It's like, yeah, no, nah, you yeah, got to use exactly. every tier. Yeah. It's like everything. Yeah. In Not everyone is D, bro. Yeah. Not everyone is D. <laughs> Megan, do you have yeah, one? I know, I know people. I know people flame me for that sake because it's like, but he's one of the Stardust Crusaders. That's, that was another pun. Bro. You keep coming back with the puns every time. Yeah, yeah. Flame me. Come on, oh, Kev. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, oh! He's not even realize his greatness right now. He's just popping off. He's just cooking that hard. That's some English major. It's like you don't even realize. <laughs> That's a good one, though. Megan, what's yours? Oh, you know mine. 
Oh shit, dude! You know, my mind's probably the most controversial. Oh, and shit. I got a lot of shit I just want to just it. pad this and say that you know, I hope nobody leaves after it's this. Be a stone Ocean takes, bro. Oh Those yeah, yeah, yeah. Atrocious. Yeah, yeah. They're all Stone <laughs> remember, Ocean takes. I remember listening to like podcasts. I was like, See, yeah. bro, it's the worst part. You can't be serious. It's I, not great. It's. I mean, I'll, I would. Okay, I'll, I would say I. You know, when I was first reading it, I was like, "This is so good." I mean, this is probably shaping up to be one of my first parts. It's like, "Orange is the new black." Yeah. meets jojo jolene i mean all the reveals in the beginning i was like this is so sick and then our villain was introduced i do not like poochie oh my god i i i do not i do not like poochie as a villain i'm sorry i just don't i i just i could not stand him and i understand it's like well he's a villain he's supposed to be bad and it's like but he was so stereotypically just like like vanilla he just gave me nothing i don't know i know that's controversial but i just can't help it and i was just mad because we got kira and then we went back to well after golden win and then we went back to like here's dio again i was like god damn it i thought we were done with this that's and that's controversial right? that he's friends with dio that's all he's got <laughs> yeah Hey, but that, he's right riding off Dio's success. The theme, yeah. the theme, the I know, point. I know, but I I liked weather and like that storyline, but that's the only thing that made it a little bit better for me. Poochie in general, I don't know, dude. I was like, who, why? Yeah. There were there were so many things for me in part six too that like I mean I guess that's my unpopular opinion is that I just I don't I didn't really enjoy that part. I don't really. I love uh, Jolene. Jolene as a Joe star as a protagonist mm -hmm. is is cool. But they're like the Joe Bros, like, and and this is something that me and Kev talked about too, like FF Foo Fighters, like I I I don't know, like even like the whole Joe Bro group from Stone Ocean, I just didn't like vibe with. And dude. that's your I, hot take, yeah. would you say? I, I thought that the even the stands from that part were like that's when we had the Feng Shui stand. That's when yep. we had. Hey, I mean, they were all you're... so oh. convoluted. All the yeah, stands yeah. were. I, I forgot yeah. most of them because they were so complex. Josh, yeah. I def I definitely agree with that sentiment, and like you can almost tell in the series itself that Araki almost felt that as well. Because like, or at least for me, Part Six has bar none my least favorite stands in the series. Yo Yo Ma, Maximum, like everything oh in Maximum Security. Uh, yeah, they're, like they're yeah. just they're. <laughs> They get to the point where they need so much exposition and they're asking so much from the reader when yeah. you can't really enjoy the pacing of it. And you notice this where you get through part six and Araki's considering like all of the things he's done before in the past. And he's even said in like the afterthought that he was reaching higher and higher in terms of the complexity and the heights that he was reaching with the creativity of the stand. So when you get that reset in Steel Ball Run, it's like, well, what are the stands now? Well, there's rope. There's a bomb. Yes. They, 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 they're they incredibly simplified. Yes. Except like when you get to the finale with D4C. But like you see that intention from Meraki to realize that this shit is going off the rails a little bit. We need to reset. We need to reel it in. And, you know, we need to focus a little, maybe a little bit more on the writing than sort of like the, the, the concepts. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And that's I mean, yeah, that's why I think it, it does like rank so low for me personally is because of all those reasons. And so while while it's your like take that like Poochie isn't great, I think for me it's just that like I don't I don't know Stone Ocean for Stone me Ocean wasn't, in general. Wasn't even even that like great. Uh, the Dio Suns like Underworld. It's like what does this stand do? It creates a hole that recreates a past traumatic event that plays out, and it's like yeah. what the what am I watching right now, <laughs> man? Like, yeah, it's just like the trauma stand. Yeah, it's just so much. The Disney characters were great, though. That, that was, was a great, great. part. Yeah, that, was uh, that was great. That was kind of cool. That, I like <laughs> that. I like that. Bohemian like, like Rhapsody like, was sick. I still don't really understand the snail thing. Oh. I mean, if I'm being you honest, dude, I don't really Propaganda. understand it either. Propaganda. If somebody <laughs> else here can, un can explain it, that'd be great. From, from my understanding, it was a subliminal message being sent to them to make them think they were snails. So no one was... Again, I am not, you know, I, I, I'm not writing on the topic right now. I potentially might be spreading misinformation, but from my understanding, they are not literally snails. They just think they're snails, so they act like snails. But some people might cite like, well, what about that time Jolene went through a pipe? And it, it's because she used stone free. <laughs> Okay. To, to go okay. That, so, oh, yeah. Willie's just dying. Like they thought they <laughs> were snails. Like it's such a crazy thing. They're not really snails. Okay. The fact that they actually the, the fact snails. that everyone here still does not have a full understanding of what was really happening kind of speaks to the convolution of it. So yeah. Yeah. And then and then Poochie just like went blind, so he's immune. <laughs> yes! like, I'm gonna remove the I'm gonna remove the disc that holds my eyesight when yeah. I have never I, been I, able I to like do it. that before. That, that was another thing, dude. I just felt like people were pulling shit out of their ass in that part. Yeah. 
Um, but, oh, and yeah. you don't. I mean, it was it was the Snapple fact part. Like that yes. was the one that. Coined and because like I felt like a Rocky fact. was, and he's done it before, but I felt like he was really he was reading a lot of conspiracy theorists like <laughs> blogs and stuff because it was like the rod thing too, um, uh, the rod stand or whatever that sky was a, high. that that yeah. was sky high. That was mm-hmm. a conspiracy theory that was like debunked, right? But. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, it was that. It was the and the frogs were kind of cool, you know. It was cool that he like, yeah, it was the a Snapple facts. I like that he, you know, what you know, put that in the story. But it just kind of felt like a lot on top of everything else that we had been reading up to that point. Like I feel like my yeah. mind, I was it was just a, it was just a lot. It was yeah, it's, a lot. it's exhausting too that a lot of people reach that because when someone's, I feel like for a long time the reason why part six before the anime was underrated in a sense where people lost like the or pe- people like you know it, it was kind of unanimously disliked before the anime i would say it, it ranked pretty low um and the reason is because i feel like people would binge the manga and they would go through part three part four part five mm-hmm. and you're getting that repetition of that stand for stand user of the week formula and when you get to part six like it, it does become exhausting especially if you're speed reading the series in the matter of a month even like you, you really sort of get the exhaustion a bit there so i feel like the animes help that yeah, and, but and Kev, you're another... you're a passionate like advocate for like you it ranks high for you Stone Ocean. I, I like it a lot. I think it's Same. like I love Jolene. I love Poochie. I love Weather Report. He was one of my favorites in the whole series when he came around. I like Foo Fighters a lot. Like don't get me wrong, Anasui. He was uh, he got a lot cooler in my opinion from the anime. I don't know. I feel like they sort of gave him a lot more time mm. in a in a sense because when I when I first read Stone Ocean and and Part Five and like we were in crusty scan era like so stone ocean <laughs> was so painful like i'm just gonna be completely honest that shit was painful but i feel like the anime did a lot of love to it and the first batch i know people were that that was that was kind of rough to be honest but like as it went on you know it got a lot better in my opinion the animation leveled up and there was a lot yeah. of interesting stuff they did so I, I don't know i think it's cool i just think the idea of him like going so far uh, a lot of the stands, um, like we all were saying, are, are rough. Like Dragon's Dream, that was, oh my god. Like, stuff like that. But yeah. it's just like, I don't know. I feel like it's it's pretty creative, and a lot of the characters are cool. Um, and I, as I said, you know, when I read it, it was it was painful. But, you know, the anime, I feel like, has done a lot of um, stuff for the community as a whole. Like, uh, yeah. was saying, where the community it, it always now, does like, it. Like, part yeah. five. Like, part people, five was People didn't like part five. Yeah. And then when it gets, like, dude, you, you'll even go back. You have 2016, 17 era where it's like, Jorno sucks. He's a boring protagonist. Anime comes out. Yeah. Part five peak. It's Stone Ocean peak, comes yeah. out. Stone Ocean. You know what I've also noticed recently is that people are kind of being like, yeah, you know what? Part five isn't that good. Go back and watch part five, dude. You'll be like, yeah, no, the animation is <laughs> fire. It's yeah, dude, so I, like, I think I know, part I know five is animated person. better than part six. Part, oh, part for sure. five. For sure. yeah. I mean, it, the, the style is objective. It's your opinion. But like part five felt like maybe close to part one and two. But in terms of like a passion project, the quality and like the, the love put into part five, I feel like is kind of unmatched. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love it. Has, part five. It has a lot of those. Um, I don't know how to fully describe it. I know people flame me a bit for saying it like this, but all right, this is going to sound kind of weird. But do you guys know the show Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Yeah. Right? Yes. Of course. You know that show yes. where the line art is very like you moving. Know, like this. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. It moves all the time. Uh, part five is a lot of scenes like that. Yeah. And I personally don't like it that much. Like, I'm just going to be for real because it doesn't feel like JoJo to me. Mm. But I can't deny like some of that stuff looks fucking amazing. You know I, mean? I, I think part awesome. five character designs peak. Yep. I, yeah, I love what they did with it. Yep, and I think that there are some scenes where the anime pops off for no reason. Like, I mean, it's exactly. not even like they're doing anything that crazy, and all of a sudden I'm like, why did they add that so many extra fluid. frames? Yeah, yeah. Dopey is one. Dopey is spinning the knife on his finger. Yeah, oh, oh my, that comes to mind. Oh my, yeah, God. I love yeah. King Crimson throwing his little temper tantrum. That shit was <laughs> peak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so good. And I was actually shocked when I found out. How many people in the community like don't love that part? And I think like X Force was saying, it comes from people always throwing it back to Giorno, Giorno. being boring. But and, and... there's so many other characters that make up for his loss. Bro, if think... you think it's a loss, oh, like, for sure. it oh is my lost. god, it's <laughs> such like he's a good not part. that bad. Like people really just think he's like the worst of the worst. Yeah, I, I guess so. I, it feels like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. It really does. Yeah, I mean, uh, he just gets I... outshined by Bruno, in my opinion. That yeah, oh, that's... the top one. That's true. But I, I, I love all of the Joe Bros of that part, too. I think as a unit, as a group, they were all so cool. And, and you're right, he does get outshined. But 
Damn, I love those. I love those boys. I love those boys. I love those boys. Have, have we heard Josh's hot take yet? Or have oh, we been yeah. just going on this Megan no, Stone Ocean no. tangent? No, yeah, he kind of like hopped I piggyback, on. I piggybacked on Megan's. Yeah, because yeah, we had like, that's a hot take for the community for us. When we were talking about our thoughts on part six because everyone was like, we're so excited to hear your thoughts on part six. And then we got there and they were like, we didn't like it. And they were like, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess like uh, that's the one that comes to mind. Just like my my feelings on, on Stone Ocean in general. Um, I know it's not the hottest of hot takes. It's kind of it's kind of hard. I was thinking I was racking my brain on um what exactly it would be because i don't know there's also like battle tendency stuff <laughs> like i remember um because you know willie was talking about lucy uh being like a, an underage girl like in a rocky you know choosing to draw her in a certain way and have her in these like crazy ass situations like yeah and i and i know that like even in battle tendency right it, it, it came out so long ago like the manga mm -hmm. came out so long ago but the yeah. fact it, it always like was so weird to me because I read it in like 2021 or whatever. It was weird to me that Araki like made like a Nazi like the hero of 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 the story. <laughs> it, that was an interesting it was choice. Crazy. <laughs> it's <was> crazy, you know. <laughs> and and Josh like, saying that, and everyone was like, "You just don't get it." And Josh was like, "I get it. I, I get it. <laughs> I understand." And I was like, "This is fucking crazy, dude. Like, this is wild. Like I don't think I enjoy this. I don't think I like it." And then just I, I mean, I felt like. I tried not to look at it after a certain point because I was going through Reddit and, and just looking online and stuff to see where these parts ranked for people. And a lot of people rank Battle Tendency high. Again, now I understand it's because of the campiness and, and a lot of the things that I didn't pick up on the first time I read it. And Joseph, I mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. A lot of people Joseph, like Joseph. Uh, yeah, and I liked Caesar. I mean, I love Lisa Lisa. Like, there's so many good um, things in that part. Yeah. Um, but, Cars, all, all, yeah. all of that stuff was cool. Yeah. But, I'd say uh, Joseph is yeah. the most like surface level enjoyable Jojo. You don't need to think about why he's doing the things he's doing or what he's thinking. He's just fun. He, he's, yeah. he relates to people and he's an enjoyable character to watch just do his thing. But I feel like a lot of times that's what I'm coming to Jojo's for. Like I know you can mm -hmm. read uh, very far into it, but I feel like on the surface, it's just it's just kind of fun. You know yeah. What yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah. Joseph does I that think, the best. Yeah, that's why. I mean, another take. I, this I don't think is hot at all. But I think old Joseph over young Joseph. Oh yeah. How do we? I, oh, I like that's, it. that's pretty hot, I'd say. Heard. Okay, like okay, uh, that's my take then. No, I like the role he fulfills in three. He, he's he's very essential in three because like Jotaro without Joseph, I don't think works. So you, yeah. you sort of need him. It, it's it's the straight man with the com comedic relief, but he's also the mentor, so it works like yeah. as a double mm. layers character. For sure. I didn't know that was a hot take. You well, got one. You got one in the bag. I got one now. I got one. <laughs> you got the fun, the funny. Oh my god. Oh it, yeah. Worse, yeah. All right. While we set up the next <laughs> segment, which is going to be basically something that we found online, a quiz, and everybody's going to participate in it. It's called JoJo Real or Fake. So mm. these are moments from the story that are either real or fake. I've seen Willie do some stuff on his channel that's like kind of similar, where you'll do like real fan, uh, real stands versus oh, like yeah. fake stands. That was something I was wanting to do too. But I think this is going to be fun. We'll see how many we get right or wrong. Okay. So while I queue that up, Megan, if you want to look at any like super chats or, oh, or yeah. anything that we've got and, and everybody watching, we're going to get to them probably between segments. So if mm -hmm. you do send one um, and we don't get to it right away, just be uh, assured that we will get to it at some point. So I'm going to queue that up really quick. All right. So the first one, and we have some JoJo sounds. I know our, our guests cannot hear them, but we got some funny ones here. Um, this one comes from Jojaroon Chris. Thank you so much. Um, my king, Chewy Dog One. <laughs> if nobody gets me, I know Jojaroon Chris got me. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. The first shout out to Chewy. Um, and then Will, who has been a member in our community for a very long time. Uh, Hello, D Will. Thank you so much for being a member. Um, petition to only call uh, D4C filthy acts at a reasonable price. Oh, from the dub. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Classic. classic. That was one that uh, upset people a lot for us because we had told them that we were watching the anime in the dub and they said, you're you guys are absolutely bonkers for doing that. And we were like, yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of heat <laughs> for that, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially with the stand names, too. It was like, that's not even it. I was like, oh, really? We're reading the, Some people we're, don't know the, the actual stand name sometimes, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zipperman. I was about to say Zipperman. I hear that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Zip, Zip, in, if, in terms of a localized tier list, though, Zipperman is S tier. I fuck with that. Yeah, Zipperman goes kind of hard. <laughs> when I say <laughs> Sex Pistols, nobody knows that stand. 
Like, yeah, I, 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 sometimes I get comments and I can't tell if people are trolling where people yeah. are like, why do you keep calling six pistols sex pistols? <laughs> <laughs> or six, oh, six bullets, six bullets, yeah, whatever okay. it's called. Yeah, yeah, know. That bad. They don't know. But that's a fire name. Like, it is. <laughs> it really is. I was like, oh, that, that makes sense, though. So I'm going to keep saying it. Even though I'm wrong, <laughs> I get I get him wrong all the time, dude. Like, I, yeah, and I feel I feel like a fake fan sometimes because I just I don't know I latch on. You are to, a fake fan, though. Don't you dare! Don't Shit. you dare! Were you guys in the the flaccid pancake era or no? Nah? No, flaccid uh, pancake. Yeah, what is they that? killed flaccid pancakes. They killed flaccid pancake. Yeah. Yo, the worst was limp biscuit though. <laughs> limp <laughs> biscuit was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Who cooked that? Who cooked that? <laughs> All right, here it is. Here's the real or fake <laughs> moments. I guess we'll ask each person one at a time uh, and, and we'll just see if they get it right or wrong. I mean, you guys are, are pros. I mean, I'm pretty confident that this is going to be 100%. We're going to get the first, I'm going to get the first A I've ever gotten in my life, dude, <laughs> on this quiz. So let me uh, start with the first one. We'll go Chewy. True or false? A baby causes an earthquake that reaches a seven on the Richter scale. Did this happen in JoJo or not? Uh, is this referring to the the bling bling baby from Chicholian? I don't know, or, dude. I can't give any hints. If it okay, damn it! <laughs> I feel stupid because <laughs> no, I can't no, no, think. No, I, I can't. Dumb. Okay, no, no, I genuinely can't remember that. I, I'm cool. thinking of the babies in JoJo. I can think of Baby Stand, Death Thirteen. Mm -hmm. There's bling bling baby from Chicholian. There's the woman who eats her baby in part one, but I can't, uh, I have to say false because I just can't remember this. False. Okay. Is that uh, your final answer? You're locking you lock that in? in? False final yari, answer. Yari, please. All right. It, it is false. Okay. Let me put it in. Hold on. Hold oh, on. oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I hit it now. Shit. Oh, shit. I oh, got to hit play okay. quiz. Okay. False. Yeah. It did. Oh, thank God. Oh, you got it My right, reputation dude. is saved. Yes. Yeah, the fraud watch the fraud watch is so real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so this one uh, is for Willie. An elderly man slits his wrists in order to find an invisible baby. Oh yeah, that's Joseph. Let's see. Yeah, Did he it does it in the water. It oh, happened. That was way easier. Than yeah, Chewy. that was an easy one. That was yeah. an easy one. Oh that was an easy one. Well, it's hard because I you're thought, like I thought Chewy's was about the baby that was in the second one i literally was like oh when they made the holes did it like cause an earthquake i was like oh god i thought it was about the green baby for a second but then i was like oh uh yeah oh shit the quiz pause i don't want the timer on it okay whatever <laughs> um all right so it's gonna come back around so maybe the next one will be a little harder yeah, yeah. all right or maybe i'm just like the most knowledgeable <laughs> maybe just give no, me that I mean, credit i mean it's fair that's fair that's fair <laughs> Uh, X Force, a battle is resolved by a cat jumping on the villain's hand. Okay, so for like 90% of these, I'm looking at them and I'm like, okay, yeah, true, false, true, false. But for this one, I'm like, God damn, please don't let me answer this one because <laughs> oh, no! it, like, I'm thinking and it's like, Stray Cat was in the story for a while. <laughs> I, like, I can't remember everything Stray Cat did. And I'm thinking about cats in part three as well, but in terms of jumping on the villain's hand to resolve a battle, I'm going to have to say that that didn't happen. Oh, X Force is going false. Did it happen? Oh, he got it. There we go. There we go. So far, no one's got anything wrong. Kev, the pressure's on, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Our hero oh, puts God. on a deadly suit of armor that removes his ability to feel pain and keeps his broken bones in place. This is I, I'm I'm like so lost right now. I'm, gonna be honest. I'm like, what is this? I suit wish that armor. happened. I was like, what is happening? I, I I'm gonna say false because this suit of armor thing. I have no idea what this is referring to. If this is something. Wow, dude. You're it is right. false. That was from Berserk. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's from Berserk. Actually, I <laughs> yeah, love the yeah, I like the oh, wording yeah. here too. <laughs> All right, we're going to throw one to Megan. Oh, God. Oh, this is this is where the pressure's on. The heroes are almost defeated when somebody summons every single fictional character from anywhere in the world. Yes. True? True. Let's see if you're right. I think we were literally just talking no. about this. Yes, true. Yes, yes. It yeah. happened, dude. Yeah. This is the one fairy the, tale. Yeah. Dio's side. Yeah. I love that one. I was like, wait. 
All right, I guess I'll I'll take this one. A deadly villain attacks, bro. Why am I gonna be the first one to get one wrong? <laughs> a deadly villain attacks with his ability to turn chairs into bears. Okay, this it was did, the Goldilocks stand. Don't you remember? Did, this did not happen. This did not happen. It was the Goldilocks stand, Josh. Thank you. Thank God, dude. <laughs> yes, I do. For real, stop, dude. You're gonna embarrass me, dude. You're gonna embarrass me. All right, Chewie. A priest goes to Cape Canaveral and accelerates all time in the universe. True. Final answer. Got the easy one. <laughs> yeah, you got an easy one. You got an easy one. I don't even have to enter in true to know it happened. You just have yeah. to put tier. <laughs> oh, tier F. Oh, I'll skip the whole fucking word out, dude. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. All right, Willie. A man with four testicles blinds somebody with bubbles. Oh, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do I do know this one because I read the first chapter. That's okay. all you need to read. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Need to read to okay. Damn. Um, I don't know if he blinds someone with uh, bubbles, but I'm going to assume that the four testicles is enough to say true. <laughs> it did yeah. happen. Yeah, did we ever, or, or, or do you want to drop that bombshell now? <laughs> Yeah, you can. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, I mean, I just didn't know that that Willie, you haven't read all of eight and nine. No, I have not. But those I, are the, uh, those are the read, only two. I, yeah, I read like uh, three chapters of of part eight. Um, then I think One Piece took over my life. It uh, happens. That's fair. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> Happens to the best the of them. Sopranos. I was watching that. So like, oh shit! You know what, a lot, dude? Lot, lot going on. I've never seen The Sopranos. Oh, it's a great mm. anime. We'll get on that. <laughs> 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 I gotta check it out though. If, if you're saying yeah. it still holds up, dude, I'll watch it. Yeah, Tony oh, is it like Lelouch here for sure. He's light <laughs> Lelouch here. So who does that bring us to? Okay, X Force. The weather makes people think they are turning into snails. We just talked about that, dude. Come on, I don't want to. I gotta give true, you the uh, true gotta, final answer. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can we just well, technically, like you were saying, they don't actually. Yeah. Snails, oh. So like. So this honestly, quiz is wrong. Honestly, the quiz might not even know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I want to give you this one, X, because this the, the last one was too easy. Okay. A stockbroker is killed by his own belt. I'm going to say that did not happen. <gasps> he got it right, dude. Oh, that one was <laughs> scaring me. I was like, yeah, I, I was thinking, was like, like, for some reason, uh, my mind went to part four for some reason. Same. Uh, well, yeah, that could have been Lightning McQueen. No, that's yeah, it made thinking. me think about McQueen. Yeah, but is he a stockbroker though? I don't remember that in the lore. I don't think so, but I was thinking maybe it was a detail I missed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to turn the timer off? Yeah, I think he's about to. All right, we gotta hurry, Kev. <laughs> yeah, because all right, all right. The, right. the courts of Speed Jesus round. Christ allows a, a crippled man to shoot his fingernails like bullets. All right, well, oh. that's true for sure. All right, that's well, I did sure. skip one. I didn't realize it till now. All right, uh, all right, Chewie, a villain steals people's souls by beating them into a, in a video game. Yes. 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 True. Okay. Okay. Willie, the hero defeats somebody by tactically placing a dove inside a woman's mouth. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I okay. Feel like that could oh, it's question enough. marks. Okay. okay. Good. 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 Okay, good. Okay. Good. Oh my uh, gosh. Sounds familiar, but I uh, maybe I'm dumb. I don't think that I don't think that happened. Oh, it's oh, not gonna. Can't. I could do it. I could okay, do it. I have the. I have that. them right here. Okay. Um. I let's see. Uh, the doves. Do do do. What is it? Doves. Doves. Is, unless anybody else knows, I don't know. I don't. I have no idea. This does sound like it could it, be plausible. Oh my gosh! I think I'm just thinking of Savage Garden right now, I, but I don't remember Savage Garden. I don't Garden think. That, I think that. I think that yeah. did not happen. Yeah. I can't see it. Let's see. Let's check. Um. I think these are different answers. No, right here. Oh no. Oh yeah, they change so, every time. So. Oh, I that's mean, kind of sick. I mean, that is kind of sick. Um, not for us. Not for us right now. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. People I in thought the chat. Saying, it's, uh, just like, it's just like the snail question. You know, whatever we believe is what it really is. Yeah. You know? Okay. Well, the chat, the chat, um, Joseph and Caesar. Joseph. I believe that it happened when they were talking on when they were at the fountain. Do you remember? remember? And we joked about we're like dove. He put a whole dove in her mouth. Oh, oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Right. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah. I said that was my favorite part. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I mean, that's. And then that's it. Then. Um, a group of gangsters. Oh no, no, no. A woman has the ability to control anyone who could see her ankle. What do we think about that one? You guys, no. chat. The group. No. <laughs> nah. That's that's false, right? That, yeah, that. that has to be false. Uh, okay, a group of gangsters watches soccer inside a turtle. 
That happened. That's true. This could be like a one what? panel thing from part five that I don't remember because yeah. like were. there is soccer in part five and there is a turtle, a turtle. that you can go inside. Yeah. So wouldn't it be football if it's in Italy? Yeah, this Fair is also point. a good point. Fair Something point. Quiz sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just sucks because we don't know the answer. So yeah. It was going fine. Um, yeah, someone said false. False. Okay. okay. For they were doing one? for the so uh, for the soccer and the turtle. No, because I don't think they watch it. <laughs> because yeah, those things do happen separately, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Or that, or soccer football exists in that part, but, but they're they kind of chilling together? in there. They were kind of chilling in there. Yeah, maybe they had a whole little couch and everything. Damn, we'll never know. All right, the hero is fatally attacked by a disembodied head on his honeymoon. If this did happen, this is some part one activity. No, this For is real. part one because yeah. Jonathan and uh, Ariana were on the honeymoon, right? Oh, oh, on the boat. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Head on his. Oh yeah, obviously. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. We got through it. I didn't think the timer was going to X us out of the quiz. I tried to turn it off. But hey, we got we pretty much got all of them right. I'm going to say get we degrees. did. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. You can just point out the one guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I would have I I got that one wrong too, really. <laughs> Everybody got them all right, dude. We got it all right. <laughs> Uh, all right, now we're going to do um, the the tier list. So this is, um, like you said, exports. We've never had the privilege of doing every part and every part tier list. Uh, and then we're going to get, and then I'm going to do the speed round stuff after, and then we'll get into our bracket. But we've never had the privilege of doing a, a tier list before. Last time we did Ooh. one, we did we we hadn't read Steel Ball Run. Yes. We hadn't read Jojolion. And uh, and obviously Jojo Lands is too early to put anywhere. But um, mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see. And we, you know, if we can't agree on something, we can throw it to the chat, but... I mean, debate whatever you're passionate about, whatever you think a part should be, let it rip, dude. And if we can't agree, then we have to throw it to the chat and we have to just like be happy where it falls, I guess. <laughs> All right, me, me, and Chewie, but me and Chewie about to go head to head this round. <gasps> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. I have it already pulled up. Let me see. Let me see. You want to check in with the chat, Megan, too, while I'm. Oh, yeah, we're good. It all up. Everything's good. We're good. We're good. Hello, everyone. Just coming in. Welcome. To the ultimate JoJo stream. Where is he? <laughs> I wish you guys could hear these sounds too. Okay, we got our screen back. Yeah. I gotta just recenter this. Oh, we lost X Forge, dude. He's gone. Oh no, his camera is off. <laughs> yeah, I think he just put the camera. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. He took off. He's so dramatic. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll wait for him to get back. Let me change this over here so that people tuning in know where we're I at. I have a genuine question for yeah. everyone here. Um, so wait, you guys, you guys read the whole series, right? Uh, we read one, two, three, and then watched five, uh, four, four five, five, and six, six, and then obviously read the rest. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys read it in color, or did you read it black and white? I read um, mm -hmm. Joe Jolion in color. Uh, yeah, I mean, and we the read first three parts ball... black and white. Oh, black and white, yeah. Yeah, and then the newer parts in color. Mm -hmm. What about seven? Seven color. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know where you're getting with this. Oh, that the, was, the... I was actually getting it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about... So that's something people talk about is that you, they say you can't read part seven in color because okay, uh, it I messes with that. the art. Yeah, I, I did really? read it. I read half yeah. of it in black and white. And then my brain was hurting for a little bit because uh, it was just like sometimes you just have to like stare at a panel for like an hour to be like, oh no, his left foot is there. Okay. Yeah. Um, no. I guess so I'm... I just put it in color and I was like, yeah. How long does it take? Because uh, it's it's a official coloring, right? It's not just like a fan coloring. Uh, I think it is fan. Coloring. Yeah. No the the colored scans are done by Shueisha. They do it for certain popular series, and oh. JoJo's had like the special privilege to have it all professionally colored as in the people doing it are they work for shueisha and they like get paid to it so it is a professional like thing and how long does exact it take black and white purists <laughs> <laughs> how long does it take for them to catch up like in, in with the jojo lands like are, are there any color chapters out now or when does that usually start uh i'm not sure i know I'm part sure. eight just got finished uh maybe a year ago so i mean although there is the the chromaverse which is a fan project oh, okay. for uh, the JoJo lens where they're doing the colored, but um, I honestly don't know. I'd say I'd say probably at least a few years before we see JoJo Damn. lens colored. That's a long time, bro. That's, that's like something... twenty years until we get an English translation. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah, Viz is gonna milk this cow until it's <laughs> mm -hmm. ending. Yeah, dude. So there bro, was the, an way, article... the way Viz has handled JoJo is a travesty. 
There was an article or somebody saying that they were going to like speed up, like speed up the publication of this previous or this next part, Stone Ocean. Yes. Um, so before the Jojonians released every, it was, I think during parts four and five, it was like every two or three months it would get yeah, a release. But, but now Stone Ocean is bi-monthly. So Stone Ocean will be completely released like within a year and a half or so. Hmm. Um, and then part seven will be next. <sighs> It's just like I this is something that's so crazy to me. This is the first time in a community, in a fan base that like I, I it just feels like there's like anime, the manga, everything is so behind where the story actually is. Like I, I don't know. I in know. JoJo, I feel that more than I've ever felt before. Yeah. So like getting merch, like wanting to get a cool shirt, which there are a lot of like artists who have their own um, independently created stuff that's really cool, but like official like Steel Ball Run or Jojolion stuff, like I don't know in the it West, just doesn't. we're not going to get that for like years and years and years. I mean, even more so than that, the problem is that like you cannot read Steel Ball Run officially in English. You haven't been able to for the for like literally you know the last ten years since exactly. it started, and you're not going to be able to for at least another three, four, five years. So I, I really just wish they would make it available online, Digital. do something, yeah. but they're just like, they're holding on to Steel Ball Run and not doing anything with it. It's I just a so shame. livid when you have to read it on some like pirate site. Yeah. All of the advertisements mm -hmm. are the yeah. worst advertisements you've seen in the world. Yeah. <laughs> they are just awful, just terrible. Yep. Um, yep. <laughs> I mean, Viz just, I, I feel like it was only a few years ago when they started officially translating Stone Ocean, which was available online, which is kind of crazy to think about. So, yeah. Um, Are the volumes out now? Like the, the no, not yet. Um, it's no. coming out soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't I think until... the first one is, um, oh, God. I think it, I think it was like March. I don't know if it's time I had, though. I could check. Yeah, it wasn't until I started reading the scans that I knew there were so many local singles in my area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Milfs in my area. Milfs in yeah. my area. Ready dude. and hot. Um, and it's just like right in the middle of the chapter too. So you're just like, okay, uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah dude, dude, I'm like crying for a character's death. I'm like, fuck, yeah. so emotional. <laughs> then it's like, wanna bang? I'm like, get out of here. It's like the fattest <laughs> Photoshop ass I've ever seen. I know, life. it's yeah. so fake. <laughs> Uh, and they float too. Uh, anyway, anyway, they're they floating. Float. They're floating around the screen. <laughs> yeah, like the it top was, um... banner, bottom banner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like you can't escape it. You Yo, can't. Where, the, where the hell are you guys reading? <laughs> I mean, to be to be fair, I read bro. JoJo's on X videos. I, I, I go, go kind of hard with that. I download it and then I put it onto a Kindle. <laughs> if I read like any That's longer. really smart. Yeah. Right? Oh, we all need I, to catch I, up. I have not done that. God, we're, yeah, we're all, all of us. I'm like, dang, that's really good. Yeah. I mean, that's just at least for me, like. I am not comfortable re doing long reading sessions on like my computer screen, like eye strain and everything. So Same. Um, I try to get as close to like that physical experience. I use my yeah. Kindle too, but the, the ads, I, I finally figured out a way to turn off the, I think data and cookies and all this shit so that they don't come up anymore. Mm. But it was like a lot. I had to do yeah. a lot to make that happen. I it's part of the experience though. It is. Yeah. It's, you oh really my have God. To that. <laughs> yeah, like, remember I, that I ad say, in part? Imagine reading, <laughs> imagine reading the first chapter of Stone Ocean and you see what Jolene's up to and then you get that ad right after. Oh my God. It would be yeah. such a seamless transition. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say, Kev? What are you trying to say? What are you saying? <laughs> Hey, that's what she wanted to do. Um, <laughs> but I, I that's I why Stone the, Ocean uh, is his favorite part, actually. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Okay, yeah, <laughs> chill, chill. Uh, I found the thing. It says November twenty eighth will be the uh, the first volume release. So not that. Yeah. Long, oh, not good, which is pretty sick. Oh, so if you guys in English want to experience Steel Ball Run, the only way you can do it officially is in the video game All Star Battle. Unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, what a way. Fortunately, so indeed. I, oh, wait, five characters yeah. that are in it now. <laughs> yeah. no. It's a great game, though. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, all right, let's 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 uh, let's rank S through D. I wish that this had, like, you know, funny tier names or whatever. Cook them up, Josh. Let's get them. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Cook them up. All right. All right, all right. What, what do we want to call S? What should S be? Let's, let's all... Let's work on it together. Fiction. Okay, it's, it's gotta peak. be peak fiction. It's gotta peak. be peak it's fiction. Gotta... <laughs> fiction. Okay, okay, okay. What's A? Mid. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. It jumps from peak to mid. Damn. And we really are on Twitter right now. A <laughs> <We really are>. <laughs> is <laughs> exquisite fiction. <laughs> okay. Mm. Exquisite. It, would A still be like? 
is fire to to no nah, it's fire it's fire for sure it's fire a is like fire mm, i think that's good okay is b mid or is b something else no b's gotta be mid he's gotta okay. be mid b, b is, it, is literally mid. literally mid. But like you know how people literally, use it I'll as a b substitute mid. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll put literally mid literally mid is like the six out of ten video game that's what it means <laughs> exactly all right literally mid uh, and then D could be mid. You could just make D mid. And then it's literally <laughs> mid and mid. <laughs> literally <laughs> mid and mid. You know what, Kev? D, you could just it. do like, I wish I did not read this. Oh, no. Damn. That's just, oh, that's this, this, this should, this that's should be like, even a below mid in terms of JoJo is still like a B in like a, a manga tier yeah. list, I would say. So we put like, okay. Below or, mid, I would say. Below mid? Unless you can think of a, a clever way to express that, because that's what <laughs> would, it is. Would read again on two times speed. <laughs> would it oh read God. again on two times speed? No, no, no. Um, would would, would oh, read again, again on two times speed. Two time speed. I'm on beat C then. Okay, okay, literally, I like it. Literally, it's just like the would would watch two times speed is just the sun episode. You just see oh, them shit. sped up laughs and crap like that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is long. It's too long. It's <laughs> too way too long, Josh. No, it's not. It's <laughs> fine. Speed. Oh, fuck. I can't type. So weed. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm going to go in the... Well, should we go in order the order they have it here? Last one should be should be erased. Last one should be erased? No, like should be er like erased from existence. Oh, damn. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 you don't want to give me that power. Use that. They, oh my god. We're getting toxic. We will, we will we're getting push. toxic, okay? <laughs> Jesus. All right, we'll keep it like this. We'll keep it like this. That's crazy. All right, we'll start with we'll start in the order they have it in. Let's just go okay. with um, Golden Wind. Golden Wind. For me, dude, like I said, I love this part. I think people shit on this part and are quick to shit on it. I don't know if it's one of those things that people just all started like just agreeing on and just kind of like repeating. I, I I don't know. But to me, Giorno isn't the best protagonist in the entire series, but the Joe Bros make up for it. Bruno makes up for it. I think, you know, Diavolo is really cool uh, at the end. Like even, even Polnareff returning, Silver Chariot, Requiem, Golden Experience. I mean, Koichi's all, little adventure. Koichi's little adventure in the beginning. <laughs> I... <laughs> I would say I would say fire, but that's just me. Top about, of fire, absolutely I top of fire. I agree. I think I think we can only put one thing in peak. Okay, okay, I like that a lot. I love a tier list where there's one S tier. I love mm. it. So I'm very down. For can it. we can we agree that we don't put Steel Ball Run though? Because I feel like that's where it's going. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't want to make it too predictable. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, fuck right. it. Let's shake it. Gonna, up. I'm gonna throw my wrench in there. It's literally mid. I don't think oh. it's fine. I think it's literally mid. Because, okay. bro, Giorno is not that level compared to the other Joe stars. I'm just going to say, he's not that level. He's cool. <sighs> you know, he's cool. And I know I'm going to sound like the basic, like, I'm from a decade ago. He's but, like, cool. Like, man, Diavolo <laughs> and Giorno were not it for me. And I hate the ending. I hate the ending. Wow. I hate Rolling Stone. Mm -hmm. So what? Much. Kev, you, oh, Kev, 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 that's Kev, a hot take. Kev, that's Kev, a you, fucking hot take. That's Kev, Kev, Kev you tweaking right now. Kev, you tweaking. I hate it, bro. It just it makes it feel like nothing mattered. Keep it's it, just, keep like, it to I yourself. I hate it. Bro, that literally kind of give you that same. I feel that way about any show that does an entire episode. And then at the end of the episode, it's just the character waking up and it was a dream. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's like, that no, 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 it's it gave me I thought, chills. I, thought to me, I feel like that's this, but I, okay. I can understand if that's your feelings. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's like that that moment of like everything doesn't matter in like a single moment. It's just like, oh yeah, they were all gonna die anyway. Oh yeah, it's irrelevant. Like stuff like that. I just I really hate endings mm. like that, and I feel like it's very antithetical to what JoJo is actually about, like determination and perseverance and doing what you want to do. And then it's like, actually, screw that. You're dying now. It's like, it goes so against. It's like, this is like the complete opposite of part eight sending. It's like the complete opposite. It's like, oh yeah, you fight against the flow. You did it. Mm. And sure, some people died along the way, but you fought against it. This is like succumb to the flow, suffer, die. And it's so lame. It's so lame. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that alone to me is, that's part. why it's literally mid. Every Joe bro, fire. The fights, fire. The art style, fire. But like besides that, I, that ending, man, it is so, 
it's like a I just steaming think the pile. Part about this part is Fugo. Like, what? Fugo's awesome. Yeah, what happened yeah. to him? Is he still standing at the dock? What is he going is. on? Yeah, he is. Still I mean, there. didn't Rocky come out? Now, arc. He had he had no arc. Didn't he come out saying that he just didn't have the heart? Because he was at a point in his life when I think he wasn't like really feeling all that well. Like his mental health wasn't that great. So he said he literally didn't have the heart to write what he originally planned, which was for Fugo to fight them. Um, I think but that's... Fugo was supposed not? to be sort of like a, a double agent working for the boss yeah. and at yeah. a certain point would do that. And he was a little bit depressed at the time and he decided to not roll with that. But I mean... Yeah. Not considering what the reason was outside, I think even within Golden Wind, it works well because when they're at the dock there, that's the decision when they all, so they're getting their way to um, deliver Trish to the boss. Mm -hmm. And then that's when all of them, the, all of them realize that the boss is actually like sort of tricking them and they decide to go against the boss. So at least for me, it makes sense and even adds to Diablo's character that one person would be like, I can't do that. I simply can't do that. That's too far. I'm not brave enough yeah, okay, to that, betray the that, game but... that I've sworn my loyalty to. So I feel like that adds more. It, it it makes the characters that do go to fight Diablo feel more brave and more uh, like righteous in their mission. And I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah, Fugo's kind of lame, but it. I, I kind of like how he's sort of like, it's too much. It was, reali it was realistic. Realistic, like yeah. That. But, but. <laughs> English major terms, he had nothing going for he had zero <laughs> art. He had like no purpose. Uh no? I think I think Fugo definitely did. He sort of like joined the game sort of to like express sort of like this anger he had. You had the flashback where he was like sort of sexually abused by that teacher and he yeah. sort of had oh, that like yeah. boiling over within him. And that's definitely expressed during like the man in the mirror arc. Um and it's just sort of Fugo sort of always always in this like internal struggle with himself where he tries to suppress his rage as much as possible and doesn't want it to boil over. And he's one of the only characters that comes out and is like, I hate my stand. I don't want to fight. Yeah. I don't like what my stand represents. I don't want to use it. So that sort of comes back in his whole thing of being like, I'm just going to choose to opt out because he's never liked using his stand or he's never wanted to be that fighter because he hates what it represents because yeah. it reminds him of who he truly is inside which mm. disgusts him. And to be fair, everyone, I mean, everyone got got and he probably would have been in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, he probably, probably could have easily right died. Now. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. There is Purple Haze feedback, which is his own little story, but. Did you guys read that? I did not yes. read that, no. I want to read it, dude. I, I, I've heard it's, it's like, good. it's incredible. It's I, accepted I, by Iraqi as canon as well, which is cool. Oh. That's fucking crazy, dude. Uh, I mean, I get the sentiment. I do, I do. I, I would have liked to see them go up against Fugo. I would have liked to see. Yeah, same. Oh, that would have been that would have been super cool, definitely. I would yeah. have loved yeah. to see Jorno kill him. Dude, yeah. that would have been fucking Hell yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that would have been that would have been metal. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh but there's so many other things in this part that I think I don't know make up for for that, right? Like it's not enough for me to to rank it like super low. Uh, in my in my own opinion, really mid isn't low, bro. It's no, not even low. for for golden not, wind, no, that's I not, that's not acceptable. I will not accept acceptable. nothing below fire, man. Like I mean, you could say that, but in no, my I'm with Julian. Parts, nothing below parts, fire, man. You know, like it, in terms yeah. of how it like like the setting, the themes, the way it like is all structured from beginning to end, and all in this like intentional way. It is just closest to peak fiction as the original universe comes. You know what, dude? I kind no, of agree. Hardly, no, yeah, bro, I would agree there. I would say because I mean, Kev, Kev said everything else, but you know, the ending was but fire. The protagonist and the fire. antagonist. You said bro, Joker, yeah, but fire, we have a Bruno fire, and fire. Dopio. Yeah, a uh, Bruno and Dopio are fire. Don't... But guess what? They are our main protagonist and antagonist. That's the thing. But bro, the even the but like, you can you can put it there. The, I'm just gonna disagree. the risotto. What are you, the risotto what, fight, what are you like, saying about the Diablo, Kev? I just think he's not that interesting. Well, that's simple as that. I think most other JoJo antagonists are better than him. I, like, I don't think that's a hot take at all. Mm. Like Kira clears. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Oh my Kira. god! Don't get me started on Kira. <laughs> oh, 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 in a bad way. Or... No, in a good way. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait. Like, pause. Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm not that brave. <laughs> But I Kev, think that's that, crazy, man. Like Kev can't appreciate the psychological damage of Diablo. Like 
The psychological damage. Kira has way more. The, 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 the innocence, the, the innocence of Dopio, who was corrupted and forced to do a terrible thing, therefore created a person to do hey, those bad things for him say, through Diablo. The show did that same character, but way better with Shinobu Sensui. That's all I'm gonna say. You Hakusho did it way better. Damn, bringing yeah. in Yu Yu in the conversation. <laughs> Damn, Shit. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna bring up the multiple I, okay. personality disorder, I like I like Diablo because we see like that insecurity from a villain. Like when we're first introduced to Diablo, he's like hiding alone, covering himself, and it's like it's a that's a it's a weird thing for a villain to do, and you sort of see into that paranoia and discomfort with himself. That I don't know. Most villains are boisterous and confident, and yeah. assert themselves over when Diablo is like deeply disturbed and. Upset at like who he used to be and is trying to like rectify all of that. And in terms of like storytelling, it was intriguing. Yeah, right? it was like, super intriguing. What is this about? What's happening right now? A, a, as it was a turtle like, as a phone? as it was all unfolding, I was yeah. I was hooked, dude. I, I yeah. mean, he seemed the most interesting in terms of like, I mean, I was having so many questions about like was his stand like his or was it split personalities? Does one person with two personalities have two stands? Like. I mean, I was really intrigued by this concept and how it played out. And again, some of the fights too, like his fight with Risotto and Metallica, like that was oh, so, that mm -hmm. was insane, dude. Um, it's kind of like why I feel Stone Ocean felt so convoluted because Golden Wind was like that sweet spot. And then it, it just went like a little too far. I feel like in, in Stone Your Ocean. Your opinion, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, would you put part six over part five? Uh, yes, no. I would. I wouldn't. Kev would. <laughs> <laughs> because, I, again, I feel like another thing with we'll Part out, 5 man. is I'm not as in invested mm. in a lot of the characters because it's just, so That is just the stupidest fast. thing I've ever heard about. <laughs> I mean, no, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I anime, don't believe that. Part, part 5 anime is way better than the Part 6 anime. Like, just quality, mm. the animation, the music, the voice acting. So it's let's all put the better. best of the best head to head. If you want to say the part I'm six not saying part six is even the best the of the best, let's yeah. put part five I'm saying the part six five. Let's make it equal. Stop, nah, bro. No, nah, bro, bro. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Hear, hear him, him out. out. First off, hear him out, guys. I've been hearing anime, a lot. Okay? The, part five, <laughs> the part five anime has the Purple Haze feedback additions in it so immediately it is better because of that alone but also the animation and all that clearly part five was top quality when it comes to the animation and all that but for me for me and my level <laughs> of investment, you know what i mean it just wasn't there and i'm not gonna apologize for having this opinion Don't. because jojo is still great it's still great like it's literally mid it's not even bad it's literally mid it's not even i'm not putting it in mid or would read again on two times speed I'm putting it in because <laughs> there is stuff that is absolutely lower than part five absolutely oh okay, okay. Uh, i was like damn uh, got, yeah, uh, this tier list is difficult though because it goes fire mid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, like, in no, between there, maybe there's because no, then because no, then I, if, if there was something in between there, I could true. compromise with Kev if we had something in between literally mid and fire. But I would if, no, if this Kev's is where the so tough strong, decisions are made. Yes, it's the limitations that breeds yeah. creativity. Here. Because, like for example, my my top three. All right, then put it in fire then. Four and two. Which are three of the four of our top ones. None of us said Golden Wind's top one. That's all I'm gonna say right now. We're not putting <laughs> okay. in well, fire that, that, or peak that's fiction. That's why it's not in peak it's fiction. But okay, let's take a vote. Chewy, where would you put it? Uh well, on one hand. Actually, no, screw it. Put it in fire. Never mind. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Kev. Kev, I'm shaking my head right now. I'm shaking my head right now. All right, that's one for fire, Willie. Fire. It's F it's very simple. Fire. It's, 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 it's like Rolling Stones. It's inevitable. It'll happen. You know. <laughs> I love Just Rolling Stones, though. For good reason. X Force Fire. Absolutely. Megan? Okay, fire. Yeah. Fire. I agree. And Kev, I'm sorry, dude. You're outvoted. It's, okay. it's fine. It's fine. You know, I'm not again. It's not peak fiction, at least. Well, your favorite, fiction, your favorite part of all time is up next, dude. Your favorite part of all time. There's a lot of people oh, in the my. chat like, do not slander part six. Oh, God, here oh, comes the part shit. six. Do <laughs> not, do not. Part. That's the crazy part. It's just like, man. I know, I'm kidding. Man. But Stone Ocean, <laughs> where are we going to put it, dude? 
Um, anybody want to start with where they would suggest? You, yeah, we're throwing this on you guys because yeah. you already know. To literally mid, I would. Literally mid. I think fire. I think I like Stone Ocean more than the average person. Okay. Okay. I think I really like Stone Ocean. So would you I think say fire my, or literally mid? I would say fire. I think okay. a big issue I have with the part that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about is something I just noticed is the lack of chemistry between the cast. Yeah. I think a lot of because people talk about, oh, I don't like the side characters in part six. I don't think they're necessarily bad characters or uninteresting characters. I just think they lack the cohesion that a lot of the other cast had. Like yes. the part five crew felt like a found family. Same with the part three. But the part six guys, they all just feel thrown together. They don't gel yes. with each other very well. Yeah, I 100% agree. And I feel like in terms of writing, when we're like let into certain backstories, for ARMY's uh, example, Yeah. Uh, for example, um, her backstory was just kind of like thrust upon us in this like moment where I don't know, it, it felt like if I would have it felt like very convenient for the battle that was unfolding at the time. Like if it would have been something that was hinted at more or I don't know, like we had known or felt like she had something she was hiding. It, I don't know. I just I just feel like a lot of the backstories like were thrown in that didn't allow me to connect with them. Um, and I feel like Jolene carried all of them, all of them. Yeah, Jolene carried throughout Stone Ocean. Yeah. 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 Um. So that I mean, that's I mean, why for me? I mean, I would. Don't please don't. I mean, I feel like people are gonna hate <laughs> my guts, dude. But I, I, I would say would read again on two times speed. That's for me. what I'm putting. Okay, at least right. it's not mid. At least it's not mid, bro. I was about to be like, nah. I was that's close crazy. To putting it mid. I would say that too. I mean. Maybe it was just the hype that I felt from part five going into part six. Again, when I first started reading it and watching it, I was like, this is so peak. Like, this is going to be my favorite part. And then as time went on, it just kind of felt like, oh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. And I do like the Joe Bros in it. And I wish that I just had more time with them. And I know there's a lot of things going on, but I wish they just had more time together. So I cared about them more as a unit. Um, but yeah, I would say I would read again. I would, I would definitely read again so I could like pick up on, cause I feel like we're just lost. Like people are like, it's so good. And we're like, what are we just not seeing that everyone loves so and much? And don't get me started on Emporio, dude. Don't get me started. <laughs> the started ghost room boy. On the ghost room boy. <laughs> Although Who, I, Florida just sucks as a state. True. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like white I don't snake. I would read it again. Damn. Whoa. I don't. Although the Emporio memes like make him make me love him so much more. Like there's the memes of like like really congested traffic and and there's like one arrow pointing to a car. It's I've like seen em that one. Emporio <laughs> in the car, dude. I mean, him being able to drive anything and every like piloting planes and so helicopters. Yeah, I mean, it's so, funny. it's so crazy, but it's so mm. crazy that it's kind of funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, similar to like I guess like part two a little bit where it's just like it's got a lot of that same humor. Um, but yeah. What about um X Force? What about you? There's like very few elements in Stone Ocean that I think are fire encroaching on peak fiction. But as a whole, I would I'd be okay with Wood Reader again two times speed or literally mid, because like the way I sort of like think about JoJo parts is that some greatly appreciate over time and some depreciate some say the same and with stone ocean having read it like uh, probably like four or five years ago now i'd say even after the anime it has depreciated over time when mm. certain things like steel ball run and part five have greatly appreciated the more i revisit them could just be a disconnect between me and stone ocean and either the characters the themes or whatever but I'm, even when I was rewatching the anime, it's like I'm not enjoying this any more than when I first read it. If anything, I'm, you know, dragging through it a little bit. So mm. uh, overall, Stone Ocean, uh, Crucify Me, I would say is literally mid to below mid. I mean, I yeah, please, I'm being crucified. Here. I, I, put, I put literally <laughs> mid. I, like for me, in my list, my fire is only two and they're not on the list yet. And Stone Ocean and Part Five were both in literally mid, so I'm gonna I'm gonna still place it in literally mid. All right, I'm okay so, with that. All I'm right, okay with that. I want to be harsh. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I want to be mean. 
No, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's mean. a great point. You know mean. what? Like, <laughs> I don't care where I want to put we it. I want to be mean. We were, yeah, we were just talking about how people go too soft on tears. Yeah, no, never mind. That's never mind. I take soft. it back. I take Please, it back. This is my thought. Watching it on two times speed. How about instead of on two times speed, the category is would not enjoy reading again because oh, I feel like that's where I, that, I feel like that's where I fail on like Stone Ocean. Like I, if I was to be like, all right, today I'm reading Stone Ocean, I wouldn't look forward to it. <laughs> I guess you guys. Yeah. I, it feels like a slog, dude. I, I'm yeah. just so happy. I, we feel we we felt <laughs> we have literally felt so gaslit into liking <laughs> yeah. part six so much that we're like, what are we missing? That's What's right. happening yeah. here? No. And now you guys are just wow. Thank you. Yeah, I we feel, feel a we feel don't seen. lose your way. I yeah. I definitely feel like like a lot of the opinions coming out from Stone Ocean. Obviously, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but there is like undoubtedly recent by recent be, recently yeah. uh, a bias like associated right. with it right now to where like dude like. When Josh was talking about part five, I feel like he had to go on and justify his opinion when th like three, four years ago, like it was unanimous that part five is peak. Like it was like the best part. And now that it's been a few years since people have watched it, people are like, yeah, part five ain't that good. And now that Stone Ocean is the most recent part, I feel like people are really like hyping it up when I don't know. It does have the worst fight. Well, actually, no, the worst arc in my opinion, is Yo-Yo Ma. In the entire franchise, I absolutely Ooh. hate Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo Ma, Yo -Yo Ma is literally the meme of the JoJo character beating the enemy by putting a frog up their ass. Like, <laughs> literally, that's like a meme, but that actually happens. I mean, it doesn't actually happen, but close enough. I wish it happened. <laughs> I would have liked like, it I'm going to attach the frog to your brain, so you act like a frog now. It's like, dude, like, what, what, like, what am I reading? Yeah. <laughs> put, put a little sap on your face and they won't see you. So are we act, are we all pretty much in agreement outside of Kev that it would go? Hey, would, should we put it in fire? I changed my uh, mind. I want to be mean. Me. I changed yeah. my mind. I have to be mean. So we're here. We're we're, we're here. We're get on two times like, speed. I feel like I want to decide one part that we would delete. Oh, that's no. what I said. No. Delete. I, would, I wouldn't delete any part. Oh, because you no, can't. I would. I would. Like I would delete. Part. Let's be for real. It's part one, right? It let's go. Be that. It has to I be love that. part one. Part, part one is awesome. Part, part one is so good. <laughs> I mean, Phantom Blood is so sick. No, Phantom Blood is sick, the bro. Dio. Is, the most. <sighs> I would. I. Oh, that's the best fuck. part for Dio. Really, the only thing I like about part one. He's so evil. Part one is beautiful, Kev. Come on. I'm yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting. Someone I'm called the police. Someone called the police. Call the police. Great, but not. I, I love part one because you can think back to where we are in the JoJo lands and Jojolian and think that this all started in like Victorian era London with these yeah. gothic vampire and zombie themes. I think that just perfectly encapsulates the range of JoJo and that like mm -hmm. Araki's philosophy has over always been to like never erase the past, always embrace where the series came from. So like. You know, that's why he reset. gotta love Phantom Blood. Yeah, that's why he reset. He <laughs> <laughs> said it with the like, uh, with the appreciation of Phantom Blood. You know, of course, because Steel Ball Run is just like a love letter to the first three. Yeah, yeah, that's such a funny way to say it. Yeah, he loved it so much he reset the whole universe. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. He loved it. <laughs> you want to do it again? Uh, okay, we can only put one thing in peak fiction, and we said that it can't be Steel Ball Run because that would be. Pretty... I mean, it, it can be. I, I just, I it just can. feel like that would have been a little predictable. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's where we'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll do it on a vote. So by that, I mean I'm cool with fire. I mean for every reason that everybody, I mean everybody knows. I think why Steel Ball Run is so good. I mean it's a culmination of everything that came before it. It's resetting the universe. It's getting back to basics. I mean, Johnny and Gyro are oh. like the dynamic duo. Intr the introduction of like flow and the art, like feeling like it leveled up too. I mean, D4C, the concepts that are at play. I mean, everything, the Western settings. Best fits, best yeah. fits in the series, I would say. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, five. The goggle glasses that Gyro wears. Come I wish on. he wore more. He only wears them in like even, one even, panel. Even the execution of it went And he's, he got him on that, um, the one cover. You know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, Why don't we talk about what we hate about Steel Ball Run? <laughs> okay. Okay. I like this. Like you got Portrayal of there. Lucy Steele. Yeah. <laughs> um. Lucy Steele, like, she was, like, I mean, I did not expect her to be as big uh, a, a part of the story as much as she was. Um, I was, like, disappointed. Like, damn, she's just going through it with all these fucking creepazoids. Um, you didn't like... Um, 
um, what was, well, I always forget his name. The the ropes with the, with the Oh ropes. my God! What's Mountain his Tim? Tim. <laughs> Mountain Tim. Tim. Bro, bro, forgot yeah. Mountain. Dude, Tim. I love Mountain Tim. Bro, yeah. <laughs> when I was reading, I was like, no fucking way did he like agree to help with her and then ask her like, hey baby, like let you want to come with me and like you know be with but me? Bro, and she was like, no. Yeah, and he was I like, fuck you then, bye. I was like, <laughs> but I I will say like that like her relationship with uh with uh Mr. Steele was like kind of sweet, dude. Yeah, it started off sinister, but it wasn't. It was a little wholesome. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it felt like a Rocky was gonna take it a completely different direction. And then when he brought it back to wholesome, I was like, I love this. I love this. Um, but I think Mr. President should have stayed uh, pudgy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know where he just like got chiseled from, but uh, I think you know. I mean, I don't, actually, I don't know either. I was gonna say, was it the part? One, one theory is that so Fat Valentine in the beginning and then fit valentine at the end is that throughout steel ball run what we didn't see off screen valentine may have gotten a situation or the valentine that we see by the end was not the same as the beginning oh. because he's constantly replacing himself during the arc that so makes sense during the i mean it could just come down to a rocky changes designs he does that all the time but like an in canon explanation is that a little foreshadowing for d4c he looks a little bit different each time we see him that's I what I hope that. the anime doubles down with uh, Sandman and Soundman. I really yep. hope yep. the anime because uh, it's such a thing that they could fix. I don't like how Sandman just completely changes. But if they make it canon that he is a com just a different universe version of Sandman, I think it would fix like all the problems I have with that arc. Yeah, and they could keep it a little confusing too to not fully spoil. <laughs> Well, he says, like, you guys have all been calling me Sandman this whole time, but in my native oh, tongue, my name oh, is Soundman. Oh, yeah. Says that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I control the sound. <laughs> there's not a lot. I mean, there's not a lot of cons. I mean, there are maybe are a few um, nitpicks, but... Boom with the boom. What, okay, one con that I have is that um, Steel Ball Run, in the beginning, it sort of had this almost, like, sports manga element to it of when we're having these stages of these races of being like, oh, I'm going to use my steel ball to create a distraction here so I can get past Diego, and then I'm going to use my steel balls in my jacket to create a uh, a tailwind so I can move faster. And in the early stages, you had these, like, entire chapters dedicated to the race itself. Yeah. But then once we get around, like, Kansas City, it, it's not a race anymore. We're just trotting mm -hmm. along at our own pace, going from stand user to stand user. So I wish they kept that. It picks up a little bit in Manhattan Rhapsody, but like I wish there was that urgency of the race and competition throughout the yeah, whole part. Yeah, because I do feel like Johnny and Gyro, I mean, there's no way they should have been <laughs> as close in the race at some points as they were. I mean, yeah. there's no way. With everything they were dealing with, dude, and then they're like, all right, now let's get back to the race. I'm we're in there. second place. I was like, how? <laughs> how? Yeah, <exactly. laughs> Uh, that that I seemed like a little crazy. Moments of it though, I feel like a lot of a lot of Johnny and Gyro's relationships like really built upon those slower moments. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, oh, the definitely. slower moments could just come down to they have to sleep at some time. So you have those like uh, campfire interactions almost mm. where they're just like having gay sex together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it was I kind of. In one I would say um, Araki <laughs> introducing his like fetish to everyone was interesting mm, to me yeah, yeah um sure. the mosquito bite thing i was like whoa that came, that out, of, that came out of nowhere <laughs> what the fuck are we doing that's like just okay so shoehorned in so... he just had to get it off his chest <laughs> he was like and then and then just made a, he just didn't talk about feet the entire time he made movies and then he just made one movie about feet. <laughs> and it was called feet yeah yeah <laughs> i mean he had he, he does have that one i forget what movie it is I think Megan, you it's were literally talking about this. Yes, yeah, literally, you were talking about this. I like, cannot I think, like, a few days ago. I cannot believe they let that slide. Like <laughs> everyone on set, everyone involved was like, "What? What are we doing?" He, like you wrote Quentin. this, you directed when this. He's, he's drinking off the toes. Is that yeah. what you're referring and to? Li yeah. And licking yeah. them and like, oh my that shit, god, that shit was wild. It'd be it'd be different if he was like cast as that role, but he's like, no, I wrote this for myself. Um, yeah. I'm gonna act it myself, and I'm directing. It's it. like rent a girlfriend. Like he's just we're like gonna take, we're gonna do thirteen. Takes. I don't think they're the first ones we're getting. Yeah. Self insert completely, but like literally, we're gonna need life. to do some reshoots of uh, <laughs> yeah. that. He, call, he calls her back like a year later. Yeah, it's not coming together in edit. In the edit, it's not. A year later. Yeah, Salma, come back. You know, we yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Um, but yeah, I I will say I will say fire. Uh, I gotta go fire. I you, like I mean, too. it's yeah. not mid. There's no well, way. 
it's indisputable it's just, fire. I don't it could see be see how fire. anybody could see a tier list like this and then see Steel Ball Run just not in peak fiction. I, exactly. I, I mean, it is it is peak fiction, but we're trying not to be basic. Right? Okay, so are you guys trying to make it so only one, one. part can be? Yes. Okay, if that if that is the case, I put Steel Ball Run at the top of fire. Oh, that's I'm my vote. That. I'm that's very fine with that. So in peak then. In peak, okay. <laughs> or, yeah. or, or, we can take a vote. Or we like can take this. a vote. We'll see where it comes. Yeah, so, we can we can decide the peak uh, at the end. That could be that could be. A that's what I'm thinking. Of lead section. I think why don't we put steel ball run at the end and then we come back to it. Okay. Okay. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, and then actually, yeah, let's do that, and then we'll decide at the very end what's what's peak. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Jojolion peak. Fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Jojo jo 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 Leon uh, is, I just is pretend peak like I know fiction. Yeah, yeah. Peak fiction. Yeah. It really yeah, is. Just, like a buy. just go along with like it. It's like a buy yeah. it, 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 It's just, you can't, you can't, I mean, it is it is just so peak. It is peak. Come it on. It is the first fight. The first fight in Jojolian is my favorite fight in the entire franchise. And that wow. is like a way, that's such a good way to set up a part. For success, I, I saw the way you looked at the camera, Julian. Don't think I didn't see that. <laughs> that are, you referring, are, you, are you referring to fun, fun, fun? Yeah, I am referring to fun, fun, fun. I love that fight so much. So okay. it's so yeah. fun. The whole thing about that fun, fun, fun. <laughs> yeah, just in the apartment, the the peas in the cupboard and everything, and then the woman, the snitching on him to the guy upstairs, yeah. the snakes. He was dangling snakes off the balcony. The uh, everything about that fight is so it. good. Yeah. It's very chaotic. Uh, are we coming me, to a unanimous decision that you're no, doing no, this peak fiction me, right now? I'm not. I mean, it is. It I was is not peak. expecting. I don't know if I'd go there. Peak. We could only have one peak. Like for me, I think Jolian first half peak. Mm -hmm. Peak. The like, second I was half. So invested. Second half. Let's be for real. Ugh, I'm not a huge fan. Well, of second half. You know well, where? I mean? Where? Where level. exactly? Like what event? In Blue, Blue Hawaii. Blue, Blue yeah, Hawaii. Um, for me, it's Urban Gorilla and Brainstorm. That oh my god! Like, That's so my least favorite fight invested. in Jolian. With the cubes and stuff, I was like, yeah. yeah, it was just hard to read at some panels. Yeah, that's fair. But I, I did do... like um, Josuke and Yasuo on the ski lift, you know, having the parfait though. That was fun. But then it got to like, um, and then Toru showed up. Then uh, <laughs> Do Re Mi Fasolati. Do then the groomer. Then the groomer showed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Toru. <laughs> yeah, Toru is. Uh, I I like Wonder of You. Yeah. Um. But... I mean, how can you not? Yeah, but I, I like Dopio. Dopio. Okay. See what I mean? It's the, it's the exact same appearance thing. In I like Dopio. I don't like Diablo. I like Wonder View. I don't like. Diablo. Actually, I kind of don't really like Wonder View that much because sometimes it feels like too like. I don't know how to describe this, but I heard a great analogy. It's like when you play on the playground, and it's like, oh well, you see, my ability can do this now, so you can't mm. do anything with your ability. And of course, uh, Wonder View has a point. You know what I mean with the. Oh, uh, Willie, Willie dipped again, man. He can't handle it. <laughs> uh, it's every time you're in the middle of a take, dude. He... Yeah, it's just like, uh, <laughs> the cat. The cat's up to something. The cat. Oh, even X <laughs> that, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll be back. Dude. <laughs> okay, we all like, dip. I, th I think I think Wonder View is cool. The concept is obviously interesting, but sometimes it feels a bit too like okay, but it, it feels like kind of random mm -hmm. uh, in a way. Oh, but um, oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> But overall, like I definitely say, the part is is fire for sure. Okay, okay. I, I think mean... Josuke. Oh, oh yeah, go oh, ahead, Josuke go ahead. Great. Okay, Josuke's uh, great. I really love the return of silly JoJo protagonist. He reminded me a lot of Joseph in the early parts, yeah. but I don't like that he kind of just becomes a bit too serious. Like in the second half, again, the second half, he just kind of stops being goofy, at least compared to the first half yeah i would say because they gave him a lot more moments in the beginning to, to to do that i mean it is funny to see someone kind of come to and be like who am i what am i doing what's the deal him sleeping on our mattresses like so funny um and then like i guess like his real life hit <laughs> he was like oh i have to be yeah. i have to he, be a big boy that, now <laughs> he has that like fish out of water element where he doesn't know how to shave or how to eat stuff and you have all those goofy moments of that i like the mattress thing you mentioned megan because that's actually like an interesting like uh symbolism thing so it's like why is he sleeping under the mattress well because like before he was born he was buried underground exactly so he's used, he's used to the pressure it's, like it's so reference. cute I was and like, I, oh, I, I like that. I think like all of the, you know, it, you say it slows down and, and the second half, it kind of loses you. But I think that it all kind of comes back around. For me, it, it came back around at the end. Like all the themes mm -hmm. were so like, they were wrapped up so well. 
And I, I, I don't know. I really do feel like even in terms of like the reveals of these mysteries, like amnesia, this is some of the best written amnesia in, in a story I feel like ever just because of like how it ended up being revealed that that it was like these combinations of two people and he's this new person. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean about like identity and self and like all of these all, all, the people he's connected to already, but doesn't really have any like memories or like connection with them just feels a sense of like, I need to help these people in my I, life. I, yeah. I struggled a bit too with like the whole Holly situation. I was like, man, they really just kind of like didn't do anything with that. Um, and it wasn't until like I sat with it a little bit longer and, you know, you go back and you read the beginning. It's, it's about a story about breaking a curse. And it kind of like reminds you, oh, I guess I kind of got lost along the way in yeah. like what the story was really about. And it, it kind of like refocused me and made me appreciate it. And, and yeah. like, you know, everything with Job and, and and just the motherly connection that so many of these characters had throughout. Yeah, mommy issues was a big <laughs> theme. And <in> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how you mentioned that, Josh, how in the beginning, it's this like tightly woven narrative that leads into Josuke's emergence and the discovery of his self. And like genuinely, I think Jojolin up to vitamin C is the greatest Jojo has ever been in terms of writing, art, stands, integrations, like everything is just like taken to the next level because like the way that stands have always been is that in the early stages, Araki was just having creativity with them and they were just sort of these fun ideas. And in part three, you could see them as sort of like roadblocks where they're stopping us from getting to where we need to go. And then in Steel Ball Run, that concept is a little bit evolved where you have the corpse. So each stand fight might have a serious repercussion of the corpse passing it. So stand fights have a little bit more meaning. But then once you get to Jojolian, every single character interaction stand fight in that first half is all purposeful and relates back to Josuke's identity in some way because he's fighting these enemies from the past who are trying to come and rectify their mistake of letting Kira survive. They don't really know this yet. And then it all like comes full circle with Damo and it's like, here's who all these people were. Here's Yotsugu. Here's the twins. Here's Aisho. And then even some of the early stuff with uh, Daya is really important later on when we get into the whole like uh, value of memories. So like mm. just every single thing in Jojolian. I like to think of it that the every fight in early Jojolian is a puzzle piece and it's filling in the blots. And then once you get to vitamin C, the pictures revealed itself. Mm -hmm. And, and being then, to, yeah, a the second half yeah, kind ahead, of falls sorry. apart because like, it feels like the story Araki wanted to tell with Jojolian, literally the name is focused around Josuke, was that mystery of the identity, how this man emerged from the earth and the mystery surrounding him. And then when you get to the second half, it's like, okay, we need to round this off. We need to have the themes connect to the beginning and just get an enemy for the uh, protagonist to fight. So then you have sort of this research team who very much feels disconnected from Dalmo's group and aren't really as fleshed out as before. So um, I will give you guys that, that the research team falls flat a lot of the times, like Urban Gorilla and poor Tom are just kind of like, what the hell? Um, yeah, and Toru Tom. has his own issues and everything. But poor Tom is um, fuck, though. I think the first half more than makes up for that lull around like... Uh, the research team and then just goes like up to 11 when you get to Toru and everything starts snowballing in this like beautiful way where it brings everything full circle. It's just yeah, I'm nothing less than peak fiction. Peak fiction for poor Tom alone, honestly. And oh, and, oh uh, and, and Joshu, honestly. Stop. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> I've become kind of like I, it, I didn't even do it to my. I, I guess I did it to myself, but I've kind of become like the Joshua ambassador for the entire <laughs> JoJo community. Please don't say that. Please don't say that. It's Please kind of just happened to that. me. <laughs> it's kind of no, but it's true. It's whenever I see it all the time, people talk about Joshu, My name comes up. Oh no, that's not who someone you want to be associated with. <laughs> it's I don't. It's it is what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Or do you present the argument where it's like Joshu's wonderful because he's written as a character you hate and everyone hates him, therefore he's good. Yeah. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever actually commented like, on oh, my I opinion of him. Joshu. <laughs> but people just Wait, put so that people on just you? associate you with Joshu because my community. It, it became a. Joshu. It became a. It became a joke within the community, and that kind of snowballed, and then it kind of became like outside of just my community <laughs> to the greater JoJo community that I am like associated with Joshu. I have never even commented on the guy. I've made jokes about him, but I've never said that I either like or dislike him or anything else like that. I've just made jokes. Are you going to clear the air? No, I, I'm not going to. What are your thoughts on Joshu? I've decided that at this point, I'm just not going to. I'm going to keep making jokes, but I'm never going to say if I like or dislike him. All right. Fair. You heard Serious. it here first, dude. Chewie uh, supports 
Joe wholeheartedly. <laughs> Joe uh, especially maybe that maybe part at that. the end with his arms. Oh yeah, that. that's the that best part. part. Yeah. All that right. So we're we putting it. We're we putting it. Fire. We can only put one peak fiction. So are we? Are we in agreement that? Fire? I'll say fire. How does everybody I'll else say, feel? I'll say peak. My opinion is that it is peak. That's my vote. I would say fire. Fire. It's probably my I second fire. favorite part. Okay. Just because I agree with what Julian said, uh, the first half of Jojolian is, in my opinion, the greatest section of JoJo's. It's just I am not a huge fan of the second half. So Chewie's fire. I uh, mean, I, I would peak. put peak too. Okay, that's two peak. I would put oh, oh shit. If it's going fire though, it has to be above par five. Oh, it definitely is above par five. Yeah. That's all I'm okay, what do we put at peak yeah. for now? <laughs> peak for now. Peak for oh, now. Yo. Peak for now. Well, we then we got to put Steel Ball Run back on the list. We 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 tell <laughs> Steel Ball Run away. If like, we don't put it in peak now, we have to put Steel Ball Run in peak. Yeah, it's, it's one of the like, two. What do you mean by that? I know it's it's got to be one of the two. All right, so you're I mean, saying I don't know. We haven't gotten to to any Diamonds Unbreakable yet. That's true. Oh. That's peak. <laughs> I don't know. That's peak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm we'll also consider that Jojolian is almost like a sequel to Steel Ball Run in the way that yes. incorporates the yeah. themes. It's almost like a duology oh, between I love like that. the positive and negative. Ooh. 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 All right. So peak for now, and then we'll revisit it when we reinsert Steel Ball Run. How about that? Sure. Okay. Yep. Sure. It's <sighs> a lot of pressure, dude. <laughs> um, all right. This is Stardust Crusaders, part three. <gasps> Literally mid. Oh, Damn. Fuck. It's um, not even slander. I hate that. No, it's just mid. literally <laughs> mid. You gotta it's, change the it's name. It's not even slander. Tier, oh, you know it's what? I thought it was slander. mid. I thought you said mid. Not literally. No, 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 no. no okay, literally, okay, literally okay, mid. Okay, it's okay, literally okay, mid. Okay, okay. We okay. gotta change that name. Man. That's, that's <laughs> gonna be so toxic. <laughs> I know people are gonna screenshot this, dude. Um. Okay. I, I. I. will say that I have a special place in my heart for Stardust Crusaders. I feel like a lot of people share this uh, opinion, but it's where I really f fell in love with JoJo. Yeah. Feel like I really was fully in and hooked was part three. Mm -hmm. So that's like my, that's like my Genesis, the beginning for me. That's where it all started. Um, even though like Phantom Blood and like I said, I, I have my own feelings towards like Battle Tendency, but Stardust for me was where it, where it all began. So I, I, I'm inclined to But you to put, put it on little, the same level as... But I, no, but I, 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 even that being said, like I'm okay with literally, literally mid. I'm, I'm also okay with that as well. I love it, but I can see the flaws for sure. Yeah. It, it's depreciated in value for me. Mm. I think when I first, uh, I first watched it, and when I did, I loved it so much more than part one and two. Yeah. And just over time, like going back and like either rereading it or rewatching it, I kind of just like it less and less because I feel like a lot of what it does, other parts past it just do that better. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the stand encounters, I think other parts past it just do better. Yeah, it was the pacing for sure. It was the, re the repetitive nature of. You know these stand battles after stand battle after stand battle, which a lot of them were interesting. Towards and it was the, the first end. time we were seeing them. But then, you know, my biggest pet peeve was that we had this amount of stands that we were supposedly going to be getting through, and then by the time that which was the the tarot cards, and then once we get through them, there's more. And it was like, oh damn, okay, <laughs> well, because, oh, shit, oh, we're out of cards. <laughs> so I gotta one. think of something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that threw me for a loop because I was almost like anticipating, oh man, where's it gonna go after this? Yeah, that was the last one. And it's like, no, there's fucking ten more. I don't even know how many. Dude, with Stardust Crusaders, my friend, when he was watching it for the first time, he had the analogy where it's like it was like a Square Enix bot like video game where you get to the end, it's like, dude, now we gotta fight the butlers of like the mansion. It's like this never ends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, it, it's looking like, I mean, we're all recognizing it, it, you know, that it didn't really age as well compared to, I guess, yeah. like all the parts that came that after it. That's the best it. final fight in the entire series, though. Facts. All I would disagree. Oh. Willie, oh. Willie, you cooked. You just cooked. <laughs> Willie, <laughs> tell me, what, what's your A5 favorite? A5 Wagyu, bro. What's my favorite? Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I guess I have to differentiate arc and fight because they're two different. Just fight. Yeah. Okay, just the fight, uh, Johnny versus Valentine. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. That's a close second. Fuck yeah. I just, I, I, maybe when it's animated, I'll be like, oh shit, I was definitely wrong. But I don't know, dude. Dio versus Jotaro is just so iconic. Every, exactly. I, I remember every single beat of that fight. And I don't think I could tell you every single beat of Johnny versus Valentine. Fair enough. I can tell you a lot of them. I can tell you pretty much like 90% of them, but I don't know. I, 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 okay. So this might sound crazy because I love, 
So for me, I'm kind of the opposite of what Chewie said. This part has appreciated in my mind the more oh. I've, I've gotten into it. Because I was a huge part two fan, and I Watch feel like part three point wasn't five that speed. Point, that's what we got, need to add a new no, I can't do that. I can't do point five. <laughs> um that bro but, smoking get clean. <laughs> it's like a lot of the um what's it called the moments in the part especially early on i do feel are kind of bleh you know like who's really going to be like yo dark moon was peak like that's impossible you know what i mean <laughs> bro it was i stand user with the finger on the on the nose though <laughs> oh my god you said <laughs> 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 you remember that, Kevin? Yeah. It's just like, oh, that shit no. was fired. <laughs> I feel like as I've gotten more, like, not invested, but, like, I guess nostalgic. Mm, it's just, like, yeah. I feel like this part is so great because of, like, the iconic moments. Like, Dio versus Jodoro, I, I will say that fight is, like, effortlessly iconic. It's just a way where it's, like, True. there's so many things in it, and it just it fully encapsulated the series up to that point with the Jonathan, Joseph, and Jodor like generational struggle versus Dio. I felt like that was so amazing how they were able to capture all that. I agree. That was like the, the end of that trilogy. And then the next one was the stand arrows mm. with um, you know, Josuke, uh, Jorno and Jolene. So I thought that was really cool. I do think a lot of the emotional beats when they're a real emotional beat and not like Avdol fake dying, do yeah. hit a lot. Iggy. Like uh, yeah, Iggy. Like oh, that was crazy. Oh my god. Like Kakyoween <laughs> with the I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I'd put like him in this, that in the same tier, Ziggy. Oh, it's not. But I'm just saying, like the emotional moments where it's like, holy shit, things no, happen. Bro, you had a until he died, and then I was like, oh. Yeah. And he was cool. <laughs> um, and you I, had a, I would, um... a, a dog fighting a, a bird. Like, let's awesome. come on. That he shit. That was the one of the best. Off of the bird. That was one of the <laughs> best fights. Like, I I was obsessed. I was obsessed. I'm yeah. like, we're doing this right now. Okay, sick. Love this. <laughs> Not just a bird, an iceberg. Yeah. A sand dog and an iceberg. Come on. Um, but yeah, I just really liked a lot of the cons. And some of them, uh, albeit, were, you know, part, part of the time, you know? It's just like those fights are kind of repetitive, so you have to get into that structure. But when they when they pop off, like, I am I don't know if this is like a super you know, general opinion, but like Darby the Gambler, that fight yeah. was oh. amazing. One of my, one of my favorites. Like, it's like Death exactly. 13 and Darby the Gambler. Like those it's are... so early in the series, but it's so like, so like top quality that like i could say that's one of my favorite fights in the whole series like uh like you said josh but like without you know re-experiencing or whatever i'm just like oh yeah the memories i have just the creativity of that fight it just yeah. feels so unique and there's no other fight like it and i think that's like i'm not gonna say you know stars crusaders is my favorite by any means because it's not but i feel like there are definitely moments in it that people sort of undervalue because mm -hmm. of how popular it is you know mm -hmm. what i mean like it was the jojo part it's like a recency bias kind of thing in my opinion but because it was like the thing for such a long time it's like it's like mario do you like mario uh, <laughs> yes well, mario you know yes. what i mean like you might not like him but he's mario like i don't know how else to even describe it so yeah i would put it in literally mid or fire for me i will say i will say mm, i mean I, let's all vote. I I would say oh. literally mid for me. Okay, for I would me. say literally mid. Yeah, same. Then so, I would put it fire. I I love it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I, I like it too. I I really I really think Kev was going off there with yeah. sort of like uh, the it's, it iconicness like, of it. And, yeah. But like, I just I think of it. That's who I. It's think It's Jojo. Of. It's yeah. jo exactly. It can't be. It can't be fire though. And I, 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 I agree. I'm fine with, I'm fine with mid. I, 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 and I'm going to be honest. I feel like the journey aspect of part three is way more immediately investing than part five's journey aspect. Like, I am going to save my mom is way more compelling to me than I'm going to lead a gang. You know what I mean? You have that well, familial you have to connection. Think about why he wants to lead the exactly. Game, yeah. right? Well, I know why he wants to lead the gang, but you get what I mean. Like the emotional investment. Like, oh, if I don't do this, someone will die stuff like that or like also mm. dio is back and i loved dio dio was awesome and i know uh megan you said part one dio was your favorite but i don't know part three dio is just so awesome like yeah. he's such an asshole and i love him like he's so evil and i know people think that's kind of bland but it's just like man he's so he's so gone you know yeah I mean? yeah 
I, I do like Shadow Deal a lot, but like once he drains Joseph's blood and gets like so confident and cockety, I'm just like, I hate this guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. I don't like, yeah. like that deal. <laughs> I mean, it's iconic. It's nostalgic, but I mean, literally mid, I think. <laughs> I don't. I, I. 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 I'm the one that has to drag it into that tier, so I feel extra bad about it. You know. The weight is on your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it it is tough though, because because I. I think I think Stone Ocean is better than Star Wars Crusaders, but like for some reason mm. I do want to put it in literally mid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, that brings us to Diamond is Unbreakable. Fire part four. Fire. 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 Has Fire. to be. Has to be. Bro, Fire. everyone is Diamond like is Unbreakable. Mm -hmm. Peak fiction. Not Ooh, fire them. Is, well, is I would fire go, yeah. I would go there. I would say the bites the dust arc on its own is peak that's fiction. Peak fiction. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my favorite arc in the whole series. Probably one of my favorite arcs just in manga in general. Wow. I love that arc so much. I love Yoshikage Kira so much. Yes. Yes. I've talked about it all the time on my channel. I I love that arc so much. Mm -hmm. for, I mean, for me, best best hero villain dynamic bar none. I think it is like just there's so many levels to it too, yes. like the societal and the generational and the powers directly opposing one another, like all that stuff. I just I just eat that up. It's like it's like Tonio gave me the meal and it was his own part. <laughs> it was just like the masterclass food was his own storyline. I mean, it really has everything, dude. It really has it all. It's everything in a part. It's got cool battles. It's mm -hmm. got slice of life stuff. It, it's it, I mean, and it made it has me Rohan. It has yeah. Rohan okay. yeah. I might have to I might have to bring it down a bit for that. Oh no, what do you mean? Bro. Yeah, okay, jo right Jojo Jojo Land's oh, kinda shit. Yeah, we'll get into that later. We'll get into that Let's later. Let's go. Yeah, he's right here, man. Bro, you, you can't just deny the the goat. I saw I don't know, I saw X Force talking about um Rohan recently in one of his chapter reviews. And, and I, I I correct me if I'm wrong, but you were saying that you weren't either expecting this character to be where he was or excited. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. You yeah. made yeah. it sound like you weren't really excited about seeing this particular character again. In the JoJo Lands? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was just such an oddball move. It's it's something I didn't think was possible to be like, this is the alternate universe. You know, who is it going to be? Is it going to be someone from JoJo Land? The Joshu Lands. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's Rohan. It's like, yeah. uh, oh my God, man. Like Rohan, I like Rohan and he does seem like he's fulfilling a little bit of a different role in part nine, but just the, like, it felt like Araki intentionally being like, fuck you guys. Look at Rohan and like. No, I thought that was the best. That's like, so yeah. funny. It's so like, JoJo. It's just like, yeah. Look at me. Right. No, like, oh, like Rocky her. knew it was the most unexpected thing to do to be like. Yeah. Here's like we just got out of Morio. We were in Morio for ten <laughs> years and we didn't see Rohan, and now we're in Hawaii and we get Rohan. It's like. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's funny. That was it. Was so fun. Like yeah. I, mean, I don't know if you guys felt it when you read the chapter when it came out but like holy shit yeah, yeah. Dude. it was like the the cope the cope for no no offense sexuals but like the cope for like the julia fans like i was like oh yo it's gonna be like yasuo or josuke mm -hmm. like they're gonna be back but like see rohan it was like it almost was way better than I thought it would be because I completely <laughs> didn't think it would happen. Dude, it, it was so, it was right so funny though because it broke like all the rules. It's like since it Steel Ball everyone. Run, since Steel Ball Run, it's like these are all recreations. Then it's like Rohan's in Part Nine. He's a mangaka. He lives in Morio. He looks the same. He's the same character. Is he sexy? Because <laughs> he's perfect. He doesn't need to exactly. change. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I mean, we'll talk about it when we get to but I, yeah, JoJo I Land love Rohan because and, and yeah, Chewie, it, I feel like you're biting your tongue on this though. I feel like you have something to say. Yeah, Chewie, you're, you're kinda, the jo the JoJo <sighs> Lands was right there, and then it just. It just <laughs> uh, I'll get okay. I'll get into more of that when we talk about the JoJo Lands. I have a yeah a history with what's been going on with the Jojo lands at the moment. Oh. But, and because of that, it soured my taste of Rohan just in general, even though I, I, I didn't like Ooh. dislike him in part four, but just because of everything that's happened in part nine, I just have a like distaste now for Rohan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. 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 All right. All right. Well, we have to unpack that when we get there for yeah. sure. But what I mean, did I, I miss? What did I miss? What were they saying? Chewy, uh, I can I can get that though because he's constantly shoved down your face, being like, yes! here's, a, "Here's a spinoff. Here's you know that's him coming that's... back." It's just like, but, but it's like he's a representation of a rocket. You know, he's, he's fine like, as a character. I just feel like it's too much. I don't like he's being forced all all the time. I would like to see a percentage of his appearance in the show 
like versus it everybody. wouldn't be that high why was it, he in stone it, ocean that was awesome <laughs> that was such a funny <laughs> gag out of nowhere it's just like that was oh, cool i'm speeding up who's the one person who can do it yeah <laughs> but it, that was like a little easter egg it's not like it was a whole chapter that he was like at no. the forefront of it was like a panel and yeah, he wasn't even yeah. on the panel it was some yeah. guy complaining about, about it was great bored. like i think that he's just that guy and and the other thing about rohan in part nine it's like and he has heaven's door it's like there's yes. no change it's just like it's it has to be for like comedic effect I, I, yeah, I get that. I get that. But dude, I think it was Thus Spoke Rohan because she made a spinoff that made me like even like fall even more in love with him because going into yeah, part yeah. four, Thus I knew people. Is fire. Yeah, I knew people like were obsessed with Rohan and I watched part four and I liked him. I liked him a lot. But then when I finally read Thus Spoke uh, Rohan Kashiba, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Like Willie said, he is that guy. Like now he's that guy. I, I, I went all in on him after that because of those like like the Tonio story. Like, I don't know. It just feels like very like junji ito twilight zoney like these adventures that exactly, he's going yeah. on it's, like, it's it's all based in like folklore it's not like we're going to fight a stance like we're going to investigate this mystery and learn about like you know and then it gets introduced to some supernatural yes. um idea that's not necessarily a stand like millionaire's village absolute fire the millionaire's village um, is one of my favorites yeah so good so good man i like those Harvest a lot Moon is my favorite What's what's the one where the he goes and it's like the dude with the steel ball run shirt? Oh, you guys I know which remember. one I'm talking about? It was like the second one that got animated. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember that. Shit. I'm trying to think of the plot. It was like the lady oh. like accidentally like murdered her boyfriend, so she like stopped oh, that, like, oh! that, that one. That one was that one was sick. Yeah. yeah, and he wants up bleeding, yes. and she was like trying to hide it. She had to like drink the blood. Like the tension that in that unhinged. episode was was crazy. Yeah. That was a good. My favorite, I mean, my favorite oh, was always the run because I just loved how like insane. Yeah. Oh, dude, the, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the run yeah. was awesome. Yeah, that was. And then, I forget the title of it too, but didn't he? Uh, I think there was a, a note by Iraqi who said that he based the Higashi to family from part eight on the short story where Rohan's telling the story of that family who has that curse the that Harvest uh, Moon one. the Harvest yeah, Moon. Harvest that's Moon. right. That, that's really? right. That's right. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're all bangers, dude. They're all bangers. Bangers. I, I will. I will add one more. You know, Rohan gaslight to the to the to the fire. You know, we need more Rohan love. Um, yeah, for the please. bites to dust arc, him dying. Holy shit! That, that was first? like the craziest weekly anime episode I've ever seen. Yeah. And I was I was shook to my core. I was like, no way. My favorite character dies. <laughs> I, I remember like, when that episode came out, the meme was that they ruined his outfit because in the manga it was like a pure yeah, white they the and they changed it to like you know mud. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so where are we where are we putting it? I mean, it seems like we're fire. all yeah, fire, right? I mean I'm with I, I my personal vote is fire behind part five. I would say fire ahead of part five. Wait, wait, are we on are we talking about part three right now or part four? Part four. Part four. Part, 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 part three okay, is in, part... in literally mid. Oh, it's literally, <laughs> that sounds okay. so crazy. To say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would put it above part five. I would. Because, okay. Again, this is like my favorite experience with JoJo. But that's not moving. I know. I could accept it. Oh, it might be above <laughs> part five though. The, the Kira's just so Kira. Like he's awesome. Yeah. He, he's like the he's like the basis because every anytime anyone discusses any other villain, they're like, "Well, he's good, but he's not Kira." Like that's pretty much what it comes For down real. to. Real. All right, so Chewie, you said in front of or behind part five? In front of part five. Uh, Willie, I like him more than part five. five. Willie, what'd you say? We got to. I think, I think, uh, probably like objectively, it's probably a little better, but I don't know. Something in my gut is just telling me that I like part five a little more. I don't know if it's it's because I have such fond memories of like Mista feeding the bullets little pieces of mm -hmm. mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Part, part five is more like tight and condensed and feels more organized when part four you have these sort of like slice of life but some of it sort of feels like canon filler where it's like well we're doing this we're doing this we're doing this but if you don't like that part. but yeah that's like a love 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 it or hate um, it type thing i don't know i, I think i think it go either way i'm not, I'm not okay gonna, all right down on that. what about exports kev what do you guys think Up i would say I'm fire behind I'm... golden wind but i think i'm outvoted here okay yeah, I'm, a, I'm above part five for sure all right I think it's going like this then, which brings us yep. to the, I mean, this is the two, I think for me, controversial, I guess, because they are how it all begins. Mid. But <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, not even literally, just mid. I don't think yeah. it's controversial. All right, yeah. What, it Frank, apparently is very controversial. I, 
Just compare Willie. it to every Willie, other Willie, Willie. that <laughs> Willie, I saw your comment William. on my, my parts <laughs> ranking video. I know oh, you watched it. Shit. You oh, should have read some of the oh, other comments finally. I got. Probably the nastiest comments I've ever gotten on YouTube are from that video. Whoa. People are upset. Why? Because I, I went pretty to be fair. Part that exists. I went pretty hard on part one. Because I'm not trying what to sugarcoat it. What I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. I, I don't that. like part one. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I never read the part one manga. I've only watched the anime. Yeah. It was yeah. what was it? Eight episodes. Yeah, I, th sure. I think yeah. I liked I the was... first episode where it was like young Jonathan and young Dio. Everything other than that, I just it's not for me. It's I just like really the last not for one. Me. The last episode not really. was pretty awesome. I was trying to get into it, and I I didn't think it was awful, but Park is low key fire. It's just the oh, worst yeah. of, of all. When he gets split in half with the chain, yeah, nothing I, at all. William passes the hormone awesome. into Jonathan's spirit. <laughs> even me who likes that. Uh, Jonathan breaks his shirt off like Kenshiro and it does. Like, I, I wouldn't even have to put Battle Tendency <laughs> above Phantom Blood too. I, I mean, I, I do oh, think absolutely. that. Yeah. Josh spin facts right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna, they, they're, they have to go in the same tier. My opinion, Battle Tendency well, over I, part one. What? No, what? no, no, no. What? <laughs> Team tier, both men. Okay, listen, no, no one here, no one, that? at least I don't think anyone here would argue that they're better than Stone Ocean. At least to me, that's just insanity to part say that they're better than Stone Ocean. Part two is better than Stone Ocean. Yeah, no, yeah, I, 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 nah. Part two is awesome. That's tweaking, that's mm. tweaking. Damn. Part two is awesome. <sighs> what do you mean? Bro, is it better than Made in Heaven and Poochie and Weather? Like, no, Wamu, no. Caesar with the Hamo no, bubble? No, 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 Nothing no, no, no. He's a stick of dynamite, awesome. dog. Like, what else do you want? No. I mean, I... Ah, fuck, dude. This is so hard. I mean, I would literally... Dude, the ending is literally a dude flying a plane into a volcano that erupts and sent the villain into <laughs> outer space. Bro, shit goofy. That's hard. Shit goofy. That's just hard. Elementary school. Playground right in. Mickey Mouse. Goofy? Like, turning he said that's Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Philosophical peak fiction symbolism. <laughs> yeah, this is where it gets hard because it's like I wouldn't put it on the same level as Stone Ocean at all. Yeah. I just wouldn't. I would have to move Stone Ocean up, but then I'd have to move uh, part three up mm. into Dude, fire. They don't. They they are the blueprint, man. They're built like everything is supposed to be better than these two. You know, they were the foundation. Exactly. So just because they're in men doesn't mean they're bad or need to be erased or even unenjoyable. They just simply don't do as much as what's above. I can't put part two on the same tier as part one, though. That's yes, we can. Reason. Absolutely. That's That's the same crazy. season, dude. What the hell? Part one and two, same tier. Absolutely. No same tier. Wow. I, 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 I just have to say I agree with that. Oh. But we can leave it up to a vote. Okay. Because I, I, we're, right, we're saying like mid. It's not literally mid. It's mid. But we're not saying it's like terrible or like it's awful or it's garbage. Dude, you can view part one and two as like one story. They like connect to each other and everything. Same power system, that you know? That is true. That is true. Anime, they're one season. That is true. But it's it's in the name. It's part one and part two. That's like, true. They are different parts. They're different. Like, yeah, for example, yeah, like Stardust that. Crusaders is two seasons. Like, I would say the second season is better than the first one. All right, um, Megan. Megan's reaching out to the chat too so we can get a little extra help, a lifeline. Chat saying to arrest us, bro. Don't <laughs> I, I, I will put part one in mid, in the green mid category, because it's, no. And then I will put part two as a compromise to you people. I'm putting it, I will put it in literally mid. Okay. Chewy, that's the compromise. I, I, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need to hear from Chewy here. I put it in yes. fire or peak fiction. Okay, it's Chewy. Fire. I, it's fire. I understand Whoa. not liking part one in mm -hmm. comparison to every other part, of course. Like, I love part one. I think it's special, but it's always going to be at the bottom of my tier list. Mm -hmm. I want to hear, is there anything that you think is genuinely bad about, not, not like, oh, it's just boring or it's slower. It's, it's like, what is like actually like a hindrance? Objectively bad? Yeah, objectively bad. Uh... Well, I guess everything is subjective, right? I but know, but I just, like, okay, okay. I don't genuine like thoughts. <laughs> genuine thoughts. my genuine thoughts are a lot of the characters are very surface level, and that's just not interesting to me. And I think I think that inherently that is uh, a fault is that it's too cookie cutter. I, I to, think that... to be fair, that's a, that's like an issue that's in a lot of parts, too. And I'm not going to say like after this part, every character is super complex and super in depth. Because I think, I think honestly, a lot of people in the community do like to overanalyze some characters who aren't actually as deep as the Rocky intended them to be. Damn. But I think part one has it the worst. 
does. I think he just goes with it. And he's I he's vibing. Yeah. yeah. He's vibing. <laughs> I just don't like the characters. Jonathan especially. Oh my God. Do I not like the archetype? Some people like that archetype of a character. Some people like the really stalwart, like... Yeah, I mean, I think it. Worked. I don't even know. I don't like it. I, I think, think it, it worked time. for. I think it worked then when Sorry. it was when it was written. It worked. It and worked like then. Going, he's but going I'm a watching it now. Yeah, yeah. Facts. It worked then, but I'm watching it now. <laughs> yeah. When there's competition with lots of other uh, well, properties yeah. that I can be using my time watching, and I just don't like it. Yeah. That's valid. I, I, I mean, it is valid. I, yeah, I, That's why it's so really difficult. Fire? Is that what we're putting? <laughs> okay, so we're yeah, all two is fire. We're sure. all agree, in agreement. Oh Phantom Blood is mid. God. It's got to be right. Yeah, it's, it's mid. mid. So, okay. For example, Joseph Joestar is the complete opposite of Jonathan Joestar. And that's, and that's why, why I, I like Joseph way stuff. more than Jonathan. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that so is expected. Big, the thing with right? the thing with Jonathan <laughs> is that Jonathan is the first JoJo. Therefore, he is the basis of what it means to be a Joestar. And Araki has said that he was able to be more extreme with Joseph when he like literally pulls out a Tommy gun and shoots up like a, a local shop. Yep. But when we see the future JoJo's do evil things, we will always going to know that they're not evil people because they come from Jonathan, who is such a pure and simple character of that like noble uh, gentleman, essentially, mm. but it's like Jonathan was limited in, in, the, in the sense that he couldn't really do anything evil because then we have to question, like, are the Joe Stars good people or all the, are they not? No, they come from Jonathan, who was like literally like a golden boy. Yeah. Sure. Can I um, uh, can yeah. I add something really quickly? I, <laughs> I saw this in the chat, like, and I have to talk about like ASAP. So Nico Marrow in the chat says, Phantom Blood is bootleg Fist of the North Star. Okay, that's a <laughs> slander. That is a fucking slander. I mean, okay, and I like Fist of the North Star, but saying that JoJo is just bootleg is like, that's crazy. Because it's like, it's so different. Like, I don't know. I, I mean, I, we, we read Fist of the North Star, and I do think that it is, it is, it's no secret, right? That it's like heavily modeled after that, yeah. like, that th that dynamic and that time that period too you know? like we talked about with x and, and the North, fist of the north star came out first so i mean mm -hmm. i'm you know i'm just saying i don't know i, I know it's inspired by but like it's not a bootleg no like, yeah that's, that's to say like north any star. any modern like, shonen is derivative of devil man therefore they're bootleg it's just like, a dragon right. it's a genre buff. i mean toriyama clearly sunned all these fools like bro that's not <laughs> how it is yeah, like, <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So part so, two mid, or oh, sorry, part two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, you said it. He said it, not me. Slip, <laughs> okay. Throw, throw Phantom Lord okay. in fire. Yeah, throw it in fire. Honestly. <laughs> hey, fire. I mean, fire and ice was the final arc. So, so you have, have to do it. You literally have to do it. All right, let's 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 take a let's take a vote and see where we land. If we get outvoted, then yeah, sure. But if not, we're gonna have to throw this one in the chat. Maybe I don't know. But Chewy, where would you put? Where would you put Battle Tendency Part Two? Uh, uh, mm, oh, <laughs> Willie, hi there. <laughs> I, uh, I've got personal. all the eyes are on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Willie is like honestly, I'm in your honestly. <laughs> oh my god! I would watch what again on two times speed. Oh, it's better than mid. I would part, watch again on two times. Part speed. Two is a great rewatch. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> <It is. laughs> I would, I would, I would agree, but that may, is it the same level as Stone Ocean? <laughs> yes. It I tell is? You, like, oh. It's a completely different level. It's so, it's, it's better than Stone so Ocean, much. though. Damn. <laughs> All right, Willie, where, so you're, Willie's, you're saying fire. Yeah, it's fire. <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> Bro, stay it's like fire. that for the rest please, of the stream. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. X-Force, where are you putting it? Is this Phantom Blood we're talking about? No, no. This is uh, Battle Tendency. Battle we Tendency. decided Phantom Blood in mid already? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's keep going. Okay. Yeah. Battle, ten yeah. Battle, Battle Tendency. <laughs> wood, wood watching on two times speed below Stone Ocean. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kev. I mean, the fires are going to push it above Stone Ocean. Like, we got two fires on here. We got so. two fires and two times two speeds. Might, might as well put in Peak Fiction, Kevin. <laughs> True. <laughs> I agree. True. I agree. That's a great take. What do we watch? <laughs> Megan, where would you put it? I mean, I, I guess I would have to agree with the part two. Like times two with speed? With the times two speed. And part two. Yeah, times two speed. I, I have to agree with that, too. I'm, I'm sorry. Guys, behind but... behind Stone Ocean. Yeah, I mean, it's just I mean, it's just a vote. It's a democracy. It's a democracy. Hey, but those fires are going to push it up, right? Those two fires are going to push it above Stone Ocean, right? I, I mean that I'll compromise by so. keeping it on this tier, but putting that's it fine. above. That's so, fine. 
Stone. Bro, it just I, I can I am not okay with it going above Stone Ocean. That's just unacceptable. <laughs> no, this is the way. This is oh the way. my god. Thing. Everyone's like crazy. Everyone everyone is you crazy. You voluntarily read this... all of Stone Ocean again before you read part two. When you put it that way. <sighs> <laughs> Dude. No. But <laughs> But made it but made in heaven though. But made in heaven, I though. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best defense. Yo, I don't care. Marilyn Manson. Okay, that, that, that's, that's a hard comparison because one is like 17 volumes. The other is like three. So Plus, like <laughs> one is 17 volumes of sludge, slog, and toxic waste. <laughs> and one is is you're literally swimming in Oreos. Like it's like uh, like a dream state. <laughs> I mean that that's my compromise, dude. If we can keep it on again, read again on times two speed, then I'll put it above Stone Ocean, that's especially fine. after those that's points. Fine. Yeah, I, I I'm happy. I mean now I'll now compromise and put it in peak fiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> after all that, so now we're revisiting Steel Ball Run. Oh we're, god! I mean, are we? Are, is Jojolian getting demoted? Is, is uh, hey, I, I like it more than Jojolian. This Yard this Yard list Yard. is already good in my eyes. Part four is in the top three. Regardless, because Steel Ball runs either number one or number two, and I'm mm -hmm. happy. So he it could go anywhere. He could go anywhere. I mean, because like realistically, it would just be two peak fiction right here. I mean, yeah. But Jojolian looks so good up there by itself, though. It, it really crazy. does. <laughs> he does. He does. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, oh fuck! Oh, oh my god! Josh! Oh, Josh! Oh, Josh! No! Oh, fuck. That <laughs> that image right there is gonna be reposted without context. No, all of our faces, like <laughs> With all everyone's faces on there too. <laughs> all of our we're all got caught in 4K. Jesus Christ! Oh fuck! So, I mean, I'll put it fire then. If we want to have one peak fiction, will we put Joe Jolian up there on his own? Joe Skate up there on but his there's own? there's no possible way it could be on the same fucking level. Like, that's why it's so hard. Like, <sighs> he will run top of fire. That's that's a good list, in my opinion. Besides all this weird Top of fire. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would have to be top of uh, yeah. yeah, it would have to be top of fire, right? Like, this would this would be it. Yeah, like I, I'm not gonna say uh, Diamond is a break was better than Steel Ball Run. Like I, I can love it, but I'm just not gonna say. It. No way, no way. Uh, I mean, again, I I think that Steel Ball Run does deserve obviously to be up there with Peak Fiction. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. But in terms of like making it a little bit different, I'm, yo, how I'm, about this new tier? Go beyond Peak Fiction, Josuke. Throw oh, him up there. no, <laughs> bro, does not exist. Transcends logic. <laughs> I feel like I can't. I can't really comment. Uh, um, trust me, trust right. me, Willie. You'd you'd agree this, with me. This is just. Uh, <laughs> have a, have a this. Have a this. Does Jajolian have any dinosaurs in it? Oh, um, good point. I don't. I don't think it does. So good. I think we have to put okay. Steel Ball Run up there. Rock animals kind of are dinosaur like. Nah, we don't need the sushi mat. Yeah. We don't need the sushi mat in this tier. Get it out. Yo, did you do the da 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 though? <laughs> I mean, are we comfortable locking it in here? I mean, I, 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 yes, I'm comfortable. Everybody else, I'm comfortable. I'm strapped yeah, this in. This is fine to me. I would, I would, I think, I think it's fine if we have two in peak. Even though we said there should only be one, I think it's fine if we're all like split on it. It kind of pains me to see Steel War run in. in Unfortunately, in this is a democracy. I can't just have uh, my totalitarian Steel Ball Run peak fiction. Trump mm. everyone, so I'll, I'll I mean concede. we could we could do like a because I think Steel Ball Run is for sure Pete Fiction. Me it's too. Sure. I mean, do we want to go back on just having one up there, or do we want to <laughs> commit to that? I feel like we we knew we he all knew we all peak, knew this peak was going insinuates to it is above. It is the only one. Yeah, but it could be a plateau of peak. That's the thing. It could be a plateau, a plateau of peak. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, if we're, it, it's just to not. I mean, what's the difference? It's behind Joe Jolian. Either we put it above Joe Jolian or we keep it in fire. I mean. Because I, I part seven fans are going to hate this one. I know. They're going to be like, oh, it's with part I, four and five. The problem is, is that I would put Steel Ball Run in Peak Fiction, but I have not read the thing that you guys are like creaming over. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I can't, I can't uh, comment on this. I but mean, if it you love, feel very wrong to see Steel yeah. Ball Run. Yeah, it's very, it's very. Well, yeah. this, I, I do feel like this would be correct. Like this is the, like if this Ooh. was a test, damn. Ooh. 
this the would thing be, you said that we shouldn't like do on the SAT. The herd yeah. mentality. If the, if, <laughs> I know for real. <laughs> if this was Switched like a test so fast. that we turn into the teacher, this would be an A plus right here. Oh shit. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, Battle tendency in that low. I, I don't know if I. Yeah, that's definitely not. That's like the, I'd get the red pen out and be like wrong. Here. <laughs> <laughs> get the red pen just question marks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is this? You didn't even write your name. All right. We'll be different. Let's just be different. Let's be different. I mean, this isn't different. This is just. I think this is factual a little bit for me. <laughs> I don't know, After man. All I, that. <laughs> or or do we want to vote? Okay, let's just vote so that we're. I yeah yeah. Let's vote. Let's vote. Should Jajolion? Or I guess we'll vote on Steel Ball Run. So Chewy, are are you? Yes. Do you want to move it up to peak, or do you want to keep it in, at the top of fire? I will happily use my my voting power to put Steel Ball Run above Jajolian. Woo! Okay. Uh, and and I know Willie, since you haven't read Jajolian, you would you would vote Steel Ball Run. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait, you you meant Steel Ball Run or Part Two? Which one are we putting there? Uh, no, 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 you no. almost got me. You almost got me. No. But still, no, yeah, I would put it. I would put it. Okay. Up. Okay. Uh, and exports. Are you happy? Fine, keeping fine Jajolian? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Kev? I would move steel ball run above Jajolian again. Like I get the first half. Y'all are smoking. Great. Second half kind of down, but steel ball run for me. Consistency, consistent greatness. All right, okay. Megan. What would you What would you do? I would leave it. You would leave it as is. So it's three to two, and if I vote to keep it, because I would, I would probably. I love Jojolia, but I would put Steel Ball Run. I think above there it. There we go. Um, I love democracy. And there we go. So that's it. But that's a three way tie. <laughs> Wait, or, or that's I don't no, mean, four. No. Two. Oh, yeah, it's four two. It okay, is. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. All right. So there it is. The would, would you guys like to throw the Jojo lands in here in eight chapters and see where we where we kind of fall Peak on that? Fiction. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh I mean, I'm, I'm down because <laughs> honestly, down. I know for a fact I enjoy Jojo lands more than Phantom Blood and Battle. Then <laughs> I <laughs> already, already just the yeah. eight chapters already. Yeah, and yeah. Stone Ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, Stone Ocean. Damn, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, right I don't know about cat. that. Yeah, 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 Xports all the cats in the McDonald's bag. It was like, this is the part for me. Bro, it was oh, the yeah. Los it, No, it was, it was the Los Boyos Armanos bag. <laughs> Los Boyos. Yeah. Hello. My name is Hirohiko Araki. Where, <laughs> where, <laughs> Los Boyos Armanos. Out of curiosity, where would you put it? Where would you put it, like, on this tier? I'd put it, I'd put it literally mid. It is, it's, I agree. It's, it's done a lot of good. It hasn't done a lot of bad, and it has, it has a lot, done a of, lot potential. of bad. And we'll, we'll talk about that later. Oh, <laughs> no, no. See, the reintroduction. Ba of bad Rohan being Kishibe. Rohan Kishibe. <laughs> Straight into fire for the reintroduction of Rohan. <laughs> All right. Well, this is it. I mean, this we're locked it, in here. Guys? So just because I, I want to get to that Jojo Lands discussion, I, and, and to be respectful of everybody's time, I yeah. want to try to get through this Joe Star bracket, and then we can get into that uh, Jojo Lands discussion. So uh, we did the tier list. We, we made it happen. Uh, let me just cue this up, this bracket up, because this is going to be really interesting. Let me see. Where's my... Josh, I have a question. Yes. Why did we all choose something in the beginning? Is that coming back? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. it is. Okay. It's coming back. I promise. Okay. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> We've been storing it. Josh, what I think I forgot what there? I picked. What? What? Oh, right here? Yeah. You were drip. You were drip. Wa watermelon okay, okay. ice. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to hit it off uh, frame, but sometimes I feel like it looks so weird. Like, what does he keep doing? It looks worse than me just hitting it on, on yeah. camera. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me oh, see. I see we got a Oh, the graphics, though. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tournament. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see we have a buy. Some of these matchups aren't very fair. Side. That's kind of crazy. I know. I, we can rearrange the matchups, too, if you want. Let me yeah. see. Let me see. Let me no, pull no, up the fine. right. No, 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 I, I, I like this. It's, it's the alternates and the originals. Yeah, that's part. that's yeah, that was the logic. Let me see if I can pull this. Jonathan up. gets washed. I'm yeah, so Jonathan. Sorry. Unfortunately, that, that's, that's what I was looking Johnny. at. That's a buy for Jonathan. I mean, then again, who who could Jonathan beat out of all of them? You know, of course he's gonna get washed. Wow, me. He has no chance Jonathan. against the clackers. <laughs> the clackers, <laughs> clacker volley. Where is... I tried to buy some, but they're apparently illegal where I live. So wow, that's awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, Why? it's apparently a weapon. Well, I guess it makes sense that it's kind of a weapon, but I wanted to get little Joseph <laughs> clackers. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is. It should be right here. Why isn't that coming up? Sorry, I'm I'm pulling it up one second. Oh no, I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, a lot of things are illegal. Dude, butterfly knives are apparently illegal, right? 
And I had I had some yeah, of those. They are. You can't see they they're I mean I didn't coming have, after I mean I now. didn't you cannot have you cannot admit to your <laughs> yeah, crimes don't worry live. About it. Don't Josh. Worry about it. All right, I found it. Sorry. Damn. Uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, there it is. All right. Oh. Dun oh, dun dun. No. So this is no tier list. No tier list. No 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 one's safe, dude. It's ultimate uh, battle royale to the death. Who is the best, definitively, the best Joe Star? And we're gonna see so if we can all agree. What location are we talking about? Like one v one on Rust, or like Nuketown? Or is- <laughs> yeah, are we on Terminal? Nuketown, like, Nuketown, like, yo, stop, Jodeo sweeping. Stop, Jodeo sweeping. Stop. If we're fucking. <laughs> stop. Jodeo is definitely like he plays Fortnite. If this, if yes, yeah, so if this is a Fortnite battle royale, Jodeo sweep. <laughs> Wait, is this who who would win in a fight or who we like more? Just who? Like, yeah, the who's best. the best character? The best Joe yeah. Star. Yeah. 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 The best character, the best protagonist. I mean, I guess, yeah, just the best Joe star. Not necessarily in a fight. Spirit, okay, I, personality. Wait, why is, <laughs> why is Joseph going up against himself? I mean, I just thought it'd be funny to put old and young against <laughs> himself. <laughs> That's That's he's, he's fighting his inner demons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's Joseph when he got possessed by Dio at the end. Versus like, <laughs> no, it's, oh. it's, yeah, it's Joseph like pre-cheat versus like post-cheat. Oh. Uh, yikes. So he already loses some points. He's got some points for that. <laughs> for we, we can agree, though, that part four, Joseph, is like, he already lost the battle, and that's why it's only these two. He's not you even know? here. He didn't even show up. Yeah. <laughs> for real. I think he, he, he forgot. forgot. To show up. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the way this works is that these automatically move up, right? Because they're they're the only one on their yeah. bracket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then let's start with the two Joskes um, on, on, on the left. Um, this is tough. I mean, I feel like this is going to be really hard. This is hard. not tough. This is painful. <laughs> I agree. This is Liam. painful for me. <laughs> really? This is painful. Because it's like, dude, Josuke 4, I love him to death, but there's no way he's making it past this round. Yeah. Like, I just... I, I, personal opinion, Gappy, Sweep, although I've often considered Part 4 Josuke to be one of my favorite JoJo's because he's like, he has this just like such friendly energy that you look at Josuke and you think like, you, know, you have this parasocial, like, that's my friend. I love Josuke. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas he's just so good. But like in Part 4, I do feel like he is undermined a lot of the times and he isn't really able to sort of come in, he'd come into his own in a way where he's sort of mm. the static character that's always the same throughout, but it doesn't really make him bad or anything, but Gappy is just, oh, Gappy is phenomenal. The progression you have of like seeing this character who's unfamiliar with his environment and the insecurity he feels and the emotion he shows of like, how does it feel to not know who you are, to not even be human, essentially, to be this anomaly of existence and to see him grow and come into his own and accept what he wants, what he decides what's valuable to him. You know, he doesn't need to say, Holly, she was the mother of Kira. That's not me. I'm moving forward. But he chooses what's important to him. So he decides to save Holly. He decides to risk his life to go after and stop these like rock humans is just perfect. Gap- Gappy wow. is is advancing, in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think more than anything, it's just going to break my heart, but I agree. Only because I also think that Josuke, part four Josuke is like my, one of my favorites. Like, I mean, I do love him so much, yeah. but I it's mean. It's tough for sure. Yeah. He's dripped out. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, he's got the, he's got the most fire. <laughs> I love fit. the word. Yeah, Josuke always wins the drip competitions. He's literally wearing a, a high school That's uniform. <laughs> but it's the, it's the <laughs> with charisma. Flair. It's the riz he brings. It's the pose. You know, it's, it's everything. Yeah. It's, it's the, the, the opening. Actually, you know something that bothers me about Gappy, specifically his outfit. Uh, later in on the part, without trying to spoil for Willie, there is a part where they have to. Uh, uh, no, I'll speak in code. Uh, okay. There's a part later where Gappy is. He should be hiding from authorities. Mm-hmm. Right. And the uh, information gets spread out. And we see like on the news, they say like, oh, a man wearing a sailor outfit. And then it bothers me that he then continues to wear the sailor <laughs> outfit for the rest of the part. He's committed. I don't like that. You guys ever see the TikToks where it's like, <laughs> find the stand user? And it's like, yeah. it's like cuts between like, just like really regular looking dudes. <laughs> uh, like this dude with like pink hair and like spikes coming <laughs> off. He's wearing like a bedazzled suit. He's like, for <laughs> real. <next> guy is... <laughs> That's so funny. I've never seen that. <laughs> I mean, I think we're all pretty much in agreement there, right? Kev, you, you feel the same way? Chewy? Yeah, you I feel, feel Willie. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Willie's not going to like Jojo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> have you heard? Have uh, you I, heard like of... his, I like the gap in his teeth, actually. I think that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Enough to put him above part four Josuke? I'm out of the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he moves on. 
All right. Yeah. He, oh, shit. I removed the wrong thing. He moves on. He moves on. Oh, no. No! All right. He moves, he, he moves forward. So now let's go to the other side and let's go. So he moves up here, right? Mm -hmm. um, old Joseph versus young Joseph. Old. Young. 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 He's the best protagonist of all time. Oh shit! I gotta tally this up, dude. We, Kev? I think I, I, think three, I three? have to go with I think I have to go with Young as well. But like Old oh. just was so fire. Bro, I thought you That's said earlier thing. that you liked Old I, more. I do, but like <laughs> the thing is, like, because uh, all right, let's be for real. Jolene's probably getting swept by Joseph, right? Let, let's just be yeah, real. yeah. But who is Joseph? <laughs> yeah. Is is Old Joseph? <laughs> Willie's like, Joseph I don't know about that. Johnny, like, I'm thinking about the end game. I'm thinking about like how far is Joseph gonna go? If I pick Old Joseph, is he beating Johnny? I don't know, but young Joe. I love young Joseph and old Joseph. That's the that's the issue here. Yeah. The funny, oh my god, man, and the funny, like clacker volley, man. They're they're both so good. So I I feel like old Joseph was who he was always supposed to be. You know, I, 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 I <laughs> he's one of those guys that just like like with age, just yeah, he gets just better. aged great like fine wine. Exactly, yeah, he, he's a fine wine. And look, either way, Joseph still wins this round. You know, exactly. Either way, There's he no can losing. still get it. You know, yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Old or young, e even Fuck. even parkour. Oh, I agree. Fuck. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, for sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna tally it up. I'm Chewy going young. Okay, uh, Willie's going young. Chewy, old or young? Young. Okay. Young. young. X Force. Young. young swept. Young. Young swept. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kev, just to just to lock in your vote, what was it again? I mean, I would have picked old high key, but like young is just so cool, so I don't care. Again, they're both great, so it's just like. I, I'm voting old. What are you voting? Old. Old. So, okay. so young. Yeah, we got we got fucking rocked on that one. <laughs> um, so young <laughs> moves ahead. Moves on. All right. So this brings us down to, and this is, I guess, not really fair. It's Jodio versus uh, Giorno. But you're right. It's not fair. Jodio sweep. Jodio. I, I agree. <laughs> Move him up. Move him up. Jodio. <laughs> The, oh. It's just the potential too, like we were talking about yeah. before, and also he's just way more interesting, and he's like a badass. Yes. And they're really just mirrors of each other right here, Fuck, right? Dude. They really are cut from the same cloth, but not the same at all. And I just think he's cooler. He's just that guy. He's just and like yeah. he, he just gets just it. Guy. And <laughs> okay, you know dude. he he gets yeah. his name Jodio. I would have ten <laughs> more confidence. <laughs> Change your, Dude, just, Change your name. The, like Megan mentioned, the potential of Jodio. He's like such an interesting character, like being this 15 year old kid in 2012, like literally just full on Gen Z Zoomer. Like Gen Z, I messed that up anyways. But yeah, like, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Where it's like just selling drugs and 15 years old and being like, I don't care. And just like, I don't know, man. He's such a fun character. So sick. Yeah. And also it's like, yeah, I, I'm like Will in the chat said, I love Giorno, but Jodio just feels like the main character of his part already. And I agree. He's not bro, being he's outshone a, by, he's not being outshined by anyone. And he's an actual criminal, bro. Yeah. Giorno wasn't really, I mean, he he said he was part of the mafia, whatever, but he was basically a vigilante hero. Giorno yeah. is the Jesse Pinkman. While Jodio is the Walter White. Oh, there's, there's damn, that's dark. The that's dark. <laughs> damn. He, also, he, likes Ro he likes Rohan, therefore he's better. <laughs> yeah. Like, Jod uh, Jodio, actually, never mind. Design wise, <laughs> sweep as well. Jodio's design is yeah. sweep. Yeah. yeah. I, gotta uh, agree. I love the hair. I'm not a huge fan of the his outf like the top. Mm. He's got the weird heart. Bro, it's like a flotation device. It's fire. <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> I love this. Remember, um, also, got the floaty tube. Yeah, the floaty tube. Uh, to me, mean enjoyer says. Meanwhile, this is me. Also, this. I I never had laughed out loud in like a JoJo harder than I did when oh, he's yeah, like he's like this guy them. sucks and he's like but I get bitches. I'm like what yeah. is this part right now? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like this and yeah. sometimes like it popping <laughs> bottles at the club. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, for that panel alone, too. Are you, are you in agreement that that Jodio is uh is already off See, to a okay. better start? The thing is, I don't think it's fair because you say he's so much potential, but I think there's a very good, uh, I wouldn't say very good possibility. There's a possibility that potential gets squandered because of what oh, happened yeah. to Gappy. Gappy was this silly, fun guy who became this like kind of just bland, serious guy. And at the beginning of the Jojo Lands, we're told that this uh, Jodeo is this, we're told he's a psychopath. Yeah. He's like a complete egomaniac narcissist. I'm worried that over time, Iraqi will just default him back and he'll just kind of normalize out as just 
mm. kind of a Jorno, like a bland kind of mm. guy. Mm. Mm. I have the opposite theory of what maybe Iraqi's cooking with with Jodio. I think I want to go full psychopath. I want to start. No, killing I, that's what I want. That's, that's what, what I'm thinks, thinking. Yeah. I think that the Joe Bros are gonna like. He's just gonna have no one in his life because he's gonna want to just like be obsessed with money and riches and just leave everyone in the dust. And he's going to be so self-absorbed. I, I that would, was a crazy yeah. cut from like Dragona in the watch shop to Jodeo when that, you know, bit of narration came on and said, this is a story of, of one, you know, boy becoming rich. Yeah, it was that just, was crazy. It was a weird placement and it was very significant. And it felt like, oh damn, like he might, he might like backstab them. He might, I don't know, Anything? like something, they might have know. some sort of falling out. The way, the way I interpreted that was actually that it was Dragona who might be expressing some things of greed because when they go to the watch shop, they do the test and they see the $20 comes back and they're like, oh, it works. And then Dragona's like, we absolutely have to go to this luxury watch store and watch this out. It's absolutely necessary. Jodio, give me the diamond. Give me the rock. And it's like, was mm. it absolutely necessary? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't mm. at all. Like Dragona's Definitely, definitely thing... Dragona trying to be like, I want an expensive watch. <laughs> like I want yeah. something yeah. that's worth a lot of money. I feel like Dragona's whole like thing is that they're meant to be like the emotional core for Jodio, like being the one like closely tied to them. Yeah. But at the same point, it's like they're also very greedy and very not impulsive, but I feel like it's like yeah. something too, like too early very to, to say yeah. But um, Dragona's interesting, man. Like Dragona hasn't gotten their like. I feel like Paco and Usagi have gotten more spotlight than Dragona so far. So I love. Paco. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Love Dragona Paco. hasn't gotten to do much yet. Curious. So if we had to vote, I think Jodio is... Uh, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, Jodio over Jonah. Oh, yeah, this moving up. This, <laughs> this is great. All right, so it brings us to Jonathan and Johnny. 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 Right, bye, Johnny. 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 Yeah. yeah. Of course, that wasn't now, even Now, hold on here. Oh, his his oh, nickname Johnny. is Joe Kid. He wins by default. No, I'm kidding. Go, Johnny. <laughs> Joey, wait, wait, hold was, on. I was ready, dude. One, one second. <laughs> yeah, hold on, guys. <laughs> I was ready, dude. All right, so we're jumping back over here. I think now we have Jotaro and Gappy. Ooh. This is unfortunate. This is because unfortunate. Gappy, but Jotaro is, is, when I think of Jojo, it's... Jotaro is him. Yeah. yeah. Like, he, it's not just that he is Mr. Jojo to a lot of people, but he's in multiple parts, and he gets better with each part. People and that, I think, is boring, so compelling. But I okay. Let me put it this way. I don't think he's boring at all. I don't think, okay. I think he gets better each part. Like, part Gappy, four is awesome. Gappy and Jotaro, their story both resolve, both revolves around saving their sick mother Holly. So I guess just decide who does that better. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, because essentially, I mean, in a well, way, in terms of timeline, that. in terms of timeline, they 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 exist in the same like role. Yeah, but I. <sighs> But, no, but Jodoro is so much more. Jotaro There's more to a character, on. like yeah, and does and, so much other stuff. Then he's gonna go save his his daughter. And... Yeah, Jodoro gave us Jolene too, so that's, that's true. Cool. true. Oh shit, that is true. Well, I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of funny that that worked out that way, right? That they both are trying to save Holly. Um, yeah, and 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 Josuke. I mean, again, it, it's like I like to believe in my own headcanon that like just where the story ends isn't where like his involvement in all of that ended yeah i mean i just have to go joe Turo. i think i mean his his introduction is just icon uh, so iconic he made me laugh so many times um H just blatantly disrespecting his bullet. mom yeah. so awesome <sighs> i mean he is iconic yeah. he, I, I mean he is just that guy like he is mr jojo and i like how he meme. just he, he just assumed the stand would catch the bullet like he has never tested that before <laughs> yeah. he was, like, let's just that's, see what happens that's why it's so great yeah, and then <sighs> just and and this is obviously a huge bias because of the anime, obviously. But like his voice and yeah. the music, his theme is amazing. Yeah. You know, like it's just there's so many things. Like when I think of Jotaro, I think of country. when I think of Jojo, I think of like bum bum ba da bum. Ba, yeah, bum. like I get hyped. <laughs> and it's like I am in. Yeah, so stuff like that. Could have said that like, about Jorno's theme though. Yeah, well, Jorno's see, is... I could have, but I Well, didn't. I mean, that I whole Jorno's OST is, is ridiculous. No, that's slander. That's slander. Jorno's theme is fine. Um, <laughs> uh, so, are we, I mean, are we agreeing then? Because I think I'm suffering from recency bias since Jojolion was the last thing we read, and it was recent for us. I mean, I'm I'm partial to Gappy, but I do agree that he is iconic. I mean, I, I when I first, you know, was introduced to him, I fell head over heels. So, I mean, yeah. I would I yeah, would. you agree. literally have him behind you. Bro. I know, I have, I have, yeah. I, I, think, I think the main issue with this is... 
Yeah, oh, he's you pointing. Can't, you can't, yeah, he oh, is okay. pointing <laughs> right at you like you better pick me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a gun. He's holding a little oh, gun to my head. <laughs> the part six fit alone? Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Come on. As much as, much as I love Gabby, we're talking, we're talking I would about have the part six outfit too. being fire? Yeah. You know, I mean, all of them. Are as if the part four outfit didn't exist? No, yeah. okay. The part four part, outfit is, is... What about the part five outfit, outfit though? Yeah, he's even in part mm. five. I didn't even mention that. Yeah. Slight alteration on the part four. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't know. I, I might go part five. Yeah, the part five fit over part four, dude. The part four fit is all white. It's, it's nice. Oh, he's, like, he's like Gandalf, bro. He comes back as Jotro the White. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the part six Jotro fit grew on me the most. Yeah, the snakeskin pants are fine. The pants! The yeah, pants dude. make so it! Uh, yeah, yeah. They're so good! I like to imagine, I, I think, like, in the world of JoJo, it looks mad corny, though, because he's, like, this 40-year-old guy, like, wearing this. It's like, bro, what are you wearing? <laughs> he, he actually looks like, you know, the end of part six, where um, you see, like, the alternate JoJo, and he has, like, the weird That's what he face. actually looks like. Yeah! <laughs> That's what he looks like in the it's real like, world. like, Dad, you're embarrassing me. Why are you wearing snakeskin pants? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. So this is this is how this is uh, shaping up, I guess, right here, right? Okay. Um, so now we're jumping back. Uh, where does this leave us? Okay, Jolene and Jotro. Hmm. I don't want to hear Jolene. Sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Jolene carried the part on her back. Like, yeah, she did. she did. She, she did. She did. The part on her back. Yeah, her yep. fight with Survivor. That was so awesome. Like, there's just so many moments. But Joseph also, like, there's again, so I hate iconic. that old Joseph is right here. Because I can't include old Joseph with <laughs> well, Joseph. You know, I mean, in your heart, you can, you know. But I, really, <laughs> I feel like I really like Jolene because she's the first. For, and I might have to read more into this. But I definitely feel like she's probably the first protagonist to go through a notable change throughout the part. Mm. Oh, yeah. She even reflects that in her appearance. She, like, physically mm -hmm. changes, too. And I, yeah. I, I really liked that. And so I have a, and since she was the first one to do that after like five parts of characters who are pretty much the same at the beginning and the end of their parts, it was like really nice to see. Yeah. I mean, I, I have Joseph. Quite a bit Having said, Joseph well, is funny. I vote Joseph. Jo Whoa. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, Switch up. A lot of changes. He kind of realized that he's just that guy at the end. He realized, he realized <laughs> oh, I can't fly. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. think that we choose him. Yeah. He, he actually, um, you know, Drank his own Kool Aid so much that he even like cheated on his wife like a couple times. That was old Joseph. That wasn't young Joseph. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is before I, he I did that. I don't know if it's um, I don't know if it's uh, his own Kool Aid. It might have been some of Caesar's Kool Aid. I mean, it was like that <laughs> tropical red flavor. So <laughs> tropical um, red. But I, I did want to say for Jolene, I do think like the ending with Jolene, how self sacrificial she is, is just awesome yes. as well. Yeah, like she literally was like. Go Emporio, I'll just die right now. Like stuff like that. That's crazy. Yeah. Like I can't yeah. as if yeah. Joseph didn't do the same I was, thing. I was about to say Joseph <laughs> <What do you laughs> mean? blew that plane into a goddamn volcano. That's true. You thought he was dude what in his mind thought I might make it out of this. He he yeah. said he he thought, I know what your next line's gonna be. How am I gonna make it out of this? That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. And then guess what? He's back. <laughs> I have to vote uh, Jolene, Megan. I have to vote Jolene. Chewy? Uh, did everyone else vote so far? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll come back to Chewy. Yeah. <laughs> Willie, Willie, what are you voting? Willie's got the Zoomies. Okay. Willie, um, the Zoomies. I'm going. I'm going Joseph. Baby. All right. All Damn. right. Damn. It's not easy, actually. I like Jolene. Jolene. Okay. Yeah, I'm Jolene as well. So Chewy, I mean, I I don't even think it matters. I think she swept. If old Joseph was there, yeah. it might be I, I can't make this decision. Good thing it's been decided. <laughs> so she moves on, which actually Holy close, shit. bro. Yeah, makes this last couple of rounds pretty crazy. Um, we didn't even talk about Johnny the whole time. It's just like we didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it Johnny really had a buy. Let's be real. So it's Jodio and Jotaro. All right, Jodio was kind of the meme pick, but uh, Joe Turo. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I mean, between. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I mean, between... he's going to lose against Jorno, anyways, too. Like, it, it, yeah. it didn't even matter who won that. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he's iconic. He's, he, like you said, the, the mascot pretty much of, of JoJo in a lot of ways. Um. So, Johnny and Jolene. Johnny. Johnny. Jo Johnny. Johnny. I'm doing Johnny. 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 Johnny boy. Johnny boy. Because 
Joseph lost. So this is my re- this is my revenge arc. This is my revenge arc. <laughs> and my villain arc. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would actually pick Johnny as well. I uh Yeah. I just we, think the like, whole thing with the with like the murder in his eyes. Yeah, dude. This is the dark determination duo right here. Yeah. These are the two who who established this like crazy. There were some moments that and I love that about Johnny too, that he wasn't he, he did some like pretty questionable things. Yeah. Um, Johnny is Johnny's he actually wanted to kill asshole. Diego. Johnny is a bad yeah. person. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gyro yeah. had to talk him out of killing Diego. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Imagine killing the best character. But th- that's why Johnny's so good, though, because Araki was like, let's get unhinged with this. Let's make like yes. this actually like bad character. I, I love in Jojillian, too, how it's like Johnny's all fighting for that, like the corpse. No one should have this power. You know, yes. it needs to be locked away. But then he's like, my wife is sick. I need the corpse yes! for myself. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> for no, but a scene I like. <laughs> no one gives a shit the, but me. During the Civil War fight, when it seems like he's about to lose the corpse to someone else, he decides, I'd rather destroy the corpse so that no one can have it. Yeah, he's such if an I asshole. can't have it, no one can have it. <laughs> that scene dick. is legendary. So immature. Yeah, dude, I think he, he beats out Joel. Bro, in the fit, too. I, his down. fit grew Come on me. His fit on. grew on me. I didn't, Baby blue? Yeah, I didn't like yeah. it at first, dude, but, but it at grew on me. At first, he wears like a jacket, but eventually he's just wearing a onesie with a hood. <laughs> he really <laughs> like, is. Yeah. The snow really fits is. are the best fits for them, by the way. <gasps> oh, the yeah. snow fits go so hard. It's also like, like, also like the, what do we cheer to? We ha- we lost everything? Like, come on. Uh, the fire yeah. fit with the fire snow. Tusk in general, like. Tusk was uh, sick, too. Come on. Yeah. I will say, I, I am impressed that we have not talked about a single stand until right then. With oh, Tusk is awesome. <laughs> like, because we knew all the stands were awesome. Like, yeah, I know. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> this is the final round, dude. Joe well, Trill I would have never Johnny. guessed. Uh, yeah. I mean, I it, makes, it makes sense. It, it makes sense. Tough. Yeah. This, this is tough. super tough. It's like Mr. Johnny means more to me than Jotaro. And Mr. Twitter JoJo right against each other. I, I relate more like to Johnny. He means more to me. The most complex JoJo versus like the least complex JoJo. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, I think... that'd be Jonathan. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that Johnny, yeah, for me would would take it before that point alone, right? That he is more complex. He's not a perfect. He's a person, right? He's got dimensions. He's not a good person necessarily. He's, I don't know. He makes questionable decisions, but he's he's I don't know. He's a motive, he's extremely like motivated me, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Like I like this. how he really, um, you know, he's trying to like in the beginning. We see him kind of rising in success and being an asshole. And then something bad happens. Life now, kind of puts him in check a little bro, bit. Bro, a, a little <laughs> bit. A little bit. His whole life has changed completely forever. Yeah. Um. So that was just super interesting. And and yeah, I do care, I think, more about Johnny than Jotaro. Um, and I think that just comes with because, well, it shouldn't because Jotaro has been in the story so much more. <laughs> like every yeah, other part, yeah. he's like, hey, I'm here. Um. But Johnny just was so much more impactful. Uh, yeah, I feel like there was more depth for sure. Yeah. I Although like at the end of the day though, like Johnny is like kind of like he never had that redemption of being like, I always thought so, you know, he's this cocky kid, this prodigy jockey. And then he cuts in line, he gets shot in the back and he, his whole thing, he wants to get back to zero. He feels like he's in the red, but like, I always wish that Johnny was just grateful for what he had and recognized that he doesn't need to get back to what was and he should just look around him and accept what he has and by the end, I mean, he gets to be able to walk again, which I feel like shouldn't have happened. I feel mm. like he should have recognized that I'm just as special as I am, regardless if I if I can use my legs or not. And I don't need to get back to zero. You know, I'm ju- it's just yeah. fine as it is. So, but so it's like the yeah. gappy arc. Yeah. All that stuff yeah. of being like, he's so greedy. Like, he's like, I want to get back to zero. It's like, bro, like chill <laughs> you have you actually have friends. be humble you have, you have friends, you have, yeah. you've been yeah. on a journey across the world you know well, he doesn't I mean? have friends like, anymore yeah no! he's always, he's always oh. wanting that more so oh. i don't know just intro like I, that always rubbed me wrong too is like introducing this disabled jojo and showing how capable he is without his legs even though like half of the time he's using the spin to like zip around and everything but like yeah. I don't like that he got his legs back. Yeah. I wish he was that representation of that um, like paraplegic disabled Jojo. And he's powerful because of that. I agree. But he's like, um, well, I get to walk again because the power of Jesus. It's like, okay, whatever. It's like, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've never I, really I think, thought of that, but yeah. 
I think a really cool thing that Rocky's done with this this trilogy so far is give each character like this immense like thing they have to overcome. Mm. Um, like you were saying, X, like I do wish that he didn't walk again because I feel like that nullifies a lot of his struggle and like mm-hmm. who he was as a person. But like with Josuke, he overcame his as well, but in a in a different way. Not where he learned everything and felt satisfied, but he had that yeah. sort of oh, I'm me, you know, uh, realization. Found his, found his place at the end, the family. Yeah. And, and Jodio, he could easily do that as well with him, like having some sort of, you know, arc as it goes on, because right. we know he's going to have some craziness going on as well. You know what just so. talking about? This has nothing mm-hmm. to do with what we were talking about. Do you think that um, Josuke's uh, balls, you know, like he has the four oh, balls? Oh, yeah. Think, yeah. Please. Do you think that they go? Yes, yes. Back yeah, two by two. Two by two. They're, they're two by two. Like we, I think it's actually, stacked. Um, I think they're stacked. Yeah, we actually had a photo that really? we had someone in our community drew, um, like four options. You think he's just got like a long sack that just no, no, no. It's like one ball, and then <laughs> below the other, it like it overlaps it. So it's like two sets of nuts on top. I want to find other. that picture. Hold on, I don't know where it's. I'm at. really getting the people thinking right now. It's, yeah, I'm it's, trying it's, to visualize if I stare imagine. Imagine yeah, like beer pong terms. Right so there's yeah, there's two by two, uh, like two by two diamond or straight line. It's like playing beer pong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, like how do you? How do you? It could be a just a square. The yeah, diamond square. could be one, two, and then one. It could. So there's mm. three options. <laughs> yeah, I think diamond makes a lot of sense too, but straight line just mm. rubs me the wrong way. Straight line That's just straight seems line wrong. is so wrong. <laughs> <That> is wrong. <laughs> you posted it. Yeah, it's like I one think of those I, cursed images. I think. Yo, what, what, what if they're a horizontal line though? They're just, they're just. No, that's even worse. That's <laughs> even worse because then where is it going? Where is it going sideways? Just, this is a wide sack. Oh man, I don't remember where I posted it at, but someone drew literally like like different arrangements <laughs> of like <laughs> balls, and uh, yeah, I can't even remember. I, I needed the visual aid to help me. I know. But I think yeah, it would any uh, any any wonderful chat members, if you could clip that whole segment. Oh yeah, like, yeah, please. That that would be amazing. We need that. Yeah. Does yeah, anyone know I, where I Josh that, posted it? I would think that. Would... I think Canon y- Yasuo says two by two. Yeah, I, I, feel I know. Like in, a lot of the, uh, in a lot of the classic Iraqi drawings in the speech bubble, it's like two by two in the in the drawings. Yeah. So it's two separate oh. sacks. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. No, 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 no. It's one set. It's one I, I hope it's four separate sets. I hope it's four. I hope it's four. I hope it's four. I hope it's four. I hope it's two. So he's actually, because, I mean, Yasuo doesn't, ex- I mean, maybe she's never seen, you know, balls she before. Saw. So she might see four sacks and think, oh, those are four balls. He's actually got eight balls inside those four sacks. Oh, yeah, how did damn. how would she know how many? They they, they she, must be huge balls if she was able to see them <laughs> through. That she was able to see the silhouette to recognize that there's four. So these things got to be like no, it's out. massive. It's massive. Mm-hmm. It's like her face said it all. Her face said it all. Her face did say it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was like uh, disgusted, but then she was like, "Okay, hold up, wait, hold <laughs> let's hold see what's up. going on here." Hold up, hold up. So okay, okay, one sack then. One sack. I that that the one sack is insane. It's, it's an insane lot. visual. It's like he just robbed a bank. It's an insane. <laughs> 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 you know? you know? I think I think that's how in my mind one sack and they're just all they're just all hanging hanging. Damn, <laughs> hanging. I'm glad. That's wild. I'm glad we got. To, I'm, I'm glad, glad you brought can, that up. Yeah. yeah we yeah, could have no an problem. intricate discussion about the me. the uh, what would we call the the biology. Of someone with like four balls, it's really great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love this Matt Pat video. <laughs> and that's yeah. just a game a ball, ball, theory. A ball theory. It's just a ball theory. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Johnny clears, it, are, right? Is that is that where we land? Is that where I don't we know. land? I don't know. People were on the fence. I don't Why know. don't we do votes? Okay. okay. All right. Let me write. Let me write it down. Uh, Johnny Joe Turo. Okay. All right, Chewy. Who are you voting for? Okay. Do you first? Do you mind if my vote counts for two? Sure. I mean, sure. I mean, I mean, hell yeah. Okay, Johnny. If, if, if you, two damn. votes for Johnny. What? <laughs> that was crazy. Josh was like, sure. Wait, wait, yeah, can everyone just have two votes yeah, then? Say, if, the, if, the self-proclaimed democracy lover. That was if, crazy. If yeah, we're at a tie, yeah. if we're at a tie, it'll count for two. But if we're not at a yeah. tie. I feel, I feel like Chewie's got the, the short end of the guy? stick a lot of yeah, times. Yeah, I was going to say. I uh, made a poll. So let's see what they're, what they said. Um, Johnny is winning by 66%. Oh, Tiro Tiro, 34%. Oh, 67. Put those votes in, guys. All right. Uh, what about you, Willie? What are you thinking? I'm a basic bitch, man. I like Jotaro. I I, mm. I, I mean, I, I love Johnny. I just think that, like, 
every time I think of JoJo's, I think of Jotaro. And if I had to pick the best Joe star, it's that guy. Mm. He's him. Yeah. He's him. No? I mean, yeah. I mean, he, yeah. I mean, I think it's just about... I, it, it is about, like, the character. And I think that, like, Johnny is, uh, like, a more entertaining character. Um, I think he's a better character. I think he's a more in-depth character. And I think that's just what, what it comes down to. It's, like, it's like nostalgic or classic, like, the face of the series versus, like, a, a more rounded character, which is why it's so tough, I think. I was going to say... Uh, t- <laughs> I was gonna say Jotaro walked so Johnny could run. But- Damn! Damn. <laughs> you, you did it. You so he could steal ball. Though. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, X Force. What about you? Uh, I'm honestly gonna say Jotaro here. Oh, kind of just to be different, but I mean, the more we talk about like Johnny, like yeah, he's great, but like man, I just love Jotaro. How he's like this persistent force throughout the original universe like we saw what he was doing during part five part four part six and you have this sort of timeline of him where you have like like i love that one little line where it's like him and polner if after part three went and did their own little crusade to like defeat stan like that idea is so cool to me and the fact that we even like see a little bit of that and it all comes back with him in part six and part four and I think like some people oversimplify Jotaro in part three when he, he is genuinely a deep character and he's just he's just a lot of fun. And nothing beats the literally if you're a stand user, put your finger on your nose, like yeah. peak fiction. Yeah. I mean it, it's, not, it's not like he like you said, he is a deep character too. I, I don't wanna make it sound like I'm I'm saying that he has no depth, but it's like he does he's just sometimes. Stoic. He's yeah, he feels one note, but it's a good note. You know what I mean? It's a good oh, note to be. Yeah. Like every it's time Jojo is in the stand fight, you're like, waiting for him to do something great because you know it's awesome one liner or yeah. an amazing attack or something like that. Mm. Okay, so experts, that's, that's, that's shocking. Um, Jojo, that's shocking. That shocks me. I'm, I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. Uh, Kev, what about you? Kev, please, I know you want to. So this is amazing, right? I, I love this so far. I love this. Because I was also going to pick Jodoro. This is awesome. It's I'm, not I'm looking good this. for me. Oh, uh, well, I mean, oh. you had two votes. You had two oh, votes. You had two <laughs> votes. <laughs> I still lose. Wait, no, I know. Wait, 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 who knows? <laughs> wait, but I do, I do want to say, Jodoro just, even though he's not like as compelling in the moment, like a lot of the time, because he's just Mr. Cool Guy, which mm-hmm. is still awesome. You know, we always love Mr. Cool Guy. There are just so many moments of him that are like, I don't know how to fully describe it, but like chills chills you know what i mean like the end of part four when he stops time and defeats kira chills yeah. return Jolie, in part six when when he says it re- return in part six but also they're just the little things that aren't even hype it's just like holy shit like how did we get here like when no, he said to jolene he stops time i i like i'm like oh, okay. yeah when he said <laughs> when he said to jolene i've always cared about you like that's one of my favorite moments in the whole series because it's like jodo is such a non um emotional character and hearing him say something so genuine and caring just like the um the end of part four where he's like i'm so grateful to all the people i've met in this town like you would never expect stuff like this from part three jodoro and that that sense of growth that sense of um you know you're on the journey with him it feels so satisfying to me and seeing him in many different roles from the main oh. protagonist fighting against dio versus the mentor to josuke which i absolutely love to me that's my favorite jodoro uh, the father figure for Jolene. Like, there's so many things that he's done with this character that it felt so, like, earned. I would say God. because of how much he's uh, made a base for him. God damn it, Kevin! You that, crying? That might have that might have won me over. Oh, dude. I thought you were crying. <laughs> yeah. this, this, this whole time, this yeah. whole time, I was thinking, no, it's Johnny, it's Johnny, it's Johnny. And then just when you said something about seeing him in all these different roles and they, them feeling earned, I was like, yeah, you're kind of right, dude. You see, like his whole life, like he's a teenager introduced to stands, and then he literally dedicates his entire life to yeah. this like goodness to work with stands. It's just, it's cool. All right, I I I, I am. Converted. You do you though, Josh. You do you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm you changed. I'm he changed. was changed. He's teary eyed. I don't know if you guys <laughs> no, can see it no, on camera. He no. was like getting a little emotional. Yeah, that's real though. That's that was real. real. I, will also, I will I will also say my personal favorite panel in all of JoJo is. Jodoro getting the disc taken out of his head. That yeah, is by sick. far my favorite panel in all of Jojo. Because it's just like so crazy when you first uh when you first see it. Insane. Yeah, fuck yeah. Insane. Megan, what about you? I said Johnny. You said Johnny. 
Oh, I said Johnny after all that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I love all that. <laughs> after all that, said, I was but, uh... like, I said Johnny. I mean, those yeah, are really Johnny's valid cool, points. You know? I, I came in, you know, really wanting to pick Johnny too. It's okay. And, and thinking that nothing could change my mind. But it was Kev's. It was Kev's. It was the speech. Got, oh. No, it really did. You went through his whole life. You really and... pulled a Jeff from Community. <laughs> <laughs> I love Community, by the way. I love Community. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I think that I'm still going to go with my vote. But that doesn't change anything. Well, I mean, if if Chewy does get two votes, it okay, ties well... it. But I, 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 <laughs> no, okay, I, I, I can't, votes. I can't do that. <laughs> but I think that I think that yeah, I, I, you know, I really thought for a Let's second go. that wow. Johnny was gonna take it. I thought I thought Johnny was gonna win. Yeah, I did too. That's what, I wanted to be a complete. I'm so happy right now. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is, this is it. the worst worst moment of my life. Worst we can also we also <laughs> really really agree that on the part three. Like, the, be the best ending yeah, for a fight yeah. too so there we go uh, there we go that, uh, uh, objectively uh joseph is actually the best joe star on the list but, uh, and and part two is the best yeah is peak fiction above yeah. all of it, it yeah. is peak no, fiction. like listen i wouldn't even <laughs> say part two is peak fiction but i think objectively joseph is is the best joe star joseph really okay i think okay I think that's valid. That's valid. You're, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but he changed the game. He, I mean, I guess, yeah. He's so funny. He's so entertaining. I'm, I, every time he's on screen, I'm staring at him. Yeah, he's I mean, pretty charming. He, he, I think. I think um, like, putting just out of entertainment, you know, putting him against Jolene, I think, is very interesting because I think those two are like the ultimate example of like they dominate their part. Like without them, yeah. their part is so completely different. Yeah. Meanwhile, like for. Giorno, Jotaro, Josuke. Like you have a bunch of these side characters that definitely help push how great the part is. But without Jolene and Joseph, like what are the stories? You know what I mean? Mm. So I thought that was a very good like uh, pair. Well, Willie, you're entitled to your own opinion, dude. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nicest way to tell someone they're wrong. So, I mean, people are saying that. Uh, what about the chat's vote? So oh shit, chat chat did vote for Johnny, dude. So that that might push Johnny I, up. Are we actually giving? I Shui love you, chat. <laughs> are we actually giving Chewy two votes. People are like, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. It's me and Chewy are Johnny. Chat's also Johnny. Yeah, dude. Um, well, I mean, it's a tie. Now, it, why don't we count every individual person who voted? <laughs> why does Chewy have? It, you know, no. I'll I'll forsake my two votes. I'll forsake no, my two votes. No, yeah. Yeah, it can it can it can be a tie it's in your okay. in your in your. It, I'll put it in my heart. heart. Yeah, that's fine. But right here, right now, right here, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> you're fucking so wrong. So be quiet. It's Joe Taro. No, Joe no. Taro. Right, so you did it really quickly. This is just the speed round because, like I said, like there were so many things I didn't know we were going to get the opportunity to talk to all of you guys again, and I wanted to talk about as much stuff as we possibly could. Um, and yeah, so I, I I thought we could do like a lightning round thing, which is why I asked you in the beginning uh, about each category. Because this is meant to be just like the super of super quick rapid fire, maybe a, a minute, a minute and under. Oh uh, yeah, a okay. minute or under. You have to def defend, and I guess the easier, the best way I could think to do it was to already like pre-pick, you know, two um, characters or stands from each category. Uh, maybe okay. some of them are better pairings than others, mm -hmm. but I'm going to show you all of them, and you'll have to choose or defend why you pick one over the other in a minute. Um, so or less or less so it's just like a speed round kind of rapid fire sort of thing i think we'll start with exports since he's first on the list with drip and and you know after Woo! exports is finished i know willie was was really wanting to hop in on the drip debate too so i want him to be able to fire off after if he wants to no, as well if, i mean it depends on how he does on his you know okay. if i agree <laughs> all right so i think i have them all queued up if i'm if i'm not mistaken let me just switch switch off this screen real quick to make sure Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, where are all of them? Let's see speed rounds. All right, so this is the drip one right here. I, I this was. Let's see. I gotta turn this on. Turn this off. Turn it off. Sorry, I'm narrating everything I'm doing. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, I can't believe Johnny won though in the chat. I was out of fifty-five votes. Yeah, that kind of surprised me too. Um. Okay. Drip, we got this. Where I just, I mean, I thought I organized these screens pretty well, but I guess I didn't <laughs> because for some reason. Oh, here we go. All right. Uh, the first one is drip. So that one is this one. Move this whole thing here. 
Make it a little bit bigger. Dun dun dun! Oh All right, for drip between these two yes, characters, yes, yes, yes. Xforts, yes. your two characters what? are. Do I have to just like defend it in great lengths, or is it just like boom one? A Do I have minute. To pick one? You have a, a minute to defend why okay. one drip okay. is better than okay. the okay. other. Okay. So your two characters are Rohan days. versus oh, Jobin. That's tough, man. That is tough. Whoa. This is like two S tiers. That is two S tiers. Um, and I will start. Because the pressure's on. We want to put the pressure on. I will okay. start okay. the timer of one minute now. Okay, I'm going to have to definitively say Rohan because of the variety in his drips and as well as that he's a mangaka who never really leaves his house. And if you see a lot of images of mangaka, they're usually not the most well-kempt, uh, you know, people. Togashi looking at you, but Rohan like dresses up, gets his hair done, puts on the most mm. fire fit just to write manga all day. And, you know, like literally the crop top, uh -huh. the way that it like reflects like his own personality. Like you look at this dude and you can see the pens, you see what he loves. You see that he's a manga artist. So, and look at this little satchel bag right here. Like the <laughs> yeah. accessories too, the earrings, everything like, okay. Jobin's is fire as well, but Rohan's is just more versatile, more outfits that bites the dust outfit from the manga. It was absolute yes. fire. Dude is absolutely dripped out. There's my argument, Rohan. Woo! Willie, any rebuttal? That's it. Jobin, is that like a like one of those airline pillows that you get? It does like look a, like it's a, like a hoodie it's jacket. A hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> it's an airline yeah. pillow. It kind of does look like an airline pillow. It looks like a neck rest. Yeah. yeah. I can't. He's waiting for his flyer. Right I, I, I did notice that when I was putting this together. I was like, why does it look like one of those pillows? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, no, it's I, a hood. I absolutely agree. Ronan is is I think the drippiest. Uh, the character in all of JoJo's, so it's kind of amazing hard to... take. Amazing yeah, take. even in all of his little like spinoffs, you just see so much of his wardrobe, so and it's all fire. Yeah. For real. Yeah. All right, um, that's the first speed round. The next speed round, let me get these all queued up. Is we have Willie, and Willie was Joe Bros. So let's change that and let's pull up the Joe Bro one. Oh shoot! Which is this one? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my that god! Oh, oh my um, god! <laughs> I think the only reason. Uh, did the timer start? All right, ready? One, two, three. Okay, I I think I'm going gyro. Okay. Simply because <gasps> I'm so glad you chose this picture because he is the hottest in this picture when he has the two different. <laughs> yes. Eyes. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so sexy. So scan sexy. gyro. I do, I do really really appreciate the boob window for Bruno, and I, I want to <laughs> say that even though that I'm discrediting him, I'm not discrediting him. Okay, it's just like an unfair matchup. Um, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to say. I think that that Bruno had Giorno's back for sure, but Gyro yeah. also had Johnny's back. Arguably, I think at equal rates. I know yeah. Bruno went down mm -hmm. for the team. I know mm -hmm. he went down for the team, but so did Gyro at the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The hat is also fire. I'm just resorting to drip at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the hat I know. is absolutely gas. I love the little ventilation because, you know, it gets hot. It's hot uh, up there, dude. The it's hot. The is just so fantastic. Uh, man could grip my balls any day. <laughs> and that's time. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even mention the grills, though. The grills. Oh, the go go's are belly. That is an idea for a tattoo of mine. I want to get like lips and then have the go go zapelli. Whoa, oh, that's, awesome. that's a that good idea. Sick. All right, Linda, Linda, the next Linda, one Linda. is stands, and this one is Chewy. So let me get this up and pull up the stand one. Again, this is the one I had the hardest time with. I had no idea who to pair up against each other. I'm ready to start swinging. But here it goes right <laughs> here. We have Crazy Diamond oh, crap. Yes, yes, Ooh, yes, yes, versus Stone Free. Yes. What is it going to be? Okay. Ready? Oh, one, okay. two, three. Okay, I have to pick Stone Free, although it's a really hard decision because oh. I think Crazy Diamond is also really cool. They're both just like super versatile abilities. What I like about stands is when it has a simple premise or something and that the character uses that to do all sorts of different creative things with it. That, Like, for example, that's why it's an issue with things like Yo-Yo Ma where it's so convoluted and it's just stupid. But with, uh, say, Stone Free and Jolene, she does so much with it throughout the part. She makes Morse code. Uh, makes like a whole anchor. I don't, I'm not even a physics guy. I dropped out of college, by the way. <laughs> but uh, she like makes an anchor during Sea Moon to like yeah. change the weight. Uh, Westwood punches her and he like, she like distributes 
makes his fist go the other way. Uh, Crazy Diamond is, you know, actually no, screw Crazy Diamond. I hate Crazy Diamond. Look at he's got a heart on his head. That's so stupid. Dude, Josuke could have fixed that phone and he just handed it off. He got a new phone. He really, why did he steal from that's that guy? That's Josuke's he fault. That's not Crazy Diamond's and that's, fault. And that's we time. got another, we got another, okay. And that's time. Wow. At the oh, end, it's like, you know what, actually? In one minute, it. found a way to throw Yo-Yo Ma shade. <laughs> shade out of nowhere. Damn. <laughs> and he was about, he had more. Locked and loaded. He's really, he's like, I was, oh, I was, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> the heart goatee, too? Like, uh, I don't know about Ooh. that. No, the heart goatee. No, the hearts are, uh, I love crazy. Diamond. I changed my mind. I didn't see the heart goatee. <laughs> get back. Do it again. Yeah, take it all back. Let me redact everything yeah, I just said. I'm flipping. All right. That brings us to the yeah. villains. Speed round with okay. Kev. I'm please so be Toru. Please be I know Toru. Toru. I know. Toru. I know. Like cars or some shit. How did we I'm not even talk like, about Toru earlier? I, I mean, I, I wanted to go with iconic characters right it's gonna be so easy is it okay. it might be easy it might be easy like okay. i said there's a lot of pressure if kira pops up on screen i'll just say kira and then i won't talk to but <laughs> here, hold on hold on hold on hold on it's it's underneath this one three two these are the true villains one there you go yeah All right, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> because dio is iconic in the same way Jotaro no, no, is here's iconic the here's the thing i was gassing up dio the whole time dio i think is very good he's very compelling but kira is so yeah i know level. i he know is so i shouldn't even start the timer jo- jo- i don't know like i mean i could i could do a more toxic one if you want. okay yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead All right, let me think someone give me a matchup toru has to be involved okay in exports so. <laughs> so toru versus toru diavolo oh okay Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer. <laughs> yeah. One, right. two, three. Okay, so both of these villains are definitely in my lower half, without a doubt. I do not like Toru really that much at all. I think he's rather not compelling. He's only used as one of those, oh look, he was always there the whole time type of characters. When in reality he doesn't have that much urgency in the actual story and narrative weight with our characters. However, he is indisputably one of the most menacing foes the joe stars have ever faced against like without a doubt because of just the ability he has and what he represents for the story i like how he's this sort of antithesis to josuke's character that's pretty awesome but with diavolo again i just think he's rather not that compelling outside of dopio because i think dopio is really great because they're so innocent seeming when they Mm -hmm. have this sort of demonic side to them while toro i do think is rather bleh in comparison (laughs) when it comes to him being very uh bland as a whole with him being just sort of a normal guy mm. i think that with ah, fuck this is so hard all right um, I, three I think I'm gonna have to, two uh, one time i just want i just want to defend my choice a little bit kev because i was thinking about it this and, choice yeah 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 yeah. because oh, we, we we it was right. down between jotaro <laughs> and johnny right and we said all the points you made about jotaro is iconic you know, he, he's such a big... No, and Dio is great I think still. this matchup like, is harder Kira than is he next gave level, it credit man. for. <laughs> because it's like, Kira's yeah, a better character. Like, we were saying easily. Johnny is a better character, but then you got the the, the icon, the mascot, the who one started that you think it all. Of, the one who started it all, yeah. you know? Like, no, no, know. no. This this was a good pick, for sure. But for me, like I, I said, I have a huge part four bias. Yeah, I, do I know. I think that Kira is... It's just like, damn. But I had hey, a feeling. Hey, I had got, a feeling. You did get a, Damn. You did get a toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right. That's it. That's I mean, the, the speed round. That's the speed round. Um, I mean, again, Yay. I would love to to, to talk about uh, JoJo Lands uh, if uh, if you guys have time. I want to be respectful of the time. I know we've been going for like three hours, twenty minutes. So, um, if we have time to do that, that'd be great. If not, then we can maybe do this again sometime. We are free to sit and talk uh, if you guys are able to. But I want to give you. The out, just in case, because I, you know, I, I know, you know, I, I know what it's like to, you know, be in a stream for a long time, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I probably will leave, uh, for spoiler sake. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's true. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, but um, it, this was fantastic. If you ever, if you guys ever wanted to have a have a whole other discussion, like you were saying, I'm, I'm totally down. This is battle great. tendency stream featuring Willie. Yeah, dude, if you want to do a battle, if you want to do a. If you wanna, a speed round where I'm just on the pedestal talking about how great that arc is or that that part is, I'm down. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, well, maybe we could do this then because I I want um Willie if if you do have like a, a few more minutes to spare uh to to do the final segment and then after Willie we can maybe talk about JoJo Lands briefly before everybody else has to head out. But the last thing I wanted to just you know get from all of you guys was what like JoJo means to you because I feel like you know being a part of the One Piece community and talking about One Piece. 
it, it's a great series and there's a lot of love for it. And that, that fan base feels like, uh, like very like loud in a good way, like not in a bad way, but I feel like the, the, the Jojo fan base is smaller, but mighty. And I, and I feel like, I don't know. I, I just, I want to, I feel such a deep love for this series. And, um, you know, I have my own feelings about like what it means to me. I just really want to hear what everybody else, what this story means to everybody else. Cause I do think it's like absolutely incredible. And uh, yeah, I, I would just, I would just love to hear everybody's, um, own, own, uh, feelings about it. So whoever wants to go first, I know it's a lot of pressure. I, I <laughs> maybe we could go in the same order we've been going in. Chewy, would you want to go first? Sure. All right, let me put this on and change it. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. So it, it is a, a a large question. Yeah. But I think what it means the most to me is the connections that I have made with other people and is with the connections I've had with friends. It used to be a series that I say used to because unfortunately they've kind of fallen off of it. But, you know, Back in the day, I remember probably during the part five airing, I remember weekly, you know, it was really fun looking forward to the anime episode every week. And I had a whole group of friends who would also do that. And we would talk about it and we talk about what we think would happen uh, or spoilers or this or that memes, whatever. It was just, I don't know. It was an experience going through it weekly, especially with friends and to people. Cause I think that's the greatest strength of having a weekly series versus binging is that yeah. you have time to like talk about it with people. You have time to discuss theories, time to discuss everything that's happened. And I think you lose that when it becomes something you binge. Uh, that's why the bear and failed. so it's a very social series for me. It's yeah. something that's a lot of fun to talk about with other people. You know, I wouldn't be here talking for three hours about it. Like I have been. Yeah. If it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Willie, what about you? Uh, I just like to say I'm so sorry for interrupting uh, with <laughs> a stupid joke. Um, uh, I don't know. I think I think JoJo a lot to me. I mean, I, I feel like I came in really late. Like I wasn't even uh, like part five had finished before like airing uh, the anime before I even got into it. Uh, the first one that I watched uh it wasn't week to week, but it was part six because it just came out in like a batch. Um, but I think my favorite thing about JoJo's uh, and like kind of why I resonate so much with it is because it feels so different than like every other series. I think that uh, you guys have done uh, a much better job than me of reading into what uh, uh, Araki is trying to say with a lot of these characters. Uh, I see it as like a very baseline, uh, just funny kind of thing. Um, but also I think, uh, another thing that like, I don't know, made me love the series so much. And it's kind of like a love hate relationship is that, uh, it's the series that like allowed me to, to like express myself through YouTube videos. Cause mm -hmm. like, I've always wanted to be like doing YouTube since I was a kid, but I never really had that thing that like, like I switched around what I did on my channel for a long time, but, uh, I don't know, especially like those first, uh, I think it was when the second batch of part six was airing was when my channel started to do like a lot better. And like just the fan base of, of how passionate they were about like the stupidest videos that I would make about like the drip level of characters <laughs> uh, was, was just really great. Yeah. Um, and I think that like, I think it represents also a, a time in my life, like a, like a, almost like a chapter in my life that I, that I don't think I'll like ever forget. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, dude. I mean, I, 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 I feel like Jojo does lend, lend itself to, to that. Um, you know, like the content creation side of it, I think you being able to express yourself through this series is something that I think resonates with us too, because we, you know, we started doing all the cosplays and stuff and we, we, you know, we did it when we went through one piece and we did it when we went through, you know, Jojo, but it like, it lent oh, itself yeah. to, to that. Like you it, put that on. I, I have that. I'll show that later. I put together. That all was the something we that we going into Jojo, I was like, oh my God, the cosplay potential is going to yeah. be absolutely <laughs> yeah. insane. And uh, you recently did, cause we hadn't done any cosplays at like a con and you did gyro. 
And ev- the love for Gyro is absolutely oh. insane because Josh was like, I don't know if anyone's going to recognize me because it's, you know, not an anime. And I was like, they're going to love it. Trust me. And everyone's like, oh, my God, Gyro. And just everyone's love for the series is just so amazing to see not only online, but also, you know, just in on, on the in, on, uh, in in real life. Yeah. So everybody watching the stream right now should be able to see like all of the cosplay that we did. I think it's a total of 15. Um, we were saying that if you wanted, like, just in the chat, put a number. What's your favorite one? Um, then you could do that. That'd be kind of fun. But I do, I do, you know, like, I don't know. I do think that that's what I love about it too. It, it, is that it does feel so incredibly unique, and it is just so fun. But it's also like profound and deep, and and yeah, it's it's everything. I I, I yeah, I think that's a great answer. Yeah. Um, Exports. What about you? Uh, in the same vein as Willie, like. It's definitely been a huge part of my life outside of just enjoyment and learning from the series in terms of content creation. Um, And I do like think back into my life in chapters, almost like the seasons of the anime where part three, I was at this point in my life doing this part four, I was here, part five, I was living here, part six, I was here. And I can think back to the kind of person was and the way I thought. And it's just, Jojo's just been in, I'm incredibly thankful for like, it existing and being able to use it as sort of like a creative outlet, basing everything in terms of uh, you know literary analysis and writing and putting so much effort into like videos and the YouTube channel and everything. So I'm incredibly thankful that the series exists and, and resonates with me so much that it's been, it's allowed me to do things with my life. I never thought I would be able to do in terms of like uh, um, just like on a day-to-day basis, essentially. And I mean, JoJo as a whole, I I do resonate a lot with its messages of expression and importance of individuality. And I really do feel like the series has changed me as a person for the better. And I always always like the idea that I sort of matured along with the series as well. So, you know, I was like in college early years, maybe like 19 when I first got into it, um, reading through those goofy parts of like part three and four and, you know, enjoying my Zawardo like meme era and everything like that. <laughs> but, you know, after like growing up, like I, the series has grown up with me. It's gone into more mature themes and reading Jojo Land is like, a, it, it feels like a manga made for me almost essentially. That, that's how I feel about Jojo Land. Um, and yeah, I'm just really thankful for the series and uh, I don't know what my life would be like without it. And it, it's also just helped me sort of in everyday life, sort of expressing more like creative muscles, essentially, like being so invested in the world of Jojo. I really feel like it's kind of like liberated my mind from the mundane, essentially being able to go on walks or go somewhere and think of the world in these different ways beyond mm-hmm. just sort of the rational mind or the meaning. Like you wonder how a Rocky sort of comes up with all these crazy ideas for stands of being like, what if a can of shaving cream could spray flesh mm. or something like that? And like, I find myself so much just like seeing the world and thinking like, that'd be a cool stand or like, oh, how does that work? Or like, you know, what's beyond like the the truth of the world. So uh, I feel like it's also opened up the world in that sense of uh, sort of having more like a surreal take and I don't know, just experiencing things differently. So that's Jojo to me. Yeah. I mean, that was amazing, dude. Yeah. Uh, Kev, what about you? Well, for me, I first heard of JoJo, as I said earlier, with uh, the part four anime. I saw the art style and immediately I was just hooked because I was like, wow, this is so unique. This is so different. Like, I've never seen anything like this. And this is supposedly like and back in the back in the day. Uh, I wasn't like an <laughs> anime person at all. I was just like, I don't really know what I did. I think I read like comic books at that time. Yeah, yeah, because my one friend was trying to get me into like DC and crap like that. So I really didn't know like anything about this stuff, but I saw it and I was like, oh, this is so cool. What is this? And that sort of led me down this rabbit hole of finding about a bunch of other stuff and other stuff, you know, and it was it was just cool because not only was the series actually good, uh, it looked good and the music was good and the story was compelling, but like it allowed me to meet so many new people and like learn about so many new things and like just find this way of storytelling that I've never really seen before that I just thought was cool and like interesting. So I always like appreciate it a ton for that, even though I'm not going to say it's like my top one, like, because it it just isn't, it's just great. It's one of my favorite things ever, but I'm never going to say it's the greatest thing ever for me. You know, I'm just, I'm not going to be like, Oh my, uh, like glazing or whatever, but it's great regardless. You know, the story is incredibly compelling. There's always something new around the corner. I feel with Jojo, whether it's the genre itself completely changing or the fights always being like the sense of mystery 
or the characters going through all these wacky situations, you know, stuff like that. At the end of the day, even though there's all this like bizarre stuff that happens, it's a, uh, in my opinion, a very emotionally driven series with a lot of characters trying to go on these, these journeys that either have immense character growth or overcoming these struggles. And I think it's really cool how they're able to get all this very serious seeming stuff out of uh, like what export said, like, Oh, look, it's a, sh- shaving cream can like yeah. stuff like that it's just it's yeah. fun how it's able to have that dichotomy between the serious nature of everything versus the insanity of everything and i think it's cool and it allows us to view the world which can be seen as like insane and crazy even though it's so mundane to us you know it allows us to see how insane the world really can be through things like this and i think it's really really cool hell yeah dude megan Oh gosh. I'm <laughs> um, I would say to me, I had talked about it previously on the channel and I was solely a uh, slice of life person for a very long time. Anime wise, uh, I didn't really touch Shonen at all. Um, so I had heard about Jojo. I had seen Jojo. I'd seen more of like golden wind stuff. I like when I thought of Jojo, I thought of that, which is kind of crazy to think about reading everything now. Mm-hmm. Um, and what we were talking about part three and everything. Um, and we came late later than most people um you know not being monthly readers just now and i just think of how much it inspires creativity i think that the story is something that like i it just could never be replicated it is so unique and so entertaining and when i found out that you know, oh, it's like the same lineage of family, just different characters that I was head over heels. That's when the moment I knew I was like, this is going to be different. Mm. This is going to be epic. Um, And yeah, I just I just think of when I think Jojo, I think of just like the peak of creativity within the the, in in manga in general, like this is the this is the creme de la creme of um, the, you know, such absurdity and um, emotion um and sacrifice and friendship and um everything in between and i think for me it just kind of obviously goes back into the channel and has a special place in my heart because of you know the cosplays that we've done and the people that we've met in the community um and it inspires me to be more creative yeah. And, 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 you know, in my style and in yeah, my, real, my in my confidence. Um, and yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, and I guess I'll, I'll go really quickly. I mean, for me, it, it is, um, like the creativity part of it. Like, I feel like what's so unique about Jojo too is, is I feel like Iraqi and how he writes Jojo, it, it's like the most insight into like a, a writer's creative process like i feel like we're really there with him watching him grow and seeing him grow like in a, in a way that like i feel like you don't you don't normally get to see to this degree in like other forms of writing or in other stories or other manga like I, it makes me like so much more endeared to him and each part that comes out like seeing like him flex these new muscles that he's like developed and being there from you know the beginning even though like we're like you said we're newer to it I mean, that that's what is inspiring about it. That's what makes me want to be more creative because it's not like he's um, like 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 uh, exports was saying like in the beginning, you know, he's a human being and he's trying things. He's experimenting with things and he's really like throwing everything at the wall. Sometimes sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But to see him really like just that vulnerable, throwing everything and then taking the things that work and honing them and 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 making them like better for the next part. That's the creative process. Like you're seeing it. And, and, and that's inspiring. Like you said, like the people that we've met talking to you guys and, and how it can be funny and, and, and how it can be profound. I'm bad at quotes. I'll never remember a quote in my life. <laughs> I, I, but, but there was a quote, like a YouTube comment on somebody else's video that I saw. I'm like, it's like a Rocky is like, he's, uh, he's like giving divinity to like, not nature. Like he's like cellular to physics or something like that. Like, I don't know. Wow. Dude. You always do that where you <laughs> say I'm bad. terrible at quotes and then you 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 proceed to like completely thrash it. I shouldn't say, even say it, yeah, that, honestly. You do it every time. But, it's uh, the charm. But uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. Like these concepts too, because it can be silly and the memes and everything is so fun, but it can be so profound. And and everything that he's talking about, the concepts of like flow and the concepts of like, I mean, even like um, uh, uh, like uh, with through these stands, like wonder of you, 
I mean, it, it, it is, uh, it, there's nothing like it. It is one of a kind. And uh, yeah, I, I just feel like, I, I feel like it should be, I do feel like the community compared to other series is smaller. And I do feel like it should be like way bigger than it is. And sometimes it kind of trips me out that like we were talking about the public publication of it and how it's not like more available because it is such an incredible series that I feel like everybody should, should read. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It, it, it's like, yeah, it's definitely like one of the greats, my top three. I'm obsessed. I love it. Yeah. It just means the world to me because of everything um, that you guys said. And and yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Go off, Josh. Uh, but thank you guys. I mean, again, if you guys want to hang out and talk about Joe Designs briefly, I would love that. I know, Willie, um, we don't want to spoil you or if anybody else <laughs> needs needs to, to go for whatever reason. Totally understandable. Um, but I do want to just thank everybody. We yeah, both want to thank everybody for so taking the time fun. to be here. This has been great. You guys are fucking awesome, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for hosting. You guys are incredible. Yeah, for real. This is the first time we've done anything like this. So I had all these things queued up. I was, yeah. I, was like, I was trying to make sure I was hitting everything at the right time. No, this this has been incredible. Kev, when last time we talked in the charity stream for the Hawaii fires, you talked about that we should do like a jet, like a Jojo reverie. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, I, I feel like, I feel like this is the closest we've come to it. It's been like yeah. so much fun. Like li quickest three hours of my mm -hmm. life, man. Wow. Thank yeah. you, dude. I feel like, and again, I thought of a name too. We call it the roundabout the round instead of the reverend. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and we got to like anytime. I mean, obviously we'd love to talk to you guys in any like form on our channel again. If, if, if ever the opportunity uh, arises for us to go on your channels to talk about anything, we're always open to that and would love to do that too. Like talking to you guys has been amazing. Like you guys are great. Thank um, you. But yeah, I mean, we can get into some Jojo Land stuff again. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm um, down to clown on Jojo Land if you want. Dirty but laundry just... to air. Oh yeah, that's what I need to hear. Yeah. Josh, I need to hear. I, I'm telling you, Josh, we're gonna be here until midnight. So you have to set a time <laughs> and stop us, yeah. okay? There's you just, have to just wait. We we're gonna do the one kiss is all it takes. Like <laughs> one kiss is all it takes. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, well, when I finish the series, I will go back yes. and watch this. Sure. Uh, I'm sure and then you'll still say part two is peak because that's like in, <laughs> yeah, your, bowl, in your soul, yes. you know? Because like, yeah. yeah. well, I mean, that's just a fact. It's I just think factual. If anyone had taste here, but thank you, dude. Willie, thank you thank for you real, man. Thank you so much. It was nice yeah, talking to you, Willie. Well, thank you. Yeah, it was yeah, nice sure. meeting all of you. And same uh, invitation if you guys ever want to do anything uh, or be on my channel or go on, you know, I'm, I'm open for all of it. So hell yeah. Awesome. Seriously, thank you for coming here. I think it's really amazing what you guys put together. Thank, thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have yeah. a good day. Thank you. Have a good JoJo day. <laughs> <laughs> I will. All right. Thank you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. All right. Hopefully we'll talk to you soon, man. Take care. Over. Yeah, for sure. See ya. Bye. Oh, sorry, that I might have to. I might have to change. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I might have to change this again. Oh, yeah. oh God. But, here, I'll fix this really quick, and then we can get into it. Um, but JoJo lands, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, we talk about it every time, and every time we start a new part, it feels like it ramps up to be. For me, like, I'm like, this is going to be the best part. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I just get so excited when I start reading a new JoJo because each part just elevates on itself, I feel. Um, but what did you guys, what yeah, do you I guys think? Hear Chewy, I, I need mean, to hear Chewie's Chewy, dirty laundry yeah. that he needs to air out. Oh, it's a whole, I don't even know. There, there's a whole saga. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Every single month has been a roller coaster. Why? Holy shit. Because <laughs> I've had whiplash. <laughs> from some the... some amazing chapters and some chapters that uh, I just I loathe. What? Oh wow! Loathe. 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 Jesus! <laughs> go off. I mean, what? what so what, what elaborate? You... All right, yeah, let's yeah. let's let's go back to the beginning. All right, before the part even started. Okay. Do you? Does anyone remember the first leaks that were coming out a few days before the chapter came out? People on Twitter were going, "We're like, guys, you will not believe what this JoJo's name is." Holy moly. Oh and my every... god, I do remember hearing them, but I didn't see them. I don't I'm think we I saw did. them. No, we, we didn't were trying want to, to get avoid, spoiled. Yeah, we were trying to avoid all of it. Yeah, but I think Jodio is the goofiest name I have ever heard. Oh! oh. Jo Jodio. No, okay. Dio, I don't, jo just just dude, just hear it. Hear it in your Let me let me like give you some ASMR real quick. Dio 
Joe Star. Like, come on, you're telling me that doesn't go holy hard. Like, if you just hear God. that, it doesn't go hard. What it goes hard. Holy moly. Okay, no, I don't actually. <laughs> so the problem started. The first two chapters were really good. My favorite opening chapters of any part is part eight. I think that's like had the best hook for me. Mm. And part uh, chapters one and two were making me think, okay, this is probably going to trump part eight. All right. I was so I did streams. Uh, discussion streams after the every chapter and i'm oh man th those are great those were the days back when i was so hopeful and ready when we heard there's gonna be a mysterious man in the villa so many theories it, it was, was so funny. great to talk about i or, oh it's gonna be joshu it's gonna be josuke it's gonna be <laughs> you were it's literally gonna be all flashback the man land. it was gonna be all my, so much I, I remember the flashback man theory too and i remember you, such a huge had anyone seen that edit someone made of uh joshu and rohan's place oh, i have it saved i have it saved. i could just i saw that Josh, leak joshu before the chapter where rohan was revealed uh, like uh i saw that leak before i read it and so i went to that chapter with the highest expectations i was so excited because i wanted a part eight tie-in so badly and just yeah. it is so funny the idea that i'm being <laughs> i gotta hang up someone's calling me uh i was so excited <laughs> that, that was a rocky the dude <laughs> he's the Rocky's upset. like stop he's pissed why are you leaking the joshu lens right now <laughs> the idea of joshu this like complete loser through all of part eight somehow becoming this successful businessman who owns a villa in hawaii with an expensive diamond was so funny and hilarious to me and when i turned that page and saw rohan kashibe <laughs> i i turned off like my computer and i went for a walk i just had to like clear my head <laughs> and I remember that stream where I opened up that stream to talk about that chapter. I was just beaten. Oh. I was just beaten that whole stream. And so the chapters after that weren't a huge fan either, but I'd already swallowed the Rohan pill. So it wasn't that bad. Okay. You weren't but carrying the, that uh, still on oh, your back. Did, did the watch Actually, that's chapter not true. win you back? Because I think that was a great chapter. I was, I had hope. I had hope. I was holding on to the theory that it wasn't actually Rohan. Oh it was God. Sarugi who oh my, grew up oh not the Sarugi theory. and took the name of Rohan and the, he's going to have some like weird it's a pseudonym. Yeah. Uh, what is his name? The Paper Moon King yeah. shenanigans going on. And so it was like a second knife in the back when I saw Heaven's Door come out. <laughs> It was just, I was just getting beaten down and beaten down. It's insane the the difference in reaction to to your reaction versus like Josh's reaction. We we're like reading it um, at this table, and Josh was just like, "Oh my god, it's Rohan Kashibe!" Yeah, I was so, I was stoked, dude. I was so I was bricked up, dude. The, <laughs> the return of the king. The return of the yeah, king. for real. <laughs> and then there was. Uh, I, I just jungle sent the, warfare uh, picture. I sent the picture to you guys on Discord. By the oh, way. let me see. Oh what god. Thought. Jungle Warfare, I, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy mid fuck, mid fight. Joshu Lance. <laughs> Jungle Bro, Warfare, was... I didn't hate it. It was a mid fight. Basically, we're, I'm so glad. Actually, the Jojo Lance fans should be glad that this stream is happening after the last chapter because the last chapter brought me back. It gave me hope again. Okay, it was just silly. <laughs> it was fun. I, I, would I don't say, know. I would say it was one of my favorite chapters so far. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I would be. <laughs> this would end on a much worse note if, if this stream was before that chapter came out. But at least I have hope again. I'm coming back. <laughs> so was okay. it that chapter it, was it that just you had your expectations set on it being someone from part eight? Because I still think that it's so early that there could still be a part eight tie-in. Or was it that, like what x was talking about earlier, that it was just not an alternate reality version of a character, that it was just a character straight up? Yeah, I think that's just stupid. Right. Yeah. I, I just think that's kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah. well, it's I'm like, like to do that's everything disappointing. In part six, and just be like, but I, it's like, it's like a, it's like a Jar Jar Bink situation. Whoa. It also just overcomplicates wow. things now, Whoa. and now people are probably gonna get even more confused because people already don't really understand the whole like difference between the OG universe, right? The that's yeah. post yeah. Made in Heaven universe yeah. and the new universe, and now it's getting even more mucky. Well, I say I Jar Jar Rocky, Binks. Rocky's like, never really cared if the reader understands or not. So, like, <laughs> to be like, fair, be yeah. Confused. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. That's, yeah, completely true. But I love Dragona, though. Dragona awakened something inside me. Yeah, Dragona. Oh, Dragona Peak. Yeah. I love Dragona. And we finally got, I mean, that was something that was huge for us, too. 
um, because I think maybe it was Kev we were talking to. Megan has always been saying that she wanted twin Joe stars. Yeah, and we didn't get twins, yeah. but we got siblings, and that's just—I mean—that's something I think a lot of us have been wanting for a long time. Like that was really cool to see. Yeah, um, and the, the Joe Bros was too. always. If the for the twins, the theory was always that they would be like a brother sister or something. It'd be and they both have Joe names, so like together they're JoJo. But ah. if you're going to Jodeo, I'll take yeah. it. I'll take it. They're yeah. not twins, but siblings, I'll take it. Did you guys hear the theory that Emporio was gonna be the protagonist of part nine? That would be crazy. I heard that quite a bit before part nine started. I don't know who started it. Bro, I would have yeah. been that, that I would have came been. from one of those you know the people that like uh re upload Iraqi interviews with fake subtitles. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah, know those existed. Uh, those yeah, what those the hell? those exist and like a lot of it is really shitty where it's like anti LGBT yeah. or just like actually just like detrimental things that like presenting it as a Rocky saying it. And one Jesus. of the one of the ones that someone made was like it was made in a way where you couldn't tell if it was real or not. So like it, it kind of looked like a Rocky might be saying this, it kind of not. And the fake subtitle said, yes, I'm already working on part nine and Porio is going to be the protagonist. So people saw that fake interview. And for I'm sure you've noticed for like three years, people have been like, oh, Emporio is going to be the protagonist. He already said it. He already said it. He already said it. Obviously, it wasn't. So that was just one of like the nasty misinformation things surrounding. I mean, but that's where, that's where that that's where that stems from. Do you think it's going to be a situation? I mean, because I, I feel like um, Jojolion was the first time that an antagonist got introduced so late into the game. Like the quote unquote, right, main an antagonist. But do you mm -hmm. think that we're going to get an introduction to this part's antagonist super early? If there's anything I've learned from Still reading Jojo Monthly um, is to <sighs> shut up about the main villain. <laughs> because when reading Jojolion Monthly, it was like... Okay, he's the. This is the main villain. Jobin now. is the main villain. <laughs> okay, he's not the Kato main villain, but this is the main villain yeah. now. This is the main villain. So I found that the community in general got so hyper focused and tunnel visioned on is this the main villain? Who's the main villain that we weren't really able to enjoy what the story was doing? So at least in my perspective, I am avoiding villain discussion as much as possible, right. especially on chapter eight. So um, if he's in, if they're introduced halfway through. Maybe a little bit towards later. Maybe it's Rohan. Who knows? Maybe he's the final villain. I would maybe, not know maybe, what I would do if that's the maybe, case. Maybe Rohan comes back <laughs> in chapter that. 90 and he's like, Jodio, you've grown so much, but I've come to take Bro. the diamond back in the lava rock. So yeah. it's uh, like Shanks. Nah, yeah, like for real. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my God. Anyway, I can't, can't uh, get into that. I can't get into that. But yeah, yeah I am. I, I, yeah, I mean, we just can't. Uh, we, we put it in perspective, right? And I like put well, it in perspective how long we're going to be reading this part for. Um, and it is just absolutely insane. I'm going to be yeah, when did you, in my 30s when this wraps up. <laughs> when did you guys all catch up? Because x Force, you said you caught up. Like, JoJolian was the first part you got to read week uh, monthly. Mm -hmm. um, what about Kev and, and Chewy? What, yeah. what was it for you? Like, when did you start reading monthly? Um, um, I'll show you, you go first. I think I, I'm, I'm not entirely confident on the timeline because I wasn't really keeping up with what the newest thing out is. Uh, when Jojolian ended in what was it, twenty twenty? Yep, August twenty twenty one. I might, I might have been reading Jojolian then, but I wasn't caught up to, uh, because I I never had to wait for a chapter. Okay. I just read straight okay. through to the end. Okay. I think it was during that, but I was just like I probably picked it up near the end, right, of Jojolian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I mean, it ended before I could. Definitely, definitely chewy after hearing like your frustrations with the part and now hearing that you haven't read Jojo monthly before. Yeah. Str strap I in. It. I mean, that's I I, that's all I could say. Like, I mean, I remember reading monthly. Imagine six months of your life being Blue Hawaii or seven months Jesus being Christ. Urban Guerrilla. And there was, so, like a, there was a hiatus in Blue Hawaii as well. I hiatus in Blue Yeah. So it was oh a, nearly over, over half a year of Blue Hawaii. So like you know, definitely don't judge the part based on what's been happening in the past like three months. You just definitely have to take a step back and just like not judge the part based on the newest chapter or the last yeah. chapter. You just really got to exercise patience with the monthly release and just let a Rocky cook. I mm. mean, that's like the best advice I could give for people reading monthly now. Like there's going to okay. be arcs that you don't enjoy or that you feel are slow, but like it's complete like. I said so many people dislike Blue Hawaii when it was coming out monthly, but I can imagine if I was not if I was binging and I read Blue Hawaii in the span of forty five minutes, I'd be like, all right, cool, zombie stand, moving on. Yeah, I didn't like, have a problem with it. Yeah. yeah. 
So I mean, some Blue Eye was like Megan's favorite. Driving. Yeah, literally, it was yeah. my favorite. I think maybe that's a hot take. I don't know. But binging um, it was different. Binging but binging it was, it, was, it was way different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was yeah. so fast. I mean, we were reading thirty-five plus chapters for in like a, the span of like two days. Two days, mm-hmm. just yeah. going, 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 and it's like you know, JoJo's hefty. Um, that's so those like, chapters sure. are pretty hefty. So we were like, you know, just like tunnel vision, all JoJo. Um, and now it's going to be completely different because, you know, One Piece is usually weekly. Um, we just became weekly readers for that as well in the past couple months. So this is going to just like, it's going to, uh, we're in for the long haul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah, it's just different. It's so, it's so different because, you know, you're getting so much more, but I, I, I would argue that it's harder to predict JoJo than like anything. So hard. anything yeah. Else. Yeah. Yeah. Literally at chapter 100 and six of Jojolian when Kato returns. I, the, all the discussion was Kato's the real main villain. Main we've villain. we've yeah. like main but villain. not being able to recognize that we literally have been experiencing Wonder of You for three years now. <laughs> like That's so wow. like huffing the copium being like who's the real <laughs> villain? <laughs> I think I think um Something that's just crazy to think about. I had this, I don't know if you saw on my camera. I was like doing like mental gymnastics. <laughs> you guys literally read like three years of JoJo in two days. Like imagine like having to wait chapter chapter. I was just like, holy shit. I know Being that's a JoJo like, stand is it. like dedication. Like you gotta, yeah. Oh, yeah. you have to have patience. Like you have to be yeah. a very and patient person. I, I, yeah, I feel person. that's true too with like I was saying the publication and the anime being so yes. far behind too. Like I mean anime is always far behind manga but with I mean not being able to buy physical copies and official merch and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean you're always you're always You're just grateful. You're just oh, grateful. G- g- oh, thank you. Thank you. Which I'll is, back yeah, out now. Which is why I was saying, I don't know why. I don't know. It just isn't as, as I feel like it's not as big as it deserves to be like in, in the West or it's just a, a, everywhere outside of Japan. You know what I mean? Um, it's just. Mm-hmm. Well, because they see it so kind of not like completely surface level. But when I wasn't in Jojo, when I didn't know anything about it, it just looked like I couldn't even tell you what it looked like. It looked insane. I well, did you were not on the outside under, looking in. On the outside looking in, I was like, "What even is this show about? It is so confusing. The characters look absolutely insane. I just had no real like, I, I had no con- con- like concept of what it was about. But yeah. then actually going into it, you know, trying to get someone into it, just saying, "Trust me, just trust mm-hmm. me." Yeah. Um, and telling people like, part three for me is what really elevated it. When stands get introduced, like that's when it gets really good. Personally, you could like one or two, but yeah. you know to each his own um but just to stick with it and that's like probably the hardest part and it is easier sell um for people to watch the anime and you know read manga but i mean i just say just keep just keep going just stop a run stop a run just Just, just, yeah power power through all of it because it's gonna get it's gonna get to a point where it's so incredible that you can't stop but even then it's just all good you just yeah. learn to love it so yeah. much. Appreciation. Uh, I, I, about Jojo Lance too. I want to. I want to ask you guys about like how do you guys feel about the mechanism concept that we're being introduced to mm. really early on? Uh, um, you know, with every cool. other main thing we've had. What's it's your like, like understanding of it right now? It's to me, it's like same old, same old with uh, flow. It's mm-hmm. just another rebranding of it. I kind of like the idea of out of mechanisms. It's a cooler concept than flow even though they kind of mean the same thing to me i don't know i like the idea of everything is part of a much greater mechanism and everything is working inside of a mechanism i think that's a cooler way to describe the flow of luck or the flow of definitely fate i get that sentiment as well where if you remember during the mechanism monologue in chapter one when Jodio is talking about mechanisms, what we're actually seeing are plants growing, volcanoes erupting, and the shores of waves washing away. And so, you know, the flow was explored in part seven, where it's here's the positive flow that the Holy Corpse controls. There's positive flow and there's negative flow, and boom, that's luck. That's what makes up fate. That one makes up reality. Why do bad things happen to good people? Because the flow exists. Everyone encounters an equal amount of positive and negative energy, uh, which is a very like linear way of ex- explaining that. And JoJo has always been about looking at the way things work, like the spin, for example, with the yeah. whole Fibonacci sequence. Like the spin in itself is a mechanism which creates this energy. And Wonder of You is the mechanism of, of calamity and how these abstract ideas actually function. So mm-hmm. at least to me, what mechanism means is that it's the cogs turning 
the invisible cogs turning that actually produce the positive and negative flow that Jodio will use or develop in some way that will lead to him becoming filthy rich. Yeah. Uh, another way to think of it is that like it could be multiple intersections of that flow coming together. Like Norisuke's whole monologue about the flow when he was showing Josuke the fruit parlor. So he's like, here's my fruit parlor. And there's a flow here where we're in this location by the train station. So people come out of the train and mm. they do their shopping. And when they could get out of shopping, they look for some food and they say, oh, there's a nice fruit parlor. It has a second story so they can eat their fruit in the second floor and they can look out on the scenery. And all of those things are part of a system that create this positive flow. So with Jodio, it's not just going to be one thing. It's not just going to be good luck that makes him filthy rich, but a mechanism of multiple like intersecting positive yeah. flows that create that like moving machine. Because when I when I hear mechanism, I literally just think of three cogs moving or That's something exactly. yeah. something yeah. being created. So there definitely needs to be more than that than just like, oh, positive flow, good luck. But yeah, because like still, you're saying it's almost like early. it's almost like the mechanism, if it if the mechanism of is a machine, then the gears spinning is like the flow but the entire thing is the mechanism yeah. you know and and the way it showed it to us too like volcanoes erupting what produces that there's a mechanism behind that that has to do with earth what causes tides there's a mechanism with the earth and the moon and all those things working together and you know photosynthesis and plants there's these natural mechanism like a mechanism doesn't just need to be a machine created by man mm -hmm. there's tons of these natural processes the way the human body works the way that the mind works it's all these natural mechanisms machines essentially yeah yeah, I guess that's what's what's, what's going. Who who fucking knows though? I don't know. <laughs> After everything, what about you, Kev? I, I love I love that analysis, and my mine is like kind of similar, but I don't know if it's like like you know exactly one to one. When you're talking about the mechanism, you said like the cogs are the mechanisms, but I think it's more so like the machine itself. Like he has to create a new well, thing itself. Yeah, like you mechanism I mean? in nature means multiple things moving to create one result. Is yeah, what yeah. I was getting at. Yeah, and I think the the setting is so intentional um, oh, yeah. and i've said this ever since the beginning of the story because hawaii obviously it's a set of islands that are constantly having active volcanoes they're growing constantly they're changing constantly just like people just like you know like the world itself is changing and i feel like that's very intentional but hawaii also has this immense like wealth disparity where the poorest of the poor are the people who were there first but then people came in who were mm. rich and then took over pretty much and i feel like that's definitely intentional with jodeo being poor as hell and the whole point is him trying to get rich i feel like there's definitely going to be some commentary on that yeah and we know iraqi's no stranger to commenting on real life stuff i mean no the last entire part was big pharma like literally like there's definitely going to yeah. be some real world talk of this without yeah. a doubt well and it's so, and it's current like it's it's yeah happening mm -hmm. right now like in the first chapter, they were like, "Don't cough on me. You might give me COVID." COVID. Was that like, was Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah do a leap. <laughs> and and some people might look at that and be like, "Oh, why? Why is it set in modern day when really every single JoJo part has been has contemporary?" Been yeah. Well, except for like Still Will Run, like you know what I mean. Yeah, the but, back yeah. ones. Yeah. Uh, um, my my crazy theory though, how you related it to like real life, how it's like the redistribution of wealth in Hawaii and the disparity there and the relation to filthy rich. So like the way I've always been able to sort of make sense of Iraqi's writing is that it's mm. all based on his life experience, essentially. You know, he, he believes good ideas come from life experience. And it's like definitely not a coincidence that since Joe Jolien started back in 2011, Iraqi has always been like a very successful manga artist. So financially well off. But now he's creating this story about Jodio becoming filthy rich when during Jojolian was when the Jojo anime came out. It boomed in popularity. So Araki definitely caught a bag in the last oh, like yeah. 10 years. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is Araki writing about what it's like to reach a high financial status or something Ooh. like that. Or maybe mm. just getting a lot of money made him interested in the idea of like, like maybe Araki's thinking like, how did I, how did I get this much wealth? I'm a successful manga artist and now I have this great fortune. How did this happen? Maybe it's because mm. I did this manga, I did this, I did all these things that were the mechanism that led to becoming right. filthy rich and maybe yeah. exploring that idea through Jodeo of being I like, think... I didn't really set out to intentionally become rich, but because of these different positive things I did, it just sort of resulted in that way. So yeah, and I like that. Life that. Experience. I, I love that too. Okay. And like what for a story, how, um, you know, obviously Jodeo is definitely more mature than his years um, because of whatever, you know, what he's involved with. But I think it is just like so crazy to think. I mean, imagine being a 15 year old kid 
and stumbling across a fortune. Like what does a 15 year old do with that? How do they, how do they operate? What, what, you know, what are the, uh, what are the things that are most important to them in life? Is it going to be, you know, distributing that wealth, keeping it to themselves? I mean, the list goes on and on. So I just think that's how that's going to affect his relationships with, with other, other people in general and the people closest to him and people that want to get close to him because of that. Like, it's just, he's just a kid. Um, because I'll say that like, yeah, how it's going to affect the dynamic that, that, that those riches, I guess, um, is, is most interesting to me. There's some, there's some Joe bros that I, I mean, first of all, I think this whole group of Joe bros is fucking solid, dude. Um, yeah, all of them. I, I would kind of say that like, okay, do you guys have a favorite right now? Yes. Paco, Paco, Paco Love Lantis. Yeah, Paco. absolutely. Josh, the shit. You think, <laughs> didn't you say that you think he's like a rock human? Well, I heard other people speculating uh, on, a rock on, human Paco. on uh, no. Twitter. I saw that people were saying like, you know, he has, there's, first of all, there's the line of dialogue where he talks about like, being like chiseled like a rock. He's guy. chiseled like a rock. Um, and it goes, it goes away. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, there's he disappeared from school. He was yeah. hibernating. But he, does it hold any weight? What do you, do you think I mean, do you think it's just, there yeah. was one thing where it showed like he had like an injury on his ear. Yes. It was like, yeah, apparently he got like abused or beat up or something. But like literally it's like you just broke a piece off of a yeah. statue. Like yeah. It's just like it's not healed. It's just a rip. What's the likelihood? Is it does it seem like it's too obvious? I, like is or is it not? The way I interpret it in chapter one is that like it will never be explained or it, I, it will <laughs> never be a plot point that Rocky's like, yeah, this is a rock human. It's probably just him like saying like yeah that'd be interesting just kind of like messing classic with iraqi a that would be yeah. interesting if that were the case <laughs> just introducing something that has the potential and not yeah. elaborating like miki taka is he is he an alien or is yeah. 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 yeah but he's but definitely an alien definitely 100 yeah. percent. definitely 100%. yeah no he's thousands. gonna be the next person to come back from the old universe <gasps> oh i would dude. love gonna that. come back with his mothership hell yeah <laughs> hey i mean I, another current event that just happened mexico and the aliens uh, iraqi's oh. gonna tie it in could cook off that one those are rocky I, I gotta say dude um, <laughs> they we, are rocky sure. we uh, <laughs> recorded our review on on the first eight chapters and at, like right after reading it in terms of like favorite Joe bro, I mean Usagi is his name, right? Yeah, you love yeah, Us- yeah. Bro, you know. love bro, Usagi. Bro, he came all the way around for me. I thought when he was first <laughs> introduced that he was going to be so annoying. I thought he was going to be this comedic relief character, but he's actually like making plans. He's like, and and they're like, he's oh, yeah. the one that's trying to like encouraging them to test out the lava rock and like what it can do uh i like him dude and know. he's got a little yeah. diavolo in him too you know what i mean he's got a little dopio in him you know what i mean he's he's cool man i like him i don't i we're... love that so oh sorry Megan. oh sorry go. yeah we were talking about how i don't know iraqi might be more open to now someone like betraying the joe bros and i think it might be him oh yeah maybe i don't know i just get that's just... a that's a huge thing because, again, the Jodio Giorno parallel, especially. So, a lot of people are speculating he could do that. I think mm-hmm. the idea is pretty interesting. I think it would be cool if Iraqi followed through with an idea that he wanted to do a long time ago, but couldn't do to, like, you know, he's going through mental health stuff. Yeah. But, you know, this could show that, you know, he's in a better place now that he's able to finally do what he wanted to do. Yeah. Um, that's kind so of I think the, be cool. That's kind of the logic behind it. I think that that would be cool too to see him kind of follow through on it and, uh, yeah, to see it actually happen would be so crazy after knowing that he couldn't do it with Fugo too, to see him do it again. I don't know. That'd just be I so mean, cool. I mean, that'd be crazy the likelihood of like Jodio doing it. Well, I mean, I don't know. You you think because of the psychopath thing that he might end up being more of a of a villain. That would um, be so crazy. Because it would I mean, be a really cool twist. It the really person would. who betrayed him was the main character. Come on. Dio is in his name. Come character. on, like amazing yeah because i mean but yeah i mean we talked to uh megan's cousin who's also super into jojo and we've talked to other people in our community about it and is is there any merit to the iraqi cares a lot about and puts a lot of emphasis on numerology and how this new universe trilogy is almost like it's like this is this would be a trilogy of a trilogy right having three parts of this new universe so without him confirming that directly um it being the, a likelihood that this might be the final part. Do you think that there's any, like, I don't know that that holds any weight. Um, or do you think he, he's going to go on writing it forever? Because I think that I, would, that would change whether I believe Jodio would be a villain or not. Cause I don't think he would go out like that. Maybe he would, but I, I, I definitely think it holds some weight. And especially with what X said earlier about 
this possibly being a meta ish thing about his own life and his own experiences making money that mm. I didn't even think about, but I, I think that's either. a really great way to come full circle with it. And what I, what I personally think is now this is like so stupid because I'm literally predicting the end of the series at the beginning, but <laughs> not the Joe star mansion, bro. <laughs> the Joe star mansion. He's going to build the Joe star mansion, bro. It has to happen. It has to happen. That'll be the uh, ultimate full circle. Moment. So Jodeo becomes burn. filthy rich. And he, and he builds the, the Jodeo Joestar, Joestar mansion in the yes. image of Phantom Blood. Yes. Now that theory cooks. Kev, that if theory you cooks. like, if you're right, you gotta get like an award or something. You got. I, I mean, we got all pitch <laughs> in. Cooks, we gotta all like, pitch, give like, a, a large amount of money and go to pot, and it goes to you. That's like predicting the One Piece at chapter two. <laughs> For, For real. real. <laughs> For real. Uh, I'm trying to think about um, other things we see. And so, okay, rock humans potentially, possibly. Okay, <laughs> but but Lokaka, do you think anything oh. is gonna come back no. from part Le eight? I, the <laughs> most the most insane discussion I've seen surrounding um, the JoJo Lands is everything. Everyone like carrying over like this is a direct sequel to JoJo mm. Land. It's like. <laughs> The rock humans were so specific to the themes and tone and the yes. story Rocky was telling in uh, Jojo Land. Like, it is just asinine to think that in chapter eight of the Jojo Lands, there's going to be the Rokakaka and rock humans. <laughs> and I, yeah, but how cool <laughs> someone, someone people, someone people being like, what if the cats are rock insects? I'm like, dude, like, I've seen the, so the media literacy is in the things. toilet, bro. Like, no, like, leave <laughs> oh the rock humans God. back in part eight. They work in that. They're part of that established theme. And let the Jojo Lands be its own thing. Yeah. Let it have, don't mm -hmm. tie it to the past or what happened before. And definitely don't criticize Iraqi for not bringing these ideas back. Like, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like in parts four and five, how he had like, there were things that existed in those that were dropped that people are like, you know, why did Jorno never come back in part six? Maybe because it's not his story. Maybe because like we're exactly. in something new now. Yes. Yes. So all the rock I, human I, stuff, I like the maybe if it's referenced, or like maybe the, the, someone's like, "Well, I heard about this mysterious fruit in Japan." Like that's enough for me. But I definitely don't want those things to encroach on this story. I want it to be its own thing with its own unique concepts to explore. Because we're already getting this brand new thing, which is this lava sure. rock, and so yeah. it would be a hat on a hat, I guess. It's like, oh, and we're gonna have Lokaka too, and and those yeah. characters don't know what that is, and I, it have to be re-explained to them. And it's it like just if be... the Holy Corpse came back at the yeah. climax of Jojo, <laughs> yeah. what's going yeah. on here? Yeah. Yeah. Even though the See, Holy Corpse know. did, I mean, I mean it, it kind of did in, in JoJo before Leon. JoJo Leon's timeline started. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy. Anything's possible. I mean, Rohan's fucking back, so any, anything, anything I, can happen, which is kind of crazy the, because I think he's going to be like in it. Like he's going to have to come back come at some back. point, I mean, which is kind of insane. Will. The thing that pissed me off about Rohan, though, is that so you're telling me we were in JoJo, we were in Morio for ten years. It and we never yeah. saw this dude. We never got a hint, a glimpse that there's a mangaka that lives in this town, not a mention of Rohan. And eight months after we leave, he's back. And it's I, like, dude. I don't want you to feel bad about this at all, dude. But I was so excited when I saw Rohan. <laughs> oh, and, I was and, up. and it wasn't until you said <laughs> that earlier. Up. It wasn't until you said that earlier. Like we were in Morio for all this time, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's so true." We and explored was, the whole. We probably went by his house in yeah. this way. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I was like, "Whoa, that that is crazy!" Like now I get it because I didn't understand at first. I was like, "Man, why are people hating on uh, Rohan being in this part?" <laughs> but now, like when you said that, it all clicked, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I'd be pissed." <laughs> you heard too, the you heard the, Mori, the Good Morning Morio uh, yeah, song. It was like, Mori, 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 Mori. If I was if I was like a, a monthly reader, I would be livid, dude. Would <laughs> because when we saw we're returning to Morio, it's like, oh, I can't wait to see the recreations of some of the best characters, like yeah. Rohan, maybe. <laughs> like we saw the alternate Koichi, the alternate Josuke, and so on. And it's just Okiyasu, Kira. Yeah, we saw so many. Yeah, all <laughs> That's that. So funny now. The more you explain it, <laughs> who's who? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, K K uh, Kyo, the all, the the. Oh, the Nijimura representation. Yeah, yeah you, you had all these recreations and it's like Rohan could have been there. But I mean, yeah. I'm not saying I hated Josh. I just thought it was funny that now a Rocky said like, yes, the perfect <laughs> time to bring Rohan back after we left Morio. It is so funny. As a tourist. Yeah, I genuinely, I think I genuinely screamed reading that chapter. I think I genuinely screamed. I was so up. I was like, yeah, the craziest chapter of the duality like this of man. Yeah, this shouldn't make, <laughs> this shouldn't make me like happy. This should make me, you know, kind of like, Araki, what, what's going on? What's yeah. going on? Yeah. But also like, I, I, think, he, I yeah. think he worked it in the plot well. I think he like yeah. made it all make sense. And again, like I oh, said, like I, I don't know. Um, I think I've I've read more of The Spoke than than you have. Yeah. I think you watched a couple episodes. Yeah, I watched it. it 
But that's why I, I enjoyed it a lot because it, it felt like that was the the spoke Rohan Kashibe Rohan, if that makes sense. Like it seems Absolutely. like, yeah. like yeah, his dog was there. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like he Hawking. would be, that's what he was doing in those stories. So it makes sense that he would be on these adventures finding these lava rocks. I mean, if you just like watch part four or read part four and then don't read those spin-offs, like it might feel more jarring that he's there. Um, but it it just I don't know. It felt like it felt like him from those stories. Um You know you know it's a crazy theory, Josh? Huh. So when Rohan came back in the Jojo lens, when Jody was looking through his laptop, he sees pictures of Bakken. So Bakken was obviously not a character in part four. And Rohan would have obviously aged because it was 1999 in part four, but he looks the same. And now, have you read Hot Martha Summer, the Thus Spoke? Uh, which one was that? That's the one when he's like, have, he's frustrated because he's stuck inside because of COVID and he's like wearing his... Oh, his, no, uh, no, no. I didn't read that one. Okay. So there's a Thus Spoke Rohan Kashibe that takes place in 2020 at like the height of COVID. And it's about Ro uh, Rohan having these frustrations about being stuck in the house and wanting to get out. And within that story, we meet the dog Bakken and then whatever. That was, I think that that was written in between Jojo Lane and the Jojo Lanes. It was like 2021. Okay. So now when we see Rohan in the alternate universe with Bakken, that tells us that, wait, does that mean the Hot Martha, the Hot Martha Summer one shot was always alternate Rohan we just never knew so it's like oh, oh shit yeah so like I thought that was um I thought that was the 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 other ghost dog from part four no oh I, I thought oh. it was Arnold and I was like oh it's the ghost dog <laughs> that's cool because I didn't even know about the Rohan Kashibe the, yeah, yeah 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 so that's yeah that too for a second that's interesting that's super interesting dude I don't know, man. I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, but I'm excited to see him come back and I'm excited to see like, <laughs> I don't know whether he ends up like being a not. I don't know if it'd be so far as like a Jotaro to a Josuke. Like, I don't know if Rohan I would come back. I don't think so. Like, I don't think he would come back and like be super involved with Jodeo and whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. I just, um, yeah, I don't I don't think he they just don't. They're a lot like it doesn't really match yeah. up what they're doing. I can't I see feel, that. I feel like Rohan is too petty to just let him go, though, because he's like, you came into my villa. You yeah. attacked me. You broke my lava rock. You stole my other yeah. one. And I, I just don't see Rohan being like, I eh, forget it. Yeah. That, no, that's he... what felt a little out of character, unless he has something else up his sleeve, which would maybe like just plan. was like, you're going to like, you, I mean, you're going to essentially came, pay for that. He came to why he took the whole trip to do this research on the lava rocks and it's just swept up from under him. Yeah. So is Rohan really going to pack his bag and be like, well, back to Morio. I, no, well, I got bested. No, no way. He was actually he was livid he's like these brats he's like he got like scooby dude i would have yeah. gotten away with it too <laughs> it wasn't yeah. for you damn yeah. kids. which is another thing i'm loving too uh about this part is that you know like we said in, in part five you know they're part of a mafia you know organization group whatever but i feel like something about them being petty criminals in this part is so mm. much more entertaining i want to see <laughs> I, I just want to see grimy you know young like petty low-level criminals barely get away with shit that's more fun to me so i love that like it's already yeah. starting off on that foot um especially because like this is so freaking niche dude but we, we're, we're watching this like british show called brassic i don't know if anybody's heard of it i doubt it um, it's a british oh. show about these like petty criminals and it's like we're we're watching that at the same time we're reading jojo land so i'm like this is fucking amazing dude this is the greatest <laughs> part ever written because I'm I'm very susceptible to that. Yeah, I um even going into it, I saw like a couple spoilers, obviously, just like what he looked like, um, uh, and kind of what the deal was. I saw like a 420 joke, and I was like, how is that even relevant at all? And then I was like, oh my god, bro, the weed too, or what? What is it? Is it weed or cocaine? It's cocaine. It looks like cocaine. I thought it was coke for sure. I, think it's I thought coke. it. Yeah, but but only. Bro, bro, I mean, that's what no. it's, it's all kinds of drugs. It's all, yeah, yeah it's every, yeah, it's all yeah, of them. Yeah. It's his, yeah. it's Jodeo's special mix. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like and my, weed. Mike's secret stuff. You know? But we have to talk about the Breaking Bad influence, though. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so God. so God. many people are just insane. like, every, every theory you have, it's actually just a Breaking Bad reference. Well, because like, getting, getting one Breaking Bad reference is crazy enough, but then to get another one, like, I think the next chapter... It was like three in a row, but he hasn't done it in a while. Except so for the chicken, the chicken shop. The chicken shop. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 that's, him getting, like that's stretching. Him getting yeah, caught. Is. What was the if other I one? Gustavo. There was Jojo, one where crazy. one of the chapters opened up with a, like a pretty much shot for shot recreation of the scene where Badger gets arrested right. in Breaking and Bad. And the girl is sus, yeah. The girl is sus. That's all I'm going to say. She's that was. sus. And the, the one before that was when we saw like sort of like this 
the first thing that people said was when we saw like the meth lab like that rohan sort of had with all like the beakers oh, and usagi right. said that like oh yeah. dude, this this is a boiling flask you wouldn't put this in a boiling flask that's what a volumetric flask is for mm. when that's literally like an exact line when walter is talking to jesse about chemistry equipment so usagi had said that with the equipment then you have the thing of jodeo selling drugs and then you had what uh chewy dog mentioned with that badger scene recreation and then the other one was the thing that jodeo wrapped around Rohan's neck was the same thing that uh, Crazy Eight was tied oh, to. Oh, the uh, bike, like the bike, bike thing. Uh, yeah. So you had that panel of like when he was holding him. It was yeah. the same thing when uh, Crazy Eight was lying there, tied up. But I like mean, those are the three obvious ones. There, there were some more that were more like stretching. But I'd say those three were like pretty undeniable. Wow. Did Rocky just watch Breaking Bad? Yeah, that's, that's what, what it seems like. <laughs> I thought it was, because like it's definitely not beyond a rocky to watch a movie or a show and be like oh i'm gonna copy that like like yeah. literally like when you, like the simon yell nuts with versace it's like word for word beat for beat the backstory in holes but it's like definitely don't put a bast into it to recreate like something he's seen before they're also all mm. early references to so like early breaking bad yeah yeah so it's like he was he was watching it at the yeah. time and he's planning on incorporating it throughout too. He's like, okay, yeah. Once well. he gets to Gus Fring, he's gonna add a Gus Fring character. In the yeah. new when chapter, it, it, we're going to get the chicken burritos from the chicken shop, and then that new stand oh. user is gonna be Gustavo Fring. It'll be, but the thing is, the stand users will be brothers. That's very yeah. essential. The stand users but, must be brothers. At least to me, the biggest Breaking Bad influence I've seen in the JoJo lens is that Araki chose to create this crazy anti-hero way more than anything we've ever seen before. Some people might consider Giorno an anti-hero or even yeah. uh, Johnny. I don't really think they qualify that much as anti-heroes, but Jodio is actually doing bad illegal yes. things, yes. selling drugs to classmates, <laughs> yes. you know, literally, literally transporting cocaine. And I feel like I mean, a Rocky has to have had that influence from either Tony Soprano or Walter White, because Walter <laughs> yeah. White doesn't exist without Tony Soprano, like literally the, almost the uh, catalyst of the anti-hero genre. So I feel like literally the power that Breaking Bad has to show us these horrible people, these meth heads, these evil criminals and make us emotionally care about them and actually grow them. I feel like a Rocky, I feel like that um, element resonated with a Rocky to be like, wait, you can make likable characters that are bad people. I want to try that. And I feel yeah. like that's sort of the biggest influence. That's what I, my biggest hope for the Jodeo lens is I want Jodeo to hold on to that like anti-hero mm -hmm. persona. I'm, I'm worried. I talked about it earlier. I'm worried he's, uh, Rocky's, I don't know if Rocky's going to get bored of it or decide it's not for him or something. And he'll like phase, slowly phase him out to just being like another yeah. Giorno. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like the overall happen. story has to be him becoming admirable it has to be him starting out bad and getting because like when he says this is a story about one man becoming filthy rich i could easily see it being like he became filthy rich in the sense that he's a good person now so i i don't know like <laughs> I, <laughs> I feel like well, he's gonna be he's king. gonna be bad in the start and learn the importance of becoming a good person along the way but it's kind of funny because you know it, it could be something like that right where he's like he did become rich rich with friends you know rich yeah. with friends yeah. yeah. but that's like the one piece experience. of the friends we made along the way <laughs> yeah. but we did i mean you were talking about it earlier the the literal um, this is about a story. This is a story of, of a person learning to walk again or like breaking a curse. Like these were all very literal conclusions to like yeah. what was promised in the beginning. So, I mean, it is going to be about him monetarily achieving, I think, riches, right? Yeah, uh, and the maybe... biggest thing I want, the expectation I have is that that scene in Breaking Bad would, when Huel lays down <laughs> on the pile of cash, yes. I need Jodio to do yes. that at some point, bro. <laughs> just have this massive fortune and just be like, I got to do it and just lay down on it. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That'd be like the perfect final panel. Um, I guess before we, we wrap it up, I mean, X-Force, you already, you already gave us some theories. Does anybody else have any crazy theories? I know it's super so early. early. Super early. I mean, early. 10 years or early. Or maybe even in the next chapter, like, uh, if it if if that's like easier, if that narrows it down, like with Dragona and what's going on, um, and and the stand encounter that seems like uh, is about to happen with Paco and Jodio, um, because I, I I kind of get what you were saying, Chewy, like that being the first stand battle that we saw, um, with them and the cats, like it was cool, but I, I guess it, I mean it, it definitely wasn't like one of my favorites, and it I, didn't oh. grab me the same way Fun 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 did, yeah. In part eight. Like yeah, I said before, yeah. that is a, my all-time favorite fight in the series. I think it's such a perfect way to set up how fun the part is. Yes. I don't mm. know. I agree. You had <laughs> mentioned... You gotta stop saying fun. When you say <laughs> fun, fun, fun. It's just like, yeah, it's so fun. It's like, 
Yeah. Um, your your one the issue BDSM with the BDSM and the woman kidnapped in the bathtub was so fun. Oh my yeah, god, it was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun, fun, fun. That was ridiculous. Um, your one issue with with uh like the damage that people take on because you know obviously in the last oh, couple saw, parts has been yeah. like what I just saw was people saying that I, again. I saw that on Twitter too. People saying um that uh they didn't seem like they were taking damage from their attacks uh, yeah. or, or from that last stand, stand battle that they had yeah right yeah because they got fucked i mean they oh got my God. fucked up they Johnny got fucked and Jack get shot like 30 <laughs> times i mentioned that in my review my latest review of it which i didn't notice someone did point out that paco did have scars on his face but like i i think rocky has grown a lot as an author to incorporate these things especially in steel ball run how it's like damn gyro got his leg blown off okay we have to take this subplot and we have to go get zombie horse and then we have to use zombie horse as yeah. a limited resource yeah, yeah. or if someone gets hurt they'll be like we have to find hot pants hot pants can heal us we have to go do that so exactly. it's like at least for me it takes a lot of the emotional investment off so like if in the, if in the upcoming arcs, Rocky never explains how they heal. Like, just say smooth operator heals them. That would make sense. But like, if in the next chapter everyone's getting hit and destroyed, I'm like, where's the tension? You know? Exactly. Like, it's not, it's not yeah. Exactly. They could, they could definitely do something with smooth operator. Like, oh, it goes inside of them and puts yeah. their bones together. Yeah, it moves things like around. Yeah. yeah. And, and and I don't know. I, I mean, it might that might happen because I feel like sometimes with other stands that eventually ended up be, becoming like healers, it didn't happen until like later right mm -hmm. there were some times yeah. where, where it doesn't happen right away or is it shown right away yeah i mean it mm. just it's just become more and more and more of a thing i've noticed in jojo yeah. where you immediately are like oh they're dead they're done and well, then they I mean, just they get, they get fucked up <laughs> they dude. do like, they, yeah. they, they get like sudoku was like on the brink of death like probably ten thousand times like <laughs> yeah i yeah. noticed especially in the manga the anime like cuts down on the gore a bit but in yeah. the manga there's some panels Yes. Dude, Ozone Baby, Jobin dies. Jobin and Zeru here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I know. it's insane. It's some bleach even, shit. Even, even in the last chapter, too, or not the last chapter, but uh, in, in when they were fighting this stand in the Jojo Lands, and it was wrapping around them. I thought their they were head. losing. I thought their they were, head. Their, their head and their eyeballs were getting sliced Puck in half. Oh, yeah. Eye eyeball was, was like hand with the eyes up and out. Yeah, like, crazy. what? And, and then they're like, and, and then they're, they're like, chicken burritos, and then like the next second, <laughs> and it's just like, what let's go it? get a watch. Yeah. That man's I mean, stealing my twenty dollars. Yeah, like, that's you know, how the eye just pops out while he's eating the burrito. Like, <laughs> that, oh, that's man. the the part three philosophy, though. They just sleep it off, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. the wounds. I believe from that. I mean, the part three gang, the, those are some rough scallions. I don't know how they, they made built. it through. Yeah. They were built different. They were built. They were, they were in Egypt. I mean, they were <laughs> they were on one. Okay. I always just think of the Jay Gile fight when. Polnareff's entire body is sliced by a sword all over, yeah. and then he's like, "I'm good, I'm chill." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's Polnareff; he's that guy, dude. Come Polnareff. on, Polnareff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Magician's uh, Red burned it, the the wound shot. Water eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I get that, Josh. Though I would like to see uh, just like I don't know, just mention it once. Hey, thanks for yeah. thanks for using smooth operators on me or something, just so we know. All it has to be right, just one like one line. Mm -hmm. But I guess because it's it's exactly like you said. It's because of the stakes. Um, yeah. How am I going to care if they're ever in any real danger or feel like they're ever in any real danger if I if I know that they're just going to be fine the next the next chapter? For sure. Um, but is there anything else about about Jojo Lance? Any other theories or ideas or any thoughts on on the chapter or where the next chapter is going to go? Anything at all um, before we wrap up and let you guys all go about your day? Will we ever learn who Jodio's father is? I was going to mention that. Um, mm. I because he's got that Dio in him. He got that I deal hope. in him for sure. Ooh. I hope it's um I hope it is addressed. I hope mm. it is Dio. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're gonna on, his make name the, is Joe like, Dio. If you're gonna make yeah. that Jorno alternate, but, like a huge part of Jorno was the Dio in him. So to recreate that Diego. and call the character Joe Dio, but like he it's has gotta to be, be mentioned at some point. He has to be because uh, okay, his mom so how his dad is is Joseph? No, his I mom mean, is Bar his, his mom grandma. is Barbara Ann, which is Joseph's daughter. Yeah, that's what it is. Was. That's Alleged. what it was. So Ooh. since since this happens in the same Steel Ball Run universe, right? And we had Diego. Does that mean that it's possible that we get another character like named Dio, or that it's going to be like another? It'll be a descendant of Diego. No, It'll have to be a descendant of Diego. Yeah, Diego, yeah, but Diego died when he was like twenty. So the only hope for that is that like Diego During had. The race. I don't know. During the race, yeah, it could be like he, he was a popular jockey. You saw the way the women yeah, exactly. were swimming on yeah. him. They were, though. They were. 
during the or, raid? Or, or like Diego had a brother or a sister we just never saw. Like or just it could some be an other part of the universe crap thing that Valentine pulled to get another Diego or something. Could yeah. be something like that, maybe. Because I think about Giorno and like, yeah, how his hair wasn't always blonde. Right. That was something that they that said like weird. super early yeah, on. Yeah, that was super weird. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, but he's D. Well, okay. that's did, Jodio's because, hair is going to go all blonde. Yeah, yeah, that would be crazy. Or like his hair is gray. Is that like no, official I, coloring? I love the color the scheme for Jodio. The gray hair is sick. Yeah, yeah. maybe uh, his hair was blonde and he dyed it gray. Not or maybe because the stress from dealing drugs. Right. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be something about like, yeah, the world changed me. <laughs> he's, he's 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 a morally gray character. Oh, exactly. oh. like something like that. Oh shit, that's it. No, that's it. <laughs> but um, I was thinking about um, uh, Giorno, and if and if it ever really came into a, a fact or play, I mean, because when we were watching Golden Wind, and when we found out that Giorno was a descendant of Dio, like his son, uh, I I was really interested in what that was going to mean that we were going to get to explore with that character. Um, but we didn't really no. didn't even ever really matter. No, uh, it didn't no. matter. Oh, hold up. I'm about to spit some facts. Oh! Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, please, <laughs> okay. please. So because that was always the, something that kind of like... The difference between that. Giorno and what made him a special protagonist and exercise that Dio influence around him is that when you look at the previous Joe stars, they all sort of have this lack of ambition in terms of what they want mm. and they have these reactive personalities where the stories always revolve around something coming into their life or something disrupting their perfect life sort of that joe star curse that you're always destined to fight against evil i mean that's what jolene's burdened with that that's what she has to break in the end she's put into prison because of who her father is because of this grand conspiracy it's nothing she did it's just her fate of being a joe star so jonathan Dio comes into his life, fucks it up. I got to defeat uh, uh, Dio. Joseph, pillar men arrive. Joseph, you got to defeat the pillar men. They're going to destroy the world. Okay, Jotaro, Dio's back. You don't know this man. He's from the past. We got to do Okay, I got to go to fight Dio. Joseph, there's serial killers in my town. Jotaro, hey, I'm your I, I'm your nephew. We have to go defeat this serial killer. Joseph's, or Josuke is like, okay, we got to go do this. But when it comes to Giorno, he has that Dio in him because in part one, Dio saw the world around him and disagreed with it. And he said, I'm going to have the ambition to like move, take that first step and change the world around me. And Giorno, nothing came into Giorno's life or disrupted his perfect world. He saw Italy. He saw the mob. He saw how the world around him worked and he fundamentally disagreed with that. So he, without any outside influence, had that ambition to infiltrate the mob to kill popo to rise the ranks to change to literally change the world around him because it's something he right. disagreed with which is fundamentally different from how the story of the previous joe stars worked you know he could have lived his life and had no impact from diavolo nothing diavolo did had any influence on giorno's world at all he could have lived and had a perfectly normal life but he didn't like the idea of his community uh selling drugs to them or influencing the youth so he sort of took it upon himself to go do that. I mean, you have like the Muda and the Reese he does and his stoic personality, but like that fundamentally is what spoke to the Dio in Giorno was mm -hmm. that ambition he showed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I want to give you a fucking <laughs> ovation for that, dude. You're absolutely right though, because it was it was kind of the same thing. It seems like to a degree, right? With um, Jodio too, he's seeing this, uh, th these, uh, injustices and how all of these other yeah. people empower these police officers are, are just like oh power God, hungry and how everything around him insane. is is just fucked up the system is fucked up and he's like i want to yeah. create my own system my own mechanism yeah. um and a lot of the other joe stars needed those external sort of forces to motivate them to or to have something to defeat i guess right yeah almost um, like jodeo he doesn't really even at least to me it speaks that he doesn't even think what he's doing is that bad he's just living a life in order to like like he, they mentioned in chapter one, the reason what why he does what he does, it makes the life easier for his mother. It makes life yeah. easier for him. So he sort of looks at the world around him and is like, everything's fucked. The way these police officers treat me and my brother and all of this, like, why should why should I look to what the, the police enforces justice? I don't believe in that justice. I'm going to live the way I want to and disagree with that and sort of live this life of crime, essentially. Yeah. And to him. His perspective, it's not a bad thing. The police and the law are a bad thing because they actually like do negative things to him. Yeah, man. I mean, it wasn't until you said it that way that I absolutely see that um, as being 100% true. Uh, I, I guess I really did. I, I was so excited for that part. And I, I, at that time, I was saying a lot. I was repeating this a lot that I was learning still. It felt like I was learning how to experience JoJo, how to read JoJo. 
yeah. because it is so different. And so, you know, for a long time when we first started reading it, I was, I don't know, I had this like kind of like theory brain where I was saying like, oh, and maybe Dio is going to come back or maybe <laughs> like we're going to find out that because I don't know, like every other I was comparing it to every other series that I had read, thinking that it was going to have similar reveals or similar characters come back. I don't know. Yeah. But sometimes it, things just don't get addressed or they're addressed so subtly and thematically and they're kind of just like trickled throughout mm -hmm. um, that it took me a while to like really, I, I don't know, learn how to how to read it, to learn yeah. how to consume it. With, yeah. with, with JoJo, people definitely interpret that way. And my, my idea with JoJo is that JoJo has an overwhelming lack of fan service. Araki knows character Jorna wants to come back in part six. He knows that, you know, something might I the biggest fan service there's ever been was the world in part seven. That almost seemed like out of character the way the world comes back. So that was just an insane <laughs> reveal. But overall, Araki is not looking to have these fan service moments that you might find in like Naruto or something like that. Right. Where it's yeah. like, you know, sort of bringing a character back just because they're liked, essentially. Rocky really kind of just like stays in his own lane. Coming back to why people are like, I want the rock humans to return. Like, I don't, I've never seen that as like a possibility. If it's not a rock human or, or a, another like concept or like a, the Rokoka fruit or anything like that, is there a possibility that it could be another character? Um, because we, we have seen through maybe flashbacks, we saw uh, Lucy and we saw Johnny and we saw all these other characters. Yeah. Um, is there a possibility that, that we'll get some of that? I mean, I, I feel like that's not too mm -hmm. far fetched, right? I would love to see another sort of like Legend of Johnny Joestar, something that the the characters don't interact with, say, Josuke or Joshu or Yasuo. They don't literally come back as like a Jotaro mentor role, but we see something that happened in the past that has influence on the story now, like Johnny sort of curing Rina Higashikata and creating that whole um, system of exchanging the rock disease at the shrine and everything. So like... None of the characters interacted with Johnny, but we saw in the past what he did has an influence on the story. I don't know yeah. if Araki will do that again, but I, I really like that. I would like I to see that. like maybe a 25-year-old Josuke or a 30-year-old Josuke yeah. doing something in Morio that connects to the Lava Rock or something like that. Yeah, I would love that too. I thought that was so cool, such a cool thing to do and a cool yeah. way to tie it in without disrupting the flow of what, like you said, the characters yeah. are going through at that point. Yeah. A lot of people hated that though, The Legend of Johnny really? Joestar. Really? Well, because, well, really? because of what it undoes, I because, guess. Because Johnny dies. We see his death. You know, We see yeah. this character die because a boulder falls on his head. Which I would really expect a character a hundred years ago to die. No, yeah, but I mean, the yeah, way yeah, yeah. the way that like he fought Valentine, he did this, and then his death is that, and a rock falls on his head. Well, and that's what <laughs> Megan kind of felt when you were reading it. You were like, oh my God, after everything, like, he 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 conquered all of these things, and this is how he goes out. Like this is how he fuck? goes out. It's the same thing with the fucking like all this all this shit for um gyro to sa save this little boy, and he <laughs> dies from a fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. And he cold. later died from a cold. The most iconic line. But Are that you was, that was kind of poetic though, in in like a, a fucked oh, yeah. up way. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean. You're supposed to feel that way, I think, because it's about. I know. I know. But but I, that, I don't think yeah. it's as grim as people make it out to be. I think the point really is that he was going to be executed, which is not a proper way to die. Dying from a cold is more of a proper way for someone to go out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's a more natural way. The next to die I than mean, someone killing you. Yeah, he's a ch execution. Yeah. He wasn't killing he a wasn't, child. He, his death wasn't in like unjust. Essentially, right. mm -hmm. Gyro yeah. saved him from the injustice. Yeah, yeah. Well, on that wonderful note, <laughs> yeah, child death, oh, yeah. child execution, At least it's not animal death. You know? Oh like my god! <laughs> See, it's not like that's ever happened in JoJo. No, not yeah, exactly. at all. Um, but I, I so, do want to uh, wrap it up and thank you guys again, okay. man. This is so fucking yeah. cool. Unless you want to oh, go. Sorry, Julian, no, Julian's ready to go for yeah, like okay. three more go, hours. I want, I, I, no, I go. I'm done. I'm no, done. No, no, go. Done. I was I'm just done. being respectful of everybody's time. Go ahead. Go off. Go off. Please. Wait, can, I, can I bring up something real quick? Both yeah. of you guys. Sure. <laughs> please, yeah. Please. So I love like stuff like the and then died from a cold. Like I love that stuff. Me too. It makes it feel like bittersweet. But yeah. it's also like it's vindicating in a way. It's like, yeah, he did all that stuff. He accomplished his goal. And just because something came up doesn't invalidate anything the characters did. For sure. You know what I mean, like Johnny dying from a boulder. Sure, that might feel inconsequential and a bit like uh, bland. You know, it's not some epic fight. But guess what? Johnny still did all that epic stuff that you like him for just because he died in some way that's kind of unremarkable. I mean, people do that all the time. People sometimes die when they're asleep. You know what yeah. I mean? Would you rather they die in like a car crash? Like, no, it doesn't matter. It's just like, 
I don't know. Stuff like that, I feel like, is so interesting because the bittersweet notion is like, ah, oh, could have been this. But it's like, doesn't that make you like long for what once was in the first place? Doesn't that sort of add to the legend mm-hmm. in a way? I like uh, having an end to the story. Exactly. Yeah, With his yeah. death, his story is closed. Mm-hmm. And I was going to say for for that, I think it would be really cool if we get something like Diego-esque, if there is some Diego stuff, like where his legacy is sort of what impacts our main character now without him actually being mm-hmm. present in the story. I think that would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think too, like sick. people people make, you know, sometimes I think people can make excuses for why, you know, they shouldn't do something. Oh, because this is going to happen anyway, or that's going to happen anyway. And, and, and mm-hmm. I think that's why I like that as well, because it's like, it doesn't matter what's going to happen. It's about like fighting for like what's right, I guess. Like yeah. Yeah. following the right path. Yeah. And, and so I, I, yeah, I really did love that too. I mean, it was still sad <laughs> that, that he died. So sad. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. It was beautiful, <laughs> but please, it was uh, shocking. X-Force go off. What were you going to say? Okay. I need to what know. I want to ask is that, do you guys have any larger idea or larger theory on where the story is going to go based on this current stand user we're fighting? You know, in the past like three chapters, Jodio has said multiple times, who's the stand user? Who's really controlling these cats? Because I find it to be like a lot different from most minor villain fights because these cats have been in the story since chapter two. Right. Like yeah. that's that's when they first showed up at the villa. So it's like the fact that this whoever this minor villain is going to be, the fact that they've had this almost eight chapter long arc and we don't even know who they are and they've been attacking us or influencing the story since chapter eight to me that speaks to more than a minor villain in a way that they're going to impact this the story in some way interesting yeah (sighs) so i mean i mean i don't have anything off of the top of my head but right now in the moment when you were saying it i was thinking about the possibility that this could be like he could this this villain could remain in the shadows for a lot longer mm. we, we we think that they the, themselves are coming out but we didn't see anything right like yeah so i mean it could be something else that they're able to control more cats other animals <laughs> I, I, I don't know um i mean that, those cats did not look normal. like normal cats well, yeah right, they look really like cool a rock really draws cool. animals sometimes like fucking bro, weird dude. bro he's like one of the most talented artists i've ever laid my eyes it's on mainly it's just the rock dog the rock dog threw me for a loop i every time i saw that dog he changed Iwaska. he looked different every time he appeared <laughs> yeah every time and he looked more disturbing each time um but yeah they did look insane they look, crazy yeah. alien-esque um so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see, uh, hopefully in the next chapter, next month, we get to see mm-hmm. um, what else it has in store. I don't think we'll, like you said, I don't think we'll see the stand user immediately, but it might be, we like might you said, know. it might be we another might animal. Mm-hmm. It might be. Because it's the it's the hair on the cat, right? Um, and is he, like, are, are we, like, assuming that, that somehow the, the flow was interrupted and that's how the cats ended up in the bag or that he, like... Was that was that pop a, a gunshot or what, was it like a, a the cats appearing in the bag or you know that I noticed that I sound effect no too idea. I didn't really know what that was the the I thought it was the like, bag yeah maybe the bag like making or like a sound coming from the bag of the cats mm. going like eh or something <laughs> something like, maybe, eh. But like dude the, the fun theory I had in my video was that the enemy stand user who's been messing with them went like undercover at the restaurant and packed their bag and gave them their food <laughs> <laughs> because that was the first time they opened the bag and they saw inside and they're like, oh shit, it's cat. So e- so either the stand user was <laughs> undercover in the restaurant packing the bag or the ability has just to make the cats appear wherever they want, which seems like yeah. less likely. Yeah, but that seems that crazy too because then he, he could like, yeah. he can do what he can do and then also like teleport yeah. these cats and their heads, mm-hmm. their limbs everywhere. Like, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have any other theories, Kev or or Chewy? I mean, yeah, I think. I mean, I, we kind of have been seeing stuff kind of popping out of places they shouldn't. You know, like the yeah. the bag was uh, Paco's bag was closed when the diamond just appeared outside of it. So I don't think it'd be too far fetched to say someone has an ability that could put these uh, mutilated cat corpses inside of a closed bag. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. My big theory is kind of that, like, well, who was talking? My bad. I don't want to overtalk uh, anyone. It, it's all good. Um, my idea I had just literally a few minutes ago, because we we're talking about like the mechanism and like the way things work. And I just talk about like nature 
you know what I mean? How nature itself is sort of right. a mechanism. Yeah. I'm thinking mm-hmm. cats are like kind of a low ranking animal when it comes to the mechanism, right? So what if all the stands are like so weird cat- animal creatures, right? That would be, that like, be, that's be like, interesting. I don't know. Cause that like would be you put cool. a lot of effort into these cats. Like, yeah. They they look very like weird and creepy and cool. I actually really like the one. There's just one panel that looks like insane, or it's like them like screaming or like yeah, almost, yeah. It looked amazing. Like monsters. Yeah, and I was like, this is awesome. I love this. And I'm thinking like, wait, what if this is all we get? What if we only get cool <laughs> weird animal stands? I would love. I don't it. know if I like that. <laughs> no, I, I want people. Yeah, I got no, no, people. people could definitely be involved, but what if their stands are like animals and mm. it sort of is like some sort of animal evolutionary chain thing and it eventually leads to people because people changed what the mechanism of what nature is. You see, and it's sort oh, of like a meta commentary on Do- humans that yes. have nature. Domesticating you see what I'm animals. Saying? Domesticating yes. animals. Mm. Mm. So whatever it is, I mean, like Josh was mentioning earlier that Jojo is so unpredictable in terms of mm. what you know, the ne- next is going to happen in the chapter, but there are like fundamental things that are expected from each part. So like what we know, at least uh, uh, considering Iraqi doesn't completely change his style of writing, is that there's going to be an opposing group or organization that we have to fight in some kind. And I really feel like th- whoever this character is, is going to be our introduction to that because they've been at the villa. So either they're, they were there for the diamond or the lava rock, one of the two. Jodio right. said in the last chapter that they want the lava rock. So I really hope that this character is the introduction to maybe some rival gain or some rival organization mm. that is going to introduce because it, we're not going to just defeat like i mean ojiro was kind of that example where we defeat one off villain and then we're introduced to all the rock humans but i'm like in hawaii with the mafia setting with meryl may q being like this mob boss for them i'm really interested to see what sort of team they would fight or what yeah. even their affiliation would be. I guess Another my, group of kids. Well, I, oh, yeah. be, like, this lady great. is that just hiring like, children. Like That's crazy. She's hiring. She Tokyo has, like, Revengers. Yeah, yeah, Tokyo Revengers. It's like a, a head mob boss. You know, who are the best people for this operation? A child. I'll look at, yeah, I'll look at my school hmm. roster to yeah. see who I, I want to hire for these jobs. <laughs> Yo, or this, I just thought of when Megan mentioned that. What if the enemy stand user this whole time is Meryl May Q? who sent the kids Ooh. out and then is trying to take it for herself and not like give them their cut or anything. I think that because, is like who else would know about the diamond in the story yeah. right now. Meryl Mayhew was the only other character that had that customs information of the diamond entering that's the, true. the country. So I it's think, like, I think that's, I think that's going to come back to play. I think that she is going to like, oh, okay, the diamond, whatever we take the cut, but she's going to like say, was, was there anything else in the safe? Did you guys get anything else? And they go, no. And she goes, really interesting. Um, because I heard that you have a rock that could get money. So give that oh, to me now. Well, that's People, people compare her character to Pulpo too. Like this first mm-hmm. initial boss character that we have. That, and then they like, so they took that order from Pulpo and ended up killing Pulpo golden yeah, wind vibes they take the order they take the order from meryl may q and then they discover that wait the person who gave us the job as our enemy they go back to uh oahu and they take that bitch uh, out so, well, jody, was- so you're saying that jody is going to kill his principal and then frame it as a suicide okay. oh, yes <laughs> yes oh, yeah, we have to kill the principal <laughs> Yo, I, I like I like this no idea more a lot work. too because I don't want to be that guy, but she kind of does look like a crazy cat lady, right? She kind of yeah. does. She look does. Like one. She I she's like yeah, six foot five. I can yeah, see it. Dude. She also likes fashion a lot, Cruella Deville vibes. Oh, that oh. was dogs, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. that was. Dogs. I, I can see it, but I also don't know if and that the cats person... make string. What if the cat string makes clothes? Oh, oh my fuck. god. Oh fuck. Oh, she's oh, making yeah. stand like silkworms. That would be that would be fucking crazy. That would be insane. But my thing, and, and Usagi's working with her, and that's why she See? forced it's, Usagi into the group. I'm the telling traitor. you, Usagi is going to traitor <laughs> ask them, like, because you he, he already like Araki already like you know duked you once. Like he he's good. He I mean, wouldn't Usa- sell out. And they're, yeah, all, they're yeah. already showing how smart he is, though. For real. That's for what real. I'm telling so you. He could be up to some shit. He's gonna be a sleeper. Everyone's gonna sleep on him until next. No, he's he's the traitor, but he betrays Meryl and not Jodia. Everyone uh, thinks he's gonna betray. Him. And then Usagi, main villain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. But I don't know, like if 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 the person that is after them, if they're just after the diamond, or if they know about the rock and they're after the rock. Because I think that, like, unless it was explicitly shown, I think that there's, I think that they're after the rock and not the diamond, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Because um, they, they first attacked the group after they went and they, they took the rock. And then, like, once they took the lava rock, but then they had the diamond too. That's when the cats started, like, actually attacking them inside the villa. Mm. Right. And I wonder if, like, I don't know, man. Like, I guess, because I kind of thought when we, when we first were introduced to the cats, and it was just one cat, I thought, oh, dude, this would be kind of cool. Because, I mean, we've seen animals have stands and, and oh, all yeah. that stuff. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if it was another Iggy situation where instead of like a dog, they had a cat, you know, that had a stand ability. Because like that's never really come back, right? Where they've had an animal mm. companion with a stand. And I no. thought maybe in part nine, it would happen. Um, but is is there, have we seen even a silhouette or do we, like we've seen them say like, oh, it's, someone's coming. But it, it, it doesn't even seem like it's 100% confirmed that that is the stand user or... That there even is a stand user. Maybe it's just cats. I feel like the last chapter sort of solidified it where the cats sort of, Araki did that whole like horrifying twist sort of that isn't really logically explained. It's just kind of like a shock moment. Mm -hmm. And Jodeo specifically like looked around. And he was like, the stand user has to be around here somewhere. And they've been mentioning a user specifically. So, I mean, and honestly, that would be lame if it's like, yeah, we just, we've been fighting this stand for five months and there's no depth. There's no stand user. There's no other side to it. It's just, it's just cats. I'd be like, okay, that's like, <laughs> not really that cool. Alien yeah. cats. You know, compared to all the great minor villains that we've had in the past that's in the beginning, true. like Ojiro okay. and Yotsuyu and these cool, like actual personalities yeah. behind the stand. Alien cats that are not the security system, by the way, if you didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, we, we joke about it all soggy, the time. Man. We joke about it all the time, dude, that they, uh, uh, you know, it's never a stand. It's That's never the first thing that comes to anybody's mind. No, 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 no. They but all the have it. It felt like in this part, it, yeah. Usagi had to say it so many <laughs> times. It just, it just felt unreal. It's like the a, Higashikita, pa Papa Higashikita. And he was like, I think it's, I think he's not human. Oh, I think he's rock, not a human. Like, he's, he can't be human. I'm like, bro, we know. <laughs> we know. There's no possible it. way. We know. <laughs> Every Please. time. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it could be revealed in the next chapter. But when you said something about it being kind of like underwhelming, I, I do feel that too. And I, that's what makes me think that, it, yeah. you know. But it's yeah, ramping jungle up. Jungle warfare was kind of a dud. Yeah, it's ramping mm. up though. I'm so where it left yeah, off. Th oh my gosh. That's what I'm saying. That it is I'm so grateful that we did this after the last chapter. <laughs> so so grateful. <laughs> because shit is going to ramp up because if if you think back to the other perspective inside the watch shop yes. with Dragona, Dragona fucked up and yep. got the got the watch close to the lava rock. So Usagi and Dragona, they either have to leave the rock or steal the watches. Yeah. There's no other option. They gotta yeah. do it. So, so they're gonna like probably. It, I kind of like that plot where like the, um, it kind of gets back to like the Milagro Man aspect yep. to it. Exactly. Where this thing is a blessing mm -hmm. and a fortune. So they're like, yep. we're getting all this money, but like, fuck, I didn't want to steal that watch. Now they're gonna call the cops on me. That we're just constantly on the run, and yeah. no matter where we go, we're just constantly getting into more trouble because like. We can't let go of this lava rock. We can't just throw it away. It's so valuable. But no matter where we go, we're stealing for the, even uh, if it's not our intention yeah, that would be, be cool. cool if it just kept escalating like yeah. higher and higher level. I think it that, starts with them stealing oh, something now they have police on them and it's going to keep escalating as they do more 100%, and more stuff 100 i think that that would be a great device to move the story forward and to like mm -hmm. escalate the stakes um because like, some of them might get caught along the way like who knows like it might just be jodia like what if they go to prison like, what yeah. if all two, you know, three or two of them, like, he's the only one left that hasn't been caught yet? That would be crazy. Or, uh, it's just like, like, you know, we're talking about Breaking Bad and all these other outside, like, influences. But, like, have you guys seen Uncut Gems? Yeah. yeah. You know that, that that feeling? I don't know. Maybe it was uh, just me. But that I had, I was so uneasy the whole time. The, the anxiety it creates with no. the sounds and then just, like, the... You feel like something catastrophic is going to happen at any second in that movie. The impending keeps, doom. Like, the impending doom. Going and going yeah. and going. And if like Jojo Lands does that, where it's like, okay, because of this, it leads to this, which leads to that, and everything kind of is going and getting crazier, crazier, crazier. That would be amazing. Or like, Breaking Bad meets uncut gems. Yeah, or they steal unintentionally, maybe intentionally, from the wrong person, and that's yeah. the main uh, villain. The 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 you know not maybe their boss right now. I think she's kind of small potatoes to be honest. Um, with the petty crime and stuff. But what if they steal from someone who's really top dog, kind of similar to uh, Golden Wind, 
um, who has the power, has the capabilities, has the uh, man power to to go after them but and try to really kill them. When you said something about them being kids too, like another group of kids, I thought that would be fun. That would be really cool because I don't. I don't <laughs> be crazy. I think they're gonna go. They're well, gonna go up against grownups. I, I don't know, know how I many know. other kids are in the drug dealing business. But I, on I think the island. It's just. It just feels to me, and maybe because we read Jojolian all the way through recently, but it, it feels. Like it would be kind of repetitive because there was a crime group that Josuke and them had to work their way through the ranks of like defeating or that were like coming after them. So yeah. I don't know how like repetitive that would feel if it, if the same thing happened again. Like, oh, this character introduces us to another criminal organization that they're going to have to kind of go through. Like, I don't know if that would see, feel like mm, too. I wouldn't say maybe, yeah. I guess not organization. I don't know. I, I just think they're going to get they're going to get caught up. I think the rock in general, they're getting already caught up in something that they can't undo. Um, there's yeah. going to be people going after the rock. Um, and you know, the people along the way, like, I don't know. I just think the main villain is going to be involved in that somehow. I don't think it's going to be Rohan, but you can, you don't, I, I just don't know what that looks like yet. I just yeah. think that that's a cool, um, speculation that is just going to keep snowballing on itself until one of them gets caught someone gets you know caught up in something they can't get out of like and and right now they're in, they've been in the woods i mean they've been in the in the like rohan's villa or whatever they've been in the woods and they went to that like kind of semi i guess it was like a pretty populated area mm -hmm. but like i don't know i just wonder once they learn more about how it attracts things if that's just going to constantly throw wrenches into everything that they do because just all of these random objects are going to be drawn to them yeah, um, like imagine yeah. getting on an airplane, walking past everyone, uh -huh. everything in everyone's pockets is coming towards <laughs> yeah, you. Like, yeah. And then you insane. can't be the one that's like, I swear to God, it's a magic rock that I have. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I feel like they're going to be stuck on Main Island for a while because like if they're stealing these, like they're not going to be able to get on a flight anytime soon. No, or... no, they should have left right there and then. Well, I think Dragona was smart in saying that we shouldn't get on a plane because... They don't know how this shit works. And if it causes something, it interrupts flow, the flow and the plane crashes on Final Destination. <laughs> shit, I don't know, dude. It's just better safe than sorry. Yeah, Yeah, I guess. I mean, it would have been... I think that they could have tested it out maybe a different way. Maybe not the watch shop. Not a watch shop, shop for sure. But that's, what, that's what X-Force was saying about yeah. the greed. Yeah, but maybe... I just had like a yeah. stupid thought. Like, if say they're on the plane, right? What's the most expensive thing on the plane? I don't know. The, the, the plane. plane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just starts, like, it implodes on crazy. itself. Yeah. No, it's or the fuel. I was thinking, like, oh, the fuel. Yeah, the like, fuel. The fuel of the plane. Shit. The fuel just starts like leaking all over the floor. Leaking like, inside the plane and then it just starts yeah, falling. Exactly. That'd be they're crazy. drowning in a plane in oil. Oh my and God. The lights on fire. Or something. That sounds like, like something that. Araki would do, to be honest. Exactly. He loves his plane arcs. In the preview images for the Jojo Lands, though, like remember how like oh. everyone thought the part was going to be about sailing how you had dragona and jodeo on the sailboat together oh. like i still wonder if that's ever even going to come back if they're like we probably can't get on a plane maybe we have like a whole like they get on a boat and they get lost at sea oh. <laughs> i don't know Whoa. dark blue moon okay hear me out dude if we're if we're pitching crazy ideas what a what if at some point it it, it this lava rock draws in things of value what do people have People have net worth. So what if uh, uh, some some like super net worth? Rich, super rich person because their life and them as a person, there's a lot of value put on their life. You think Jody's going to suck their soul out? No, 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 no. I'm saying yeah. what if they're just kind of drawn to them? What if they're just kind of drawn to them? I'm, I thought we were pitching crazy ideas. I, I mean, thought, no, it's, I'm, it's, not, I'm not like knocking it. it. I'm not knocking it. It's like the stand user attracting stand the, user. Yeah, the, the, the greatest like uh, right, ask right. ever. Like, why are all these people together? Well, stand users attract other stand users. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's why Rohan... I feel uh, like The Rock has been established so far that a lot of the mystery behind it is that it is only possessions. And they, they questioned it in the last chapter. They're like, how does The Rock determine what's valuable? Because say someone, say like, I don't know, some hippy dippy dude had the lava rock and was like, the only thing that's valuable to me is experiences and, exactly. and shit yeah, like true. that. So like, does the rock work differently depending on different people? Mm -hmm. Weird concept for sure. That'd be interesting. That would be cool to, I don't know, in some kind of fight or arc, try to manipulate it by changing your own values for what you think is valuable or not to try and That'd manipulate what gets mm. brought towards you. Because I think also, it is like definitive. Wait, hold, oh, hold go on. ahead, go ahead. I'm very sorry, but I do have to go. My time has come. No problem. Right. No problem. I, I think I think we're all ready to. 
<laughs> yeah, I think so too. It's like we can keep going on. Um, but yeah, thank yeah. you again, you guys, so thank much. Guys this has real. been so much fun. We want to do this again sometime. Yeah. Maybe when the next couple, you know, nine chapters come out, we can all do this <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let it Every couple of like ten chapters. Yeah, ten chapters for the next ten years. Um, that is, like, yeah, that is a yearly thing. So yeah, that would be crazy. That would be awesome. An it's annual just a round table. Yeah, the, the JoJo Lands round table. Yeah. Yeah. Roundabout. Oh, sorry. Oh, roundabout. Great. Sorry. Roundabout the, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Sorry. Now the round table's already taken. But, <laughs> another <channel. laughs> but thank right. you guys well, yeah. so much. We'll thank you to you the chat yeah. that is here. Thank you to everyone um, who came to support all of the, the real ones yes. here. Yeah. Um, and thank you guys so much. We will um, hit you guys up whenever we can. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for yeah. having me. Of course. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thank and thank you. you everyone for watching. Yes. Thank you guys so that was much. Awesome. We yeah. You guys are all like insane people. <laughs> <laughs> <That was great. laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys are all freaking fun. super real ones in the chat. Yeah. And again, you guys are fucking goaded. And anytime you guys want to come on, we'll have you guys on anytime. Um, so the only thing we're going to do is we're going to get out of here on our outro. It's always the same. It never changes, which is just we'll all say something that's JoJo themed on the on the count of three. But we just have to agree on what that is really quick. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say like everyone okay. do it. Um, like, oh, like shit. what's a funny. Yeah, I, like, thought, I thought we were just going to ramble and say like, <laughs> yeah. all right. So first line. <laughs> no. So we'll say like until next time, like cats. to be continued. Oh, okay, that's good. I like that. I like that. that yeah, I like, I like that. that. Fits. All right, so I'll say <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I'll say uh, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time, and then we'll all say it at, at once. Okay. Okay. All right. all right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time, to, to, be, to be continued. continued. Oh, Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I assume we're muted now. Uh, right. right now. Okay. Now, <laughs> usually, usually <they're> not- <laughs> but now we thank are. you all. Thank you guys so much.